Good morning there, world. My name is Cameron. The X is silent. It's a Friday morning. It's the end of spring break. I'm feeling all right. How are you this morning? I've got tea. English breakfast, to be in fact. And we're starting with some mega modded Minecraft. And I think my sound's working okay. If I can't remember. So I use the stereo to test. Yeah, stereo's doing just fine. All right, shut up, stereo. It's not a fair stereo, actually. <laughs> I spawned in specifically for the purpose of testing sound. But, uh, yeah, it's a lovely morning thus far. A little tired from my frustration last night, but that is A-OK. -okay. That stuff can happen sometimes. I have a particular goal today. I just thought of a way to add more redundancy to my power system which runs completely on steam there's a lot of steam 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 everywhere and currently steam gets produced from solid fuels such as charcoal which is produced in this room wood saplings and whatnot and that can get up to a pretty damn good buffer but as soon as you start using machines it needs to take all that buffer out that's really annoying so I had a thought the other day, what if instead, I already have the ability to make technology such as solar panels. If I take some solar panels, store some energy, and produce steam with electricity using a boiler, perhaps that'll add just the right amount of redundancy such that it won't use up all this buffer stuff. So that's what I plan on doing, at least to start with. I may be joined later on by my good pal, Christina, Meatball Girl, but it's a little early, so I'll let her sleep for a little bit. No problem there. The first thing I want to work on is all this shit up here. I'm going to make an array of fluid heaters, probably about four of them. So, and then I'll get to work on that. In the meantime, before I do that, I'm going to take this tree tap outside and grab some rubber. Good morning to you, Grapple the Barbarian. Good morning to you, indeed. Let me see about this. Oh, it's afternoon. That's okay. I suppose perhaps you are either way over that way to the west or way over that way to the east. Did I do that right? North is that way. Wait, west. East. There we go. I must ask, are you the aggressive type of barbarian? Like the one who's going to come around it? You know what, speaking of barbarians, before I even go on that tangent, one of my last classes that I took um, was a law class. And the final question that he gave us to respond to on an online message board thing was, do we really own anything? What is the concept of ownership? Do you really own something if... um? If there's nobody stopping a crowd of barbarians from coming by and taking it from you? And I was like, what does that have to do with law or anything? And he's like, well, I mean, think of, think of like the police force. That's stopping the barbarians from stealing your belongings. Or your house. Or your children. I'm like, yeah, you know what? I guess you're right. I'd be more afraid. Uh, frankly, I'd be terrified if a bunch of barbarians just showed up at my door. For whatever reason. Even if the police come afterwards. I'd be like, uh... What are you doing here? The convention's not happening today. Oh, what the? Whoa. Whoa, you're freaky. Come over here. Come over here. Oh, you suck. You Nasty. Disgusting. Let's see if there's any rubber in this tree. <gasps> yes. Rubber in the tree. Rubber in the trees. Rubber in the trees. <laughs> I, don't, I can only imagine if the, the barbarians or the police... Oh no. Actually, that funny that you should say that. In my post that I that I made for the discussion board, I was like, what if in a world where ownership was not enforced by the police, barbarians came up to my door. They said, "Hey, we're seizing your Nintendo Wii." And I'm like, "No way, you're not taking my Nintendo Wii. I'm calling the police." And then I call the police. 
and the police come by and they're just like, yeah, no, no, no. We're with the barbarians. We're taking your Nintendo Wii. I'm like, no! Who do I call next? I don't, I don't know. I don't know who comes after that. If the police can't help, who then? The army? I'll call up the president. Say, Mr. President? Mrs. President? Person President? They've taken my Wii, and I want it back. At which point, I'm sure the president would either be like, as a matter of national security, we have to take your Wii, it's compromised. It's been hacked by the Russians or something. That or is like, ew, plebeian. I'm not dealing with your problems. And then the Avengers come in, and I'm just like, Robert Downey Jr., they're taking my Wii. And he's like, let me get... Uh, oh god, what's the AI's name? Let me get Jarvis in the let me get Jarvis in the job. Jarvis? Jarvis is like, I'm a machine. I live inside the console. Therefore, take the Wii. And then I call up the Hulk and he's just like, Ugh! Smash bro Hulk Smash Brothers! <laughs> or something. And then he takes my Wii too. And then there's nothing there. And then, and then Scarlet Witch or whatever comes by, and, and she's like, oh, you lost your Wii? Or here's another one. And then I get a new Wii. And I'm like, oh boy, now I'm gonna play my Wii. But then before I know it, it actu it's actually just gelatin because she can, like, alter reality and stuff. You know? Oh, I just ran out of tree tap. I must go make another tree tap. And so the... the constant... process of my Wii getting stolen will continue unstopped. Hence, did I ever really own the Wii anyway if I couldn't protect it? Hmm. Now that's a question of law. And I think that mostly comes about on the concept of eminent domain, which is apparently the ability for the government or whatever the sovereign body is to take your land from you. For example, if you're the kind of person who's like, Oh no, there's a dam being built, and my house is going- my area is going to be flooded, but I don't want them taking my property. Unless the government gives me three million dollars, then the government can be like, No, we're just- here's three hundred thousand dollars, the price of your land, and uh, well, don't fight with us. Sorry, gotta go. I'm not actually sure if there's Minecraft on the Wii. I do know for a fact- that there was Minecraft on, I believe it was the Xbox, because I used to play Minecraft on the Xbox until it, it didn't last very long. Eventually, I learned that there was a world limit on there, at least on the particular version I was playing. and was like, wow, this is lame. No procedural generation. No world that go on forever and ever and ever. Boring. But then again, that quote-unquote short period of time actually lasted about a year and a half. So maybe it wasn't short to my young mind at the time. There is indeed Minecraft on the Switch. I know Minecraft has come to the Switch. It's come to the Xbox. I'm pretty sure it's on the PlayStation. But I think the Wii is old enough such that... Let's see. The Wii came out... How did, how did, when did the Wii come out? That came out a lot longer ago than I thought. I, was I in elementary school when the Wii came out? I'm 23 right now for context. Let's see. I don't... Was it 2000-something? Let's ask the Google. When did the Nintendo Wii come out? The date of introduction of Wii was November 19th, 2006. Yo! November 19th, 20, 2006? Yo! I didn't realize that the Wii came out on my birthday. That's so cool. Good morning to you, Dakota. <laughs> Welcome to the party again. I didn't, that's so cool. I love finding random events that just happen to occur on my birthday. I'm like, wow, serendipity. Although, I mean, there's only 365 days in a year. It's bound to happen at some point. Or sometimes, I guess, 364 or whatever. Yeah, if they were able to do Java and Bedrock together, that would be pretty cool. I want to say there might actually be a plugin out there that will allow... I, maybe it's Java to join Bedrock or Bedrock to join Java. If, if I'm correct in saying, it may be called Geyser. But... I could be very wrong about that. I want to say it's called Geyser, and I believe it does connect the two together. Indeed. It came out onto my B-Day, the Nintendo Wii. I'm so happy about that. I don't know. Things like that just kind of make me happy. I'm like, ooh! 
cool. Let's see, but that was back in 2006. So if I'm, okay, it's 2021 now. I've not yet had my birthday. I will be 24 when the birthday happens. Okay, okay, got that. 2006 was five, let's see, five, 15 years ago. So I was nine years old when the Wii came out. I was in a, I was in elementary school for sure. I was definitely in elementary school at that point in time. I think it was making some more glue. Servers to the PS4 Bedrock version. Like, like, Realm servers? It's pretty cool. And that's a pretty cool. Uh, I need silicon foil. Uh, I'm making graphene. I think I need 20 sticky resin, maybe? Bedrock servers like Hyven. Ah, okay. Hyven Mindflex. Got you. And to answer your question, Dakota, I'm playing a mod pack that was originally called Infotech, as in Infinity and Technology, the portmanteau of them together. Infotech 2, Fear the Night, by a, a person by the name of Econ Brony. They created... So Infotech was a very big tech mod type thing. And I was like, man, I really want something that's not only got tech in it, but it's also got magic, and it's got agriculture and stuff, because the person I usually play with, her name is Christina. She oftentimes likes to go towards, like, the more homely aspects of the game, like farming and breeding and creatures and mobs and whatnot, and I was like, I want technology and crazy magic. So we were like, all right, let's do this mod pack, uh, because the the this person's version of the big tech mod cat pack had a lot more stuff had more stuff in it that kind of combined our two interests together. Now, we played on their server for a while, and it just... Conflicts of interest. The server kept on restarting. It was never up when we wanted it to be up. Couldn't seem to get the info... Like, couldn't seem to log onto the server whenever we wanted to. And so eventually, I was like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pay for my own server so we can play on this together. And so I've been using... Uh, if I make, make a recommendation, uh, I've been using Sparktoast for... Minecraft servers, which I'm actually helping out right now, too. So I do a little work for them as well. Shout out to Spark Toast. But so I've been, I've had this server open for like three years now. And Christina and I have been playing constantly. And um, only recently did I actually modify the mod pack such that it is no longer the same as what it was before. In originally, on the original servers that we would play on, this guy had, uh, the person who made the mod pack was, I, why can't I eat? Please eat. Please eat. Button. Button. Please eat. Please eat the pizza. 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 I'm clicking the right mouse button. Yes. Eat pizza. Alright. Pizza has been eaten. I don't know what was going on there. Anyway. But so, originally, it had a mod on it called ChocoCraft. Where it would actually add chocobos the like bird characters from the final fantasy series into the game you could breed them you could breed them super well which of course christina did because that's kind of uh, on her side of the field and you could get golden chocobos would basically give you very early game flying ability and so the original mod pack creator was like that eh, op i don't like it i don't uh, you know what you're you got it easy and i'm not gonna let you have it and we were all like well that's annoying so that was another reason we went off and made our own server and it was only recently that i added the mod back uh, yeah, and so that, that's where we are now. So now we've got Chocobos. And there's plenty of other, th there's other mods that I want to add. But, like, I'm very careful with adding things because mods can break other mods. I don't want things to break. Plus, there's a certain level of complexity that was built into this mod pack by the original mod pack author. Gotta give credit where credit is due. That makes things a little more difficult to do and i personally like that learning curve i like the fact that there is a challenge to this and it's taking me a really really long time to get to this particular technological point technically we're at a, the extreme voltage stage now not yet gone to space but we are going to space eventually anyway i ramble and get a loose track uh goals goals i have sticky resin in my inventory yes Good morning to you, Mothman's left eye. Is Mothman's right eye joining us soon as well? Or perhaps Mothman's 
third eye. I am unsure. Does moth? Well, moths don't. I was just think. I was just thinking. Moths have two eyes, probably. The the an animals. The things that do have more than two eyes are spiders. They got eight eyes. They got eight eyes. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Let's pick some solar panels. There is a right eye. They're asleep. <laughs> oh my god, that's great. I'm, <laughs> I'm actually so happy that there was indeed a right eye. Like, I feel like where there is one, there must be the other. And, I mean, if there wasn't a right eye, then... Pfft, somebody's gotta get on that. Um, I need more silicon doped... Wave glowstone doped wafers. I need more of those, but in order to do so, I need more nitrogen. And I honestly cannot remember what Ooh, excuse me. A good source of nitrogen is. <laughs> so let me check on that. Nitrogen. What are my pronouns? He and him. My pronouns are he and him, and that's how I identify. I have the tag in the bottom. To make sure that whoever comes by knows that this is a welcoming community for all. There is no, there is no discrimination here. Whatever your pronouns are, that's your pronouns. If you take it as a joke, it is still your preference. If you take it seriously, again, the former. It's an accepting place for all. But I appreciate you for asking. Thank you. I also oftentimes will, I was mentioning before my good friend Christina, who will sometimes pop on, and she goes by um, a different pronoun from her birth. So I also put that on for her in case she ever pops on, because I appreciate Pass the vibe check. Mothman's F left eye has joined the party! And when you join the party, Mothman's left eye, I can't force you to put on a party hat, so I put on a party hat for you. Also... The phrase vibe check? I love that. Every once in a while when a nice good song plays on a video game, you just stop for a little bit and enjoy the vibe. I like that. It's all good, it's all good. Let's see now. Uh, yes. Nitrogen. Sources of nitrogen are... Something convenient, hopefully. Neobium nitride. Ammonia. Oh, ammonia. I can... Oh! Maybe I should just take... Or nitric acid. Probably. Yes, indeed. Hat time. Hat time party hat. This only started a little while ago. Like, there was a point in time where I was like, you know what? I need to pick a theme. What theme do I like? And you know what I like? I like parrots. Those are my parrots. Not my parrots. The cult of the party parrot. Parrots. And so I thought, you know what the party parrots got about them? Party. Welcome to the party. What, what would be funny? What's a good gimmick? Party hats. And I love it. There have been times, there, I think at maximum, I've had 11 party hats on my head at a time. And it is just, it's, it's such a joy. I love, I love the energy. I just hope to be able to pass on that energy to other people. Despite the, you know, even, especially on days like this, it is dreary outside, it is foggy, it is cloudy, the sun is not in the sky. Nobody on the streets of Philadelphia are smiling, probably. Not from what I can see. But, uh, world needs more smiles. World needs more positive vibes. And I need more nitrogen. Do I have any nitric acid left in the tanks downstairs? Gotta check on that. Tanks, 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 tanks of stuff. No, there is no nitric acid because there needs to be stuff over here. You know? Okay. What I will do in the meantime is I will cut off that connection. Let this go. Produce some nitric acid so that I can get more nitrogen to work on the glowstone wafers for the solar panels. So let's just clear this out of the way so I remember. Nitrogen cell. Just keep that there. And continue working on the other solar panels. The goal is I think I'm going to make... Maybe just two solar panels. Maybe four. I don't know. I'll make four solar panels because I will always be able to use more. In the meantime, I'm also using graphene. And for more graphene, I need more silicon foil, more rubber, 
or rather sticky resin. Oh, I was doing that for a reason. Look at that. And it's 20 per that. I have graphene dust. I can make that into graphene wire. No, I need to turn it into not small piles, big piles, regular piles. Regular piles in order to graphene. That's enough for one solar panel. Uh, but I must have more. So I need more graphite. Um, and more silicon foil. So let's just make a shit ton of those. Because I'm sure I'll use more of it later. Silicon. 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 Let's... However much foil a stack of silicon makes, we're going for it. Throw that in there. Uh, let's take this hopper and put it over here. Conserving resources, if possible. Take sip of tea. Ah, yes. I was thinking of my options for drinks this morning and considered coffee? Like, no, I'm way too annoyed for coffee. I'm gonna go with tea instead. Well, the silicon foil is being made. Oh, I also need graphite. Give me the graphite. Give me the graphite. Cause I'm ready to go. I need more graphite. Wow, I, a while ago, long, like months ago, I found diamonds, and in this mod pack, diamonds spawn alongside graphite. And I was like, wow, this is a shit ton of graphite. I'm never gonna need this much graphite. I was wrong, because I need that much graphite for, um, for solar panels. Because in, to use, to make graphene, you need graphite, naturally. And, uh, well, uh, that just makes sense. Put that in there. Put the plant ball into the ore processor. Just like that. Come alongside. Uh, making more plates. Oh, I have battery alloys. I should probably put that in a place where I can use it properly. You know what else? I have a ton of rubber pulp. I should make some more rubber as well. So that there's not just pulp laying around. I'll throw my battery alloy plates over here. Because to remind me to make more batteries. Because batteries are important. Batteries give me power! Rubber. Rubber pulp. Excuse me. What do I do to make rubber? In the chemical reactor, I take nine rubber pulp, one sulfur, two create molten rubber, take the molten rubber, put it into the fluid solidifier or whatever, and make rubber bars. So I like that. So I'll need some tanks. I need the, need the beans. The beans, the beans, the beans, I say. Not the beans. Anything but the beans. Not sure where I started mentioning beans. Sometimes it just happens. More rubber. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I need sulfur, which I think... No, sulfur's on the other side. Sulfur is over here. Give me a stack of that. There we go. Oops. Gotta take that out of there. Cool. And then I'm going to put this coal into the processor. Don't need that for now. And uh, get some tanks. Make some make some rubber. Tank. Tank. Let's get two tanks. Yeah, two tanks are fine. And then I need something on stand- I need a fluid solidifier on standby. Do I have one of those? Uh, circuit assembling machine. Is there another way? Let's see. No problem. Feel free to lurk as much as you want to. I am usually a lurker myself, to be perfectly honest, so I vibe with the lurkers. And if I may ask, because the question has been asked of me. Dakota, who are you maining in Genshin Impact now, if you so have a main? I know you just started playing the other day, but, like, do you have a favorite so far? Am curious. Am very curious. Let's see. Oh, fluid solidifier with the... Mold ingot. Oh, where is my mold? Uh, fluid solidifier, anyway. Fluid solidifier. Hello? Fluid solidifier. Where's my fluid solidifier? Lathe, extruder, canning machine, bending machine. Solidifier! There you are. Um, hmm. Oh, there's also apparently rubber in there already. Sweet. Swag then. 
Let's do that. And chemical reactor. Uh, put the little thing here. Uh, don't connect anything there. Here, so I can pop it up on top. Uh, push up here. Pull from down here. Pull. Let's get some of that going. Pulp and sulfur. Just in the meantime, let's just take this hopper and put it over here to accept the rubber as it comes down. Let's see. No main yet. Magic girl who shot, shots rocks. Electro girl. Lisa with the purple aesthetic to her. She's pretty cool. She's pretty cool. Apparently, funny story there. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Apparently, the voice actress for Lisa, when asked about her role as Lisa in the game, was like, I don't know why it was so, I, I made this voice line so suggestive. Because everything she says is just like, innuendo-esque. And you're like, whoa, Lisa, what are you thinking of? Jeez. What are you thinking in that head of yours? I don't know. But yeah, she's pretty cool. I like, I like her, um, what is it, her RT ability, I think? Archery, right trigger. I don't know what the proper word is. Elemental thing or whatever. But it gets the big electric area around her. That's pretty cool. Oh, you got soft? You play softball, Mothman? Nice. Nice, nice. I used to play a lot of soccer when I was in middle... Uh, not middle school. Elementary school. I used to love playing soccer. Eventually, it got to a point where it became too competitive for me. And I was like, eh, this, this isn't really my thing anymore. I'm not a... I'm not big on competition. I understand it. Like, it, I, the little bit of friendly competition I think is awesome. But when your elementary school's coach starts berating you about how you're not doing this correctly, you're not doing this correctly, you're not doing that correctly, that's why we're losing and blaming you for it, it kind of turns a kid off from playing sports. Um, in recent years, actually, I think last year or the year before, I played my first soccer game that I had in a while because my fraternity was playing some games and I was like, yeah, I'll play for a game. But it was it was kind of the same thing, except now we're all grown men and yeah, competition. But like, to each their own, and I get it. I think if I had to pick a sport that I really do enjoy, um, let me think about that. What sport? I, I don't know. I like playing... I like playing tennis. I really like playing tennis when I have the opportunity to. Softball, basketball, and soccer. Nice. Give them the old football. But I like to play tennis. Every single year, my family and I go down to Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. Beautiful, beautiful place. Um, and so they have tennis courts there, and you can rent equipment from the hotel desk. And every single year, or at least we try to, my youngest brother and I will go to the court and just play some tennis with each other. It only ever happens once or twice a year, but I really enjoy tennis time. I like it. And in middle school, not middle school, high school, high school, we played a game called Pickleball, which was actually pretty fun to play. And the rubber bars are going, and take this tank back. More rubber. More rubber, I say. But that's always cool. And of course, once a year, when the Super Bowl's on, I watch the Super Bowl. Only recently have I begun to understand the rules of football to a point where I can legitimately enjoy watching the game and not the commercials. Obviously, while enjoying the commercials as well, but to be actually able to understand what's going on on the screen adds a whole other element to the enjoyment of the game. At least, that's, that's the way I see it. And of course, it gives you a kind of an appreciation for the sport and, to some extent, the art that sporting can be. I'd say, like, the way that, not only the way that you play the game, but the strategy of it all, trying to outwit your opponents, that whole dynamic there adds a whole nother layer. I guess it doesn't add a whole nother layer to games because that's just kind of how sports are anyway. So maybe, okay, it adds a whole nother layer for me because I didn't necessarily pay attention to it in years prior and it's allowed me to have a newfound understanding of the world of sports yeah it's a lot of there's a lot of stuff that goes on in football and there's a lot there's a lot of like small rules and 
I think you might be able to, and I am not the authority on this, so if I'm saying things out of line, somebody correct me, but it seems that there are like, there are like big major rules like, oh, how do you actually play the game? And there are smaller rules that I'm guessing that developed over time for like maybe things that were being taken advantage of. Like, I think the whole, I, I, I don't know if it's in every single football game, but I know like if you taunt people on the field, it's distracting, it can get people angry. So they're like, you'll get it get a flag for that, I guess. There are penalties, there's a football that you kick and throw and run with. Interesting how football, as I know it here in America, is uh, probably the game with which the ball, of the games that ball gets touched with foot, this game is one of the games, the sport, where foot done touch ball less often despite having foot in name. Foot and ball in name. Yeah. That's what I guess. I can only vamp about sports for so long. Eventually I just reach a stopping point. Oh, in hockey too. You're totally right. I recently was hanging with a few friends of mine. We were hanging out for a while and we binge watched the entire series called Letter Kenny, which is a Canadian show about Canadians. <laughs> Excuse me. Wow. And they got hockey bros. And so we started watching. The ho hockey dynamic is also just absolutely insane to watch. Just people fl zipping and zooming around the ice rink is like, wow, what is going on? People are going to get hurt. Someone just got hurt. Whoa, there goes the puck again. They're sliding. There's a person in the goal. Now they're not in the goal. <laughs> hockey. And that's amusing to me. It does bring me the entertainment. But, like, I think... I think the reason why I probably don't keep up with hockey more is because of the fact that you, I think you have to, I couldn't find any services that were readily available for free or the like to actually watch hockey. Also, I'm not really, a, like I mentioned before, not really a sports guy in general. So I won't like sit there and watch sports. Like I just, I won't do that. If I'm with a bud, watch sports, crack something open, drink a soda, have some chips, whatever you do with your bros and hoes. Hoes being anybody else but bros. Hoes are okay. Hoes are cool. They can be. Hoes before bros? Bros before hoes? Nah. Just just friends. But yeah. Oh, thank you. I'm happy that my description of hockey was accurate for the purposes of anything else. And this is only from watching satire hockey, the hockey that appears in the show Letter Kenny. And of watching the single Philadelphia Flyers game that I watched with my buds like a month or two, no, three, four, four months ago, four months ago. Oh, Dakota, you have Ningguang. Nice. I don't have Ningguang. I do not have that. I believe it's Ningguang. Ningguang? Ningguang. Yes. Genshin Impact has a lot of, like, really awesome names to it. Don't get me wrong, they're not names that appear in my native tongue, so they're a little difficult for me to pronounce, but nonetheless, once you get once you get it, it's pretty good. Like, I think... Let's see. I think my... One of my best characters that I have right now is Zhangling, who's a fire spear girl with a red panda as a pet. Super cute. Um, that's still making stuff. Um, I just got... Chong Yun the other day, who's an ice boy. Um, what's another one? And I think Xinyan. Xinyan, I think X-I-N-Y-A-N. And that's a uh, fire girl with a guitar. That's pretty cool. Yeah, those are those are the names that I have trouble with. That and um, let's see. Beido. That's spelled B-E-I-D-O-U which I was informed of the other day, is Beido. I've been saying Beido or Bido. I don't know. Beido, Bido, I don't know. I just let somebody else tell me what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> to, to everybody out there, correct me. I am here to be corrected. I am here for constructive criticism. Noel and Bar Barbara, out of the wishes, yeah. Noel is actually really, in, in case you haven't noticed yet, Noelle has a really awesome ability. If you use her shield ability and start hitting enemies, you'll actually heal 
your other characters. Now, I don't know if that comes with Noelle. That might be something you get only after you get multiple copies of her, uh, which I believe are the wish abilities. Wish abilities? I'm not exactly sure. But, um, she's a good, she's an okay healer. And I believe Barbara's a healer, too. I was told the other day, I was chatting with one of my Genshin buds. And you're out, so I can take you back over here. By this point in time, I hope there's more nitric acid downstairs. I'll check that out, actually. I'll give that a check. Clean before class. That's okay. Do you, uh, do you have, like, online classes and stuff right now? That's what I have. I've been online for a full year now. And in college, which is not exactly what I wanted to pay for for my college experience. But, I, you know, I had no way of knowing, so... Just go with the flow. Honestly, on days when I don't want to do literally anything, I will kind of, uh, I will take all of, let's see, what do I do on days where I just don't like to clean myself up? Yeah, quite frankly, I don't do anything at all. I usually don't have my video on for classes unless my professor specifically tells me that they want it to be on, because I just don't like it. Because, like, honestly, so I have multiple monitors over here, and I feel so weird when the professor is here, my notes are here, and the textbook's here. And I don't... Or let's see. Here, professor there, notes there, textbook there, and then a game running over there, or whatever. And it's just so... It's it's annoying. I, I just don't really like... I don't like it. Me no like. Not a fan as I. But like, if the professor, like, if professor asks for video, I'll consider it. If I like the professor, I will turn my video on, because I want to see their shining face. I hope they can see my shining face. At least that's how I imagined school would be. But like, that doesn't happen super often. And I, it's not like I'm taking a super lot of classes now anyway, so... Last term, there was this one professor who, he was very, very creepy. I've, I've talked about him on stream before. He was a very, very creepy guy. And he would always ask us to turn our videos on. And every time I would not. Because when our videos were on, or even when their videos were not on, he would make really creepy comments. And I don't appreciate that. Like, at all. So I was like, you know what? Let's not. <laughs> Let's just not do that thing. So I didn't. Passed the class with an A-. I finally got my grade the other day. It's crazy. You have hybrid classes starting this week. Going in on Monday or Tuesday. Nice. That's pretty good. My So I'm in my final... I'm going into my final term of my undergraduate accelerated degree. So I've got three months and only three classes... So, and they're all completely online. Some of them were actually almost hybrid, but they changed their mind at the last moment. My fiance, who's actually at home right now, or home as in in-laws house, um, not here. We usually live together, but not this week. <laughs> Cause, just because she's visiting her family, and that's okay. Um, but she's studying physical therapy, and so most of her classes are either hybrid or in person because when you're doing lab work i uh, like for um because you go to the cadet it's, it's super cool she tells me all about the cadaver lab it's dead people she gets to look at dead people and like move their organs around and stuff and for those who are squeamish i apologize but that shit's cool i don't think i'd ever want to play with it myself perhaps i mean well i mean i i would i totally would if, if a class was like, yo, we're going to go touch dead bodies, but, like, for science, I'd be like, yeah, sign me up. Let's go touch dead bodies. Let's do that. I'd be into it. Chest. My required chest. Put that back in there. Over here. It is pretty cool. I think she has this, um... She has... She has... Words, Cameron. Words, damn it, Cameron, come on. She has this program that she uses 
that can be used like in place of the cadaver lab because they were trying to plan like oh my god if we can't get these students into the lab how do we make up for it and so i don't know what it's called but you can see like i think they're like you can click on a body part and they'll show you like a cadaver picture that's like i suppose not protected or anything don't really know how it works i've seen some pretty creepy shit on there the brain is cool i think the things that squeege me out the most are the arms because like there's so many tendons and lines and stuff that make the arm work and it's interesting and it's all I, on some people is it's all like covered in no, no no i'm thinking of the wrong thing um yes there are a lot of lines in the arm nerves look cool but also i've seen pictures of the heart as well and there's a lot of fat around the heart and it's kind of disgusting looking but like that's the body, dude. That's the way the body be. And I like that. Body do with the body be. Body, body, body. Rubber bars. Let's go out and get more rubber. Oh, um. Okay, I'll go out and get rubber. Then I'll stop downstairs, check on the nitric acid, and see where we're at with that. Hello, Venthoraptor. You're annoying. I don't like you. Close that door, please. Close the door. Closed door. Thank you. And jetpack over to the rubber trees. Jetpack over to the rubber tree. I... Yes, I do have a tree tap. Lovely. Hi there, zombie. Good morning. What time is it over here? 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. I usually get so confused. I don't usually stream in the morning. But I'm actually attempting to change that. Because I feel like I actually enjoy streaming in the morning. More so than I do in the evening. Honestly, it really, it really depends on what I'm doing. Like, it also depends on who I'm with as well. Like, if I'm vibing with some friends, like, I could go any time of the day. No problem. No problem. If it's by my... I mean, I can pretty much vibe by myself, too, but it really depends. It depends on a lot of things. It depends, it depends. Speaking of it depends, uh, in the PT world, apparently, a common answer to literally any question is, it depends. And let me give you an argument both for and against. Or one side or the other. And it's like, dude, I, I wish I could get a straight answer. But then again, I'm not the one studying that. Though, when asking the fiancé questions, it can get a little... pestersome sometimes. Like, oh, what would you like for dinner tonight? Well, it depends. Well, obviously it depends, like, but could you give me an option? We're gonna order, we're gonna order a pizza tonight. What do you want on your pizza? Well, it depends. That's cool. Like, yeah. You would stream in the morning, but most of the viewers are night owls. Don't think it would go well. Nice. I don't know, yeah. I, I don't know. I really, it really depends. Like, I like to think of it this way. I, I, I gotta think of it. Well, hmm. Let me get my thoughts together. Hopefully, like, I stream at night, stream in the morning. Night owls can pop on at the end, and the morning birds can pop on in the beginning. Not that I'll stream all day. I've never done that before, and as of right now, do not plan to. Because, I don't know. Probably get tired or something. Maybe. If I had, like, a reason to stream all day, like, I totally would. Aside from just, I'm going to stream all day today. That's what I'm going to do. I usually don't have the time to do that, though, because I do have other obligations. But it's all, time is a balancing act. And I've got enough sticky resin for four, one more solar panel so i'm gonna go deposit that get this going over here oh i meant to go downstairs that's okay pop that over here run on over here i realized there was silicon over here time to pop that back in up here get a bunch of silicon foil this thing is still making rubber very wonderful gonna run downstairs check on the nitric acid see if there's any nitric acid take out that nitric acid get some nitrogen from it make some glowstone dope wafers for more solar panels there is seven things of nitric acid excuse me nitrogen this tea is making me burp oh my god <laughs> excuse me i need five things of nitric acid in an electrolyzer for nitrogen oxygen and the latter nitrogen acid I feel 
I did this before. Whatever. Uh, nitric acid cell. So I have some cells. I gotta get some cells. Get some cells. Actually, it's up to like... Seven right now. And I think I need 8,000 millibuckets of nitrogen for a glowstone doped wafer. Cell. No, okay. The, where are the empty cells then? Are they upstairs? I guess they're upstairs. They must be upstairs. Let's see. Where the cells at? Yo, where my cells at? Hey, there's my cells. And I think this is enough nitrogen for more silicon doped fuels. Cool. Glowstone doped, silicon doped wool, silicon dust, nitrogen gas, glowstone dust, 8 glowstone dust, 64 silicon dust. Do I have silicon dust up here? I didn't think so. I need more silicon dust. Is it over here? Maybe? Uh, maybe I put it in the chest over here. Nope! Oh, yes! No, that's silicon dust. Perfect! Just what I like to see. Let's get some glowstone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go back downstairs, grab some nitric acid, come back upstairs, harvest some nitrogen. Good stuff. Good stuff indeed. Um, two, three, four, five. That'll be enough for now, so I will turn this off so that things don't get backed up. Speaking of which, how's the steam supply down here? Let's take a check. And it's completely out. Cool. Are we producing steam at all? Now I gotta see if we're producing steam, because I don't... I don't know if I am. It doesn't look like it's... online. Anything? 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 Nope, they're firing up. Oh, it's just taking a while. No problem. No problem. I gotta eat more pizza. And I'll attempt to eat it while going up the stairs. Yes? Yes, pizza. Don't give me problems this time. Thank you, pizza! Much appreciated. Let's see now. Uh, silicon foil is probably done. The rubber is definitely done at this point. And there's a little extra left over. It's 64. It's fine. It's whatever. Um, this is all done. Now I have silicon foil. Awesome. Yo, I gotta, I gotta digress for a moment. There's a tree outside my apartment window. And I have two windows over here. And so far, the entire hour that I've been... Basically, hour and a half that I've been up so far, I just keep seeing this bird coming down and going back up. And I think there might be a nest up there. And it's awesome. I love... Love things like that. It's the little things in life that bring the most joy to me. Like birds. Like, that's so awesome. Love birds. The birds have decided to grace my window. Yes. I love birds. I love birds. I do. I like birds. Birds and every other quote-unquote government surveillance drone. You know what I mean? Oh, I need more nitrogen. Okay, I do need more nitrogen. Uh, this is hydrogen. This is oxygen. Throw the oxygen in here. One, two, three. The hydrogen deserves to be where the hydrogen done go. Um, and I will do that in a hot second. I'm going to take the shortcut downstairs. Yeah, take the shortcut. Come in the back. There we go. Around the back. Perfect. Is this almost full? It's getting there. My oxygen system is distributed. Uh, do we have 3,000? It needs more. This needs to continue processing. It has 600 ammonia right now. Each process over here, I think it's 1,000 ammonia to 1,000 nitric acid. Uh, yes. Yeah, one to 1,000 nitric acid. I actually could have done this better. This system could have been a lot simpler. Whoops. You can also make rocket fuel with ammonia. Pretty cool. So once I get that, so I need, let's see. I need 1,400 more, 1,400 more liters of ammonia, which will come by 
with this fermented biomass over here. This is all full, so this will be okay. Remove the chaff from here. Don't need it. Get my soil back. My foil. My foil soil. You running out of energy? No, you're not. Not just yet. Perfect. Um, so that'll take a hot minute. It's fine. Got all this stuff in my inventory, and I don't need it. Take... Take this rubber and fly. Take with with take it with you. Let's see about that. Empty cell. Look at all these empty cells. Silicon foil. If I throw the silicon foil in here, along with the graphite, I will achieve graphene. Graphene wire. Four times graphene wire. Use that for more solar panels. Put that over here. That's a nano CPU wafer. That's a CPU wafer. Ooh. Okay, maybe just two solar panels then. In which case, I already have enough glowstone dope wafers, so I'm just gonna go with that for the sake of time. If I need, if I need more, I'll get more. That's what I'll do. Glowstone doped. Glowstone doped. Glowstone. Glowstone. Glowstone dope. Here we go. Okay. What else does I need? Uh, glass panes. And gallium arsenide plates. Gallium arsenide can be created by combining an, uh, an ingot of gallium and a gallium... Uh, words. It's gallium arsenide. You you decide. It's it's easy. It's gallium. Yeah, gallium. Is that clear? And arsenic. One of each of those. Actually, I'm going to need two of those because I'm making two solar panels. I'm losing all my gallium. Arsenic. I'm losing all of my gallium, meaning I need to create more. More gallium. I think I get gallium from nickel ore. I think so. Uh, gallium. Gallium from gallium dust. Impure pile of gallium dust. Gallium ore comes from sagging bauxite. Really? Okay, gallium ore comes from bauxite. Gallium dust, though. Oh, now where does that come from? That is a byproduct of zinc. Gotcha. Zinc, gallium, gallium, asteroid, gallium arsenide, vanadium gallium, indium gallium phosphide, quantum. Well, gallium arsenide's done so. Get that. While I'm over here, I'll also grab the glass panes. I require those as well. Pain. As in a big old pain in the butt. Pains are a big old pain in the butt. Put it in there. Get that going. Ooh. Ooh. It's a lovely, lovely morning. Dreary, but lovely. Actually, it's getting a little brighter outside. I can see... There's one big building, and on the side, you can kind of see when the sun comes in. So, the sun's coming. It's coming in hot. So, it'll get there eventually. One day. One day, I say. One day, indeed. Let's go with... Uh, put the silicon foil in here. The graphene is almost made. Yep, almost. How is there that much silicon foil on there? Did I miscount? Did I miscount? Interesting. I must have miscounted. Interesting. Cool. Graphene dust. Put that all together. Graphene dust. Graphene dust. And I need two more of those. So I need more rubber. Uh. Gallium arsenide plates. I have those. I have the glass panes. Put those on the bottom. The only thing I need left for these solar panels are some biggie, biggie circuits. Advanced circuits, specifically. If I need four of them in total, four of these times two for the logic, so I need eight, three of those, I need 24 of these integrated logic circuits. 24. And for that, I need more silicon. Uh, I need more circuit boards, which means I need more rubber. At this point, I really need to make myself a rubber farm. 
that I don't have it yet. But that'll give me some time, honestly. Making, or not making them with a rubber farm, um, but that'll give me some time to do other things, I suppose. Put that there. Uh, empty cell. Just keep, let's keep five empty cells for myself to remind me to go downstairs and get more nitrogen. And that's what I'll do. I also need to make more taps for myself so that I can continue tapping those rubber trees. Ew. Um, let's see. Boop. There's a tap. And here's another tap. And here's more taps. There's a tap. There's a tap. Here's a tap. There's a tap. There's a tap. There's a tap. Throw them into storage. Most of them. Let's do... Yeah, let's put those in there. Cool. And get some more. Take a sleep. And then continue on. There we go. Gonna go outside. Gonna get some rubber. And not die. Oh, we got big baddies outside. Find them. You're gonna die. I'm gonna kill you. Okay, this is not going as planned. Jeez. Way to come at me all at once. Jeez. Yes. Squeal at me! Get you down. Get you down. Get you down too. Please. Thank you. I don't like you, Zoatar. I don't like you at all. Oh, my armor's doing okay. I don't like you, Zoatar. Don't like you. You're not fun. You're not fun, and you're not impressing anyone with your big gold arms. Not impressing anyone. Except me. Maybe a little bit. If only I had gold arms. Oh, is there a zombie? Where are you, zombie? Is there a zombie? Where are you? It's probably underground somewhere, and it's probably my fault. Let's see. What square are you in? You are over here. Where are you? Oh, are you in the water? Are you down here? Ah, You're cute. And you're dead. Forgot I had this over here. Why did I have that there? You know, I'm just not going to worry about it. But there's a little bit of water down there. Pretty cool. I didn't know that. I have learned something new today. Or rather, well, I did know about it. I just... I forgot. Shame on me. Alright, you've got rubber. Any trees that don't have rubber will be... Cut down. Survivor, survivors will be cut down again. You have rubber. That's good. You've passed the check. Do you have rubber? You do have rubber. Very good. You passed the check. Rubber? Rubber tree? Mmm. Not so good there. Sorry, I'm gonna have to kill you. I'm gonna have to chop you down, pal. So sorry. Sorry you had to see it happen. But from you, I will spawn too. The one right there. Yeah. Let's see about that and that and that and nope. Hmm. All right. Rubber. Oh wait a minute. Did I check this? Is there stuff in this tree? Hmm. I don't see any rubber in this tree. Denied. Your existence has been denied. Thank you. Thank you for your great service. Oh, I don't need grass. Rubber trees are cool, though. Don't need seeds, either. Rubber trees are cool, though. Rubber. Put it one over here, and uh, let's put one over here. Wunderbar. Hmm. What about you, tree? Do you also not have rubber? You know what? I'm feeling merciful today. You survived. Anything? Yes. You please me. You will survive. I will allow your existence to continue. What about you? Hmm. Nope. 
Oh, yes. One on the bottom. Must have a thorough inspection if I'm going to be a proper rubber miser. There's some over here. Where'd you go? Where'd you? Where'd a rubber go? Did I collect it? I don't think I did. Hmm. You don't have rubber. I'm cutting you down, too. It's been fun. But now we're done. Cool. And I got some sticky resin. And I don't exactly have enough sticky resin more for the, the plates. For the, the cir actual circuit board. So I'm going to need to stick around a little longer. Outside, at least. Some more of that. I thought... Was there some rubber over here that I didn't pick up? I thought I might have dropped it. I'll just go around investigating. Nah, doesn't seem like it. All right. No problem at all. No problemo in the least bit. I think I've rubbered, I've rubbered them all out. You're suspicious. Mm, pretty suspicious. I'm gonna chop you down. You could be an enemy rubber spy. Rubber spy. Agent rubber. Agent rub, if you will. There you are. You can call me agent rub. What's the rub stand for? Rubber. I'm sneaky and bounce back like a rubber band. So they call me the rub. Interesting. D do your friends call you... Do, you? do your friends call you rub too? Like, can I can I call you Mr. Rub? Is that a good name for you? You appreciate that name? Anyway, so 41 rubber. That's as good as I'm going to get right now. I'll come back out later. I need 20 of these for... 20 of these for... Uh, yeah, okay, well. I just throw all the sticky resin in there. And then other boards come about if I do this. I need many. I need more of these. So I will collect more of these. More circuit boards. Benelic circuit board. To create those. Nope. That's the wrong recipe. I use in the assembler one wood pulp, one equivalent of sticky resin, and a plate mold. Do I have a plate mold over here? I do. Let's throw that inside. And do I have wood pulp? I don't know if I do right now, but I will find out. Also, am I producing steam yet? I should be, but I don't see anything in here. Oh, yep. Okay, things are coming by. Wonderful. Yep, you're producing steam. Good. Um, I don't know if the machine... That was kind of close with the... with the steam happening. So I'm going to see if this stuff over here is actually still processing. It completed. Cool. And is this at six? Perfect. Let's take one, two, three, four, five of those. And connect it back over here and uh, make some sulfuric acid. So it comes out of there. Vitriol solution comes out of here. Vitriol solution gets electrolyzed uh, into various different components and sulfuric acid. So sulfuric acid comes out the other side and various other things. I still need... Galena and Sphalerite to create a material known as Indium, which the only use I have for Indium right now is a material called Indium Gallium Phosphide. And off the top of my head, I really can't remember what's that what that's used for. It's circuit stuff for sure. Pulp. I have 30 were 34 wood pulp, but I could use more. So well, let's take. Oh, I don't know. Take some wood and pulverize it. If I pulverize this wood, if I put it in the sag mill, I get wood pulp. If I put it in the the lathe. Oh, pulverize, I get plenty. All right, cool. Let's just throw it all in there. Wood. Pulverize. Pulverize powers activate. And let's go over here. Electrolyze some 
Do I have a lot of power over here? Oh, you're fine. Oh, you'll be just fine. Yeah, you know, you'll be fine. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Okay. Um, doll. Currently, it's pulling out. I think. Okay, this is. I can't remember. It's. Extract with signal. Currently, the signal is off. Good. Put the glowstone and the silicon in there, and then I just need to put the nitrogen in there. There we go. And it has begun. So that will process. It'll take a hot minute, but there ain't nothing wrong with that. Take your time, machine. Take your time, machine, and get into this time machine. Oh, yeah, it looks like the sun's coming out. Still behind the clouds, but uh, I feel it. I feel it nonetheless. The sun is good. Good for the body. Gotta go out and get some sunlight. Zoom. There are plenty of Philadelphians who enjoy zooming around town. Oh yes. Oh yes, they do. Hmm. Okay. Hydrogen. How do I get hydrogen cell? Wait a minute. I just... Ooh. Confusion. I am the confused. So, uh... Let's, let's fix that. There we go. Now all the hydrogen is where it needs to be. I really don't use a lot of hydrogen. I only ever use it for creating plastic. And I got a lot of hydrogen for the purposes that I actually require it. Like, it's pretty chill. Got plenty of that stuff. Let's see, you're still going. Still making the use with the glues and the still centrifuging. Um, I'll wait on that to come up. There we go. And that was the last of it. And now wood pulp will be used for the rest of it. Wait on that graphene. I will craft it. Then I will work on the circuits. The circuits. Come on, graphene. Please. Please, graphene. There we go. Graphene dust. Put that in there. It gets wire milled out. Is that the other thing? Sort of like that. And then one more piece of graphene wire. Combine them together for a thick boy. And then after I create the solar panels, the next step in the process is to create two ultra-low voltage transformers to step up the voltage from ultra-low to low. Because the machines that I will make afterwards all run on low voltage. But the solar panels produce ultra-low voltage. Uh, put that in just over here. Boop. There we go. Now I just need those circuits. And I need 24 of those, so I'll wait on that. In the meantime, I will go outside and collect more rubber. While in the meantime, I will throw um, this rubber tree sapling in there, as well as the other one. Take it outside with me. Actually, you know what? Now let's not do that. Do that there. The rubber wood in there. I'll plant this tree outside. Grab me another tap. Tap. App. That works. Oh, I already have another tap in my inventory. Ah. A couple of extra taps never hurt nobody. Yeah. Swag. Going outside. I see Endermen on the map. I like Endermen. They give me Ender Pearls. Bring me your pearls, dear Enderman. Oh, you're gone. Where'd you go? I see you. No, come back. Come here, you. No. Oh. I wanted to take your pearls. Come over here while I slice off your pearls, buddy. Let's get rid of this tree. This tree's annoying. There we go. Oh, hello. 
Oh, I thought I heard a Venoraptor around me. I was mistaken. Get some more rubber over here. Cool. Rubber on this tree. Did this tree ever have any rubber? Oh, actually, I think this tree just grew. I'm going to give it a chance. Give it a chance to develop some rubber. You got some rubber? Appreciate it. Sometimes the rubber, the, the sticky resin just goes flying, and I, I don't I don't know why. It's in my programming, says the rubber. It's in my programming, says the rubber, says the Cameron, narrating for the sticky resin. Weird. Why does he do this? Why do I narrate for inanimate objects? Virtual objects that don't exist. Why? Because it's fun. And silence makes me uncomfortable. It's very silent right now. So I like to fill the void. Honestly, I thought I had the music up on Minecraft. I thought there'd be more music. Let me check on that. There really hasn't been a lot of music in a while. Music. I like music. Well, I wonder if there's like a portable radio mod that I can add to have music at all possible times. That'd be nice. Oh, is it a cricket thing? Yeah, hey there. Iwig. Iwig dead. Your Iwig is dead now. Oh, is there rubber up there? <gasps> I see it. Aha, aha, aha. Thank you. Thank you for this rubber experience. You had some, but not available yet. There you go. Give me some of that. Thank you. I don't know why that block's there, but now it's in my inventory. No rubber on this tree. That's a shame. But I came back a little too early, so perhaps I perhaps I just have to be a little more patient. You can't rush perfection, man. You can't rush rubber. For rubber cannot move on its own. So don't expect it to. Ten? That should be okay. Should be okay for now. It gave me some time to have the other boards processing in the background. You know what? Let's take this take this stereo actually. Turn on some music. Now, I didn't actually build this stereo. I spawned it in for testing purposes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to legitimately build a radio because I feel bad. Or take the equivalent. I'll need eight wood and a diamond, right? Okay. I need 24 pieces of wood. I also need redstone. I needed two pieces of redstone, a piece of iron, and a diamond. Single diamond. And by their powers combined, sacrifice to the gods! And now the stereo is legitimate. And I'm going to bring it with me into the other room. I could have just gotten rid of the stereo and rebuilt it, but whatever. Replace some blocks? I don't know. Yeah. Chirp. More sticky resin. I should have... I do have enough for that. So let's get to work on that. I require... Oh my god! I need more resistors. In the meantime, I have these, though, so I'm just gonna, gonna go with it. Those ones... I need more fine copper wire, too. So, gotta go after... Go into my copper reserves. Whoops. Take a stack of copper. Turn it into what it's good for. Copper. Do I have any more fine wire over here? No. I don't. Uh, this will be enough for now, I guess. Not really, but I'll try it. 
much as I need. Found a circuit board. Fine copper wire. The resistors are in the backpack for some reason. Oh, I already have two of these. Are these small ones or the big ones? Oh, they're small ones. Cool. So I only actually need 22 of them. So let's, uh, let's remove those circuit boards. I like to just make things on demand. It's, it's, I mean, it's good to have an excess of things, but what I'll, honestly, what I wind up doing is I will get an insane excess of something that's too high a tier, and then I don't use them. So I'd rather just, when I need it, I make them. And I need integrated logic circuits, and that should be good. Yep. Makes those circuits. That should go. I still need more of those, um, copper cables. Actually, I need those copper, those thin copper cable rules more so than I need the regular copper cables. So I'm just going to throw that in there now. Get that a processing. Yeah, there we go. Do that. And in the meantime, I will work on other parts of the system. I need ultra low voltage wire, which is made with red alloy, and low voltage wire, which is made with uh, redstone alloy. I believe I have plenty of redstone alloy cable. I don't think I need more of that. Redstone. I have 24 of them. I definitely will not need more than that. But red alloy, and I have redstone alloy as well. Red alloy is made with redstone and copper, I think. And redstone alloy is made with redstone and silicon. So I don't know. Uh, how much redstone do I have? Plenty. Let's just make a ton of it. Let's make it happen. Oops. Boop, boop. And is that red alloy like I thought? Yep, that's red alloy. Could have a bit of that. Actually, I didn't even check. Do I have red alloy in here? Did I even need to do that? Apparently not. All right. Whatever. It's good to have anyway. And I will have... So, let's see. I'm going to have two solar panels. The solar panel gets connected to the... Oh, the ultra-low voltage transformers. I need that. Let's work on that, actually. Ultra-low voltage transformer requires an ultra-low voltage machine hole. Require ring, lead cables, tin cables, ULV machine holes, which requires polyethylene and a lead cable. But those are made from wrought iron. I need 16 pieces of wrought iron. There we go. Get those. Make them into plates. There we go. Um, I also need lead cable. I need two lead cable, four lead cable, and then plus eight. So I need 12. I need six pieces of lead. Lead. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I will need two tin cables, which I actually already have over there. I think I have black carpet and string over there already as well. Which I can use to bundle up the cables properly. You're working on that right now. Work on that. We'll also work on the lead when we get around to it. Find copper wire. Thank you. Take that. Make the rest of the circuits. Made some more circuit boards. Lovely. More of that. Uh, I need at least two tin cables. And then I'll need the tin cable for the lead for the other lead and for the the um, the transformer lead. Perfect. Oops. There we go. Sort. Sort, I say. Yeah, whatever. You're sorted now. Take this. Take that. Bundle up this cable. I'm going to need four pieces of polyethylene. Let's go grab that. Just plastic. The easiest plastic that I could develop. From oil sands or oil to to something above oil. Take out the sulfur. This, that, and the other thing. Whatever. Hydrogen sulfide gets placed in here. I can probably convert... I can convert hydrogen sulfide to sulfuric acid. I just don't have an automated system to do that just yet. It's in the works. Or so I keep telling myself. Rod iron plate. Get on here. Wrench that up. Machine casing. 
I need the lead. Now I need the lead. So let's speed that up a bit. Everything gets processed eventually. All of you are finished. So I will place you back into here. I don't need the fine copper wire anymore. Sort that. Uh, let's see. Oops. Integrated logic circuit gets combined in threes. With resistor and gold wire. Need the circuit boards, resistor, probably need more resistors. And gold wire. Find gold wire. Find gold wire! Whatever. There we go. That's going to do that. It's going to make the next circuit level up from that. And then above from there, you need electrum cable. L electrum. Fine electrum cables. Perfect. Lead wire is here. Do that. Then this. Then that. Then that. I'm going to take this out. Put one, two, three, four lead cables in there. These two machine casings. And I'm going to melt some polyethylene in the fluid extractor making some machine casings. Cool. And then I have everything else for the ultra low voltage transformers. And this just finished. So that's cool. So I have eight of those. I'm gonna pop them into here. I don't need that circuit board anymore. I don't think I need these resistors. But in order to make the advanced circuit, whole stack of electrum wire, transistors, RAM, and ILUs. Sweet. Throw that in there, throw this back in there, get some transistors, get some RAM, get some Electrum, and we're good to go. Do, 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 do. Make those circuits. I get to make the ultra low voltage transformers with the lead on the right and the tin on that side. Ultra low voltage transformers, that's two of them which I've never scanned before. Hmm. Well, now I have scanning for goodness. The plate for making molds back in here. These circuits are finished, meaning that I can now create the solar panels, which is probably the most involved part of the process. Now this over here probably finished. I'd have the silicon bool. I can get that. Um, I can get that cut up in the cutting machine. Take the solar panel pieces out, craft those up, and it's lovely. <gasps> My song stopped. Far. There we go. Graphene wire in the middle. Glowstone dope wafers on top. Some circuits on the side. Gallium arsenide. Perfect. More solar panels. Were these scannable? They are scannable. Nice. Those go on top of the ultra low voltage transformers. I actually really don't need ultra low voltage cables because originally I thought you have to put the solar panel on the cable, connect the cable to the transformer, but you can actually put the solar panel right smack on the transformer and it works just fine. So I made a bunch of that red alloy uh, ingot for, it's not, it's not nothing. It's not for nothing. I use it for various other purposes as well. You can actually create items in this game. Think of it like a redstone, like redstone, like wire thing on the ground, except it's like you can put it on walls, you can put it on the ceiling, you can connect them in the air. Pretty cool. Uh, they're redstone conduits. No, I don't have any right here. That's fine. But I do need, I do need those redstone alloy cables. Redstone alloy cables for the machines. The next thing that I need, I have my little list over here. I need the converter, Oh, I should make a battery buffer and some batteries. So I'm going to make a make a low voltage battery buffer with 16 slots. Um not 16 slots actually. Never 16 slots. The problem with the battery so battery buffers can go usually up to 16 slots. The number of amps like current that can be sent out through a battery buffer is equal to the number of batteries inside. There are no cables in the game, from what I can tell, that go bigger than times 12. T 
times 12 can only take max amperage of 12, at least at these lower voltages. Some higher times 12 cables like X, 12X, not SX, X like, um, like for example, blue alloy, just because they're times 12 doesn't mean that they can't take more amps, but there's nothing at this voltage, at low voltage, that can do that without a loss of electricity. And I don't really want to do that, so. I opt for a different approach. But I need... I need times 8 tin wires. So 8 times 4 is 32. I need 32 tin wires. Pop them all together. A chest up on top. And that'll be that. Boop! I'll put them all together. Times 4. Times 8. I need to make another chest. Which I should be able to do very easily. And then I just need... Um... Low voltage machine hole, which requires steel and tin and stuff. Speaking of which, tin over here, over here. Send these fine, these copper wires back into here just to have a lot of them. It's always good to have a bunch of fine copper wire. Do that. Let me check something real quick. On the cellular phone. Just checking in on my buddy. See if they're doing anything. See what's up. What's up, dude? Hey, let's eat some pizza. Let's eat some pizza. Let's eat some pizza. Good, and the pizza's not glitchy. I don't know why it wouldn't let me eat it last time. Like, I don't know what was going on. It was weird. I don't know what goes on with that. So I need that, um, and I need pieces of steel. I actually don't have a lot of steel, not as much as I wish I'd have. And the reason for that is, in order to create steel, you need oxygen. The way that I make oxygen, the, the place where I make it is upstairs, but I'm pushing all of my oxygen downstairs so that I can create as much nitric acid and ammonia as possible. But so until that tank fills up, it take a little bit of effort to bring all that oxygen back upstairs, so I'm just kind of flooding it with oxygen until both tanks get to a level where the bottom one is filled and then the top one will naturally start filling up next. I need to create... Oh, I need plates. Steel. Plates. So I got plates while that's going. Do that. Yeah. There we go. Get that going piece of eraser bit still on my finger. Long stick to the T, and by that point, the plates are done. Almost done. Now they're done. Turn that into wrench machine casing. Uh, I've got the tin cables. I need the polyethylene now, the plastic. Take that over here. Turn some music back on. Ball. Ball. It's a ball. Polyethylene. Put it here and give me that. Put that. Oh, no. Put that back here. And that's all I need for the battery buffer. Now I actually need to make more batteries. And in order to do that, I need battery alloy plates. Nine of them, one for each battery. And I need uh, tin cables as well. Is it? Tin cables? Small battery hole. Tin cables. Yep. And looks like I have enough. Yes. Have those. Boop. And boop. And sort. And need nine pieces of polyethylene. One for each battery. Naturally. And then I fill them up with sodium. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have 11. Why? Unnecessary. Made a boo-boo. It's okay. Throw that in there. The sun is coming through the clouds. Yes, it's getting brighter in here. Here comes the sun. Yes. Just brings me some good vibes. I just like the sun. The sun is good. 
there, and I need to combine, 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 combine these together there, and polyethylene, which should start the process of creating batteries. Yep. In the meantime, let's actually create the battery buffer, because I didn't do that yet, but I should. Nine slot, low voltage battery buffer. We'll come into there. And then after that, I require, what dust I require? After the battery buffer and the actual batteries themselves, I connect them to four fluid heaters, which will intake water and output steam. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna get to work on that next. The only thing else I need are the low volt, it's the basic fluid heater. So let's just, let's clear that. I have a very long search query down there. Fluid heater, fluid heater, where's the fluid heater? Is it the first thing in here? Solar panel, fluid heater, there we go. For the fluid heater, I need electric pumps, copper wires, a uh, tin cable, and then those tiny integrated logic circuits. So that's not gonna be too, too bad. Uh, I'll start with the simple things first. While everything over here is processing, because those batteries may take a little bit. Actually not taking much time at all. I need four little circuits. So I'm gonna do that. I need one, two, three, four, and then whatever, just take as much. Take some resistors, take some copper wire, take some integrated logic circuits. Throw them into the machine. Well, okay, that kind of worked. There we go. And I got all this stuff in here. I should put those away. I should clean up. Time to clean up. There we go. And the RAM goes there, and there, and there. And uh, there was that it? Oh, and the fine. Oh, I have all this copper wire now. There's so much of it. It's still going. It's almost done, though. Good. And lo and behold, I need more copper wire because I need it for the fluid heater. So let's get more copper. And this time, I'm not going to make the copper too fine. Uh, I'll only do half a stack this time. I'll chill this time. I will chill with how much wire I produce. Cool. Next song. Melohi. Lovely. Now I can take these batteries and fill them up with sodium. I have nine batteries, so I need 18 pieces of sodium. Sodium. 18. And fill them up. Oh, there's already sodium in there. Cool. Well... Now you're filled up. Sweet. Now for the basic fluid heater. Uh, I made the four circuits. Cute. Gotcha. Basic fluid heater, I need... I'm gonna need quite a bit of tin cable. Let's see. Because each one of these pumps requires a single tin cable. Um, the electric motor requires tin cable. Okay, so pump requires one, two, three. There are two of those pumps, so six tin cables, six tin cable per fluid heater, plus two, eight, and two for the machine hole, so there's ten. So there's ten tin cables per fluid heater, I need 40 of them. For that, I need more tin. That was quick. So let's make more tin cable. I have tons of tin, so it's no real big deal make those oh i also have 10 rotors i think i actually need those for the for the thingamabobs cool throw the tin over here get some tin cables i also need black carpets and string string ring ringer 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 carpet there we go for the tin that's how much there is there. Is there like a... Nope. Is there not like an autoplay mode on this? The stereo is now turned off. It's already turned off. It's already turned off. Oh, that resets it, I guess? Or... Ooh, scary song. No. Nah. Blocks. 
Let's see. 10 cables being produced. I will soon have 40 of them, and that's what I need to. Oop. Apparently, I need 40. So let's do that. Boop. 40. Put the string back. I've got the 10 rotors. I also need four low voltage machine holes, meaning I need 8 times 2, 16 times 2, 32 pieces of steel. I'm going to mill on steel. Steel. I have just enough. But I also need more. Uh, hold on. But I need more steel for the the rotor. The, for the for the motors as well. So, okay. I have to turn my oxygen system around. I have to do that. So, I'm going to go take care of that. Uh, yes, down here. Because I need, I need oxygen up here. I need steel. To get steel, I've got to rotate things. So I'm going to do that. All right. Well, now I've got two songs playing at the same time. The stereo is going and the regular Minecraft is going. Jeez. So this is an in-out. It's actually going to be an extract from now without signal. That will pull oxygen gas that way. Sending it upstairs. To which I will go upstairs and make sure that it goes into the right place. And I'm actually going to go the interstice way. Because it's just, I know where things are. So we'll do that. I can fly myself over here and make sure that things are indeed going to where they need to go. Is there oxygen in here? Yes, there is. Is it going into this tank? No, it is not. So we're going to insert in the meantime. So that that fills up with oxygen gas. Lovely. I can go to this over here. I have plenty of wrought iron in storage. And wrought iron I can turn into steel. Because I made a lot of wrought iron a little while ago. Stack of steel. Should be fine. Should have plenty of oxygen for that. Yeah, we'll do that. And then in the meantime, I'll take the half stack of steel that I need. There we go. Like that. And start turning those into plates. Because I need them as plates. And in addition, if I need... Two electric pumps per. I need eight electric pumps, meaning I need eight electric motor, right? Two per, one for both of those. That's two. Times four is eight. Need, need electric motors. And for the low voltage motors, I can apparently also use uh, iron rods as well. So that's actually more convenient than steel. Iron is in more heavy supply, so. Three times eight of iron. Which is 24. Turn this all into rods. Some of them will be polarized. But all of them will be ground. Ground to a rod. I do have a polarizer around here somewhere, but I just haven't set it up yet. There's a polarizer. Why do I have two? Hmm. Whatever. Put a polarizer here. Just connect it to some cables. I've been meaning to fix this up over here for a while. I just haven't gotten around to it. No, please. Thank you. There we go. Thank you all. That's making the steel. Still making the steel. So, so throw some stuff back where it needs to go. Back in here. Rod iron ingots. Let's make some stuff. That's already charged up, so it should be fine for a stack of steel. So I will turn... Nope, stop. Don't turn that on. I need oxygen here, so let's pull oxygen. Uh, this is filling up with oxygen. Pull oxygen. ka -choo. This should fill up with oxygen. Oh, it's not connected over here, is it? <laughs> no, it is not. I need to change that. Boop. Yeah, there we go. Now it's pulling oxygen. Oxygen is in. And so is the wrought iron. Go forth and make steel, my son. My child. And that'll make steel in the meantime. Let's go get those machine holes. And before I go to the machine hole, let's get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces of poly. I definitely miscounted. <gasps> I did not. Wonderful. 
Got that for the the things. Combine those together. That machine casing. I need the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for machine casings to make them into machine hulls. And that'll be the next step. Take that out. Casing, tin, poly. Wait for the holes to be made. Shouldn't take very long. There we go. Now I got the holes. Basic fluid heater. I've got the circuitry. Uh, I've got the tin cables on the bottom. I need the times four copper wire. Um, I'm going to need this copper wire in a bit, though, so but let's make a couple of times four. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. I need eight of those. That's the rest of the copper wire. So I have those, I have those, that, that, and that, and that. I need glass and the electric pumps. Let's throw these over here. I think it was in this order. And there. The machine hole. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I need glass. Let's grab some glass. Grabbing some ass. One, two, three, four. Ass in the storage system is glass. <laughs> that gave me a bit of a teehee. Put the ass there. And electric pumps. And I need my motors. Paper rings, tin rotors, tin screws. To create tin screws, I'm going to need to do things. I need a knife for the paper rings as well as these tin cables. But first, one thing at a time, the electric motors. I had need eight electric motors. Eight times four is 32. 32 copper wire. I got it. Perfect. Some rubber. I'll put that back in the system and find copper wire. That has a place. Everything has its place. Rubber. And I don't think I did needed this many tin rotors. How many pumps do I need? It's only one for each. I only need eight pumps. So. Boop. And boop. Take that. Take that, I say. Are my iron rods done leaving? They are not. There's a little bit left of that. It's almost done. In the meantime, I can take eight of these and polarize them. You're now on opposite sides of the spectrum. Polarized. A magnetic dipole. Magnetic monopoles don't exist. You can't have a positive without a negative. If you take a magnet and chop it in half, can you isolate the negative and the positive? No. No, you cannot. Just can't do it. Some cool things about our reality. Magnetic iron rod. And you're almost done. You are so close to being done. Oh. <sighs> Stretch a little bit. Let's see, it is 11 o'clock. Still a little tired. But the sun's shining now, so that should fix that problem for me real soon. I need two more of those rods, and then I'll be able to get going on that. On those motors. What else do I need for the motors? I need the paper rings. And I need, if I need eight of those, I need 16 paper rings. To make a paper ring, you take two pieces of paper and chop it with a knife. That's it. I have a knife. I don't have a knife. Where's my knife? Is it over here? Where's my knife? I don't have a knife. Oh my gosh, I don't have a knife. Oh, I gotta make a knife. Alrighty then. Need my knife. Requires a plate and a rod. And we've already got some rods being made, so... Or steel. You know what? Steel's the way to go. Make one steel rod. One steel plate. Boop. Uh, that's almost there. These rods are completed, though. And that's pretty cool. Grab the steel rod when it comes out. Cool. And the dust. Um, throw the dust and stuff to be recycled. Uh, oh, I got batteries. Cool. And the polarized rod. I already have the polarized rods. Don't I? Yes, I do. Let's make a knife. Let's make a knife. 
Uh, I don't know why I still have this black carpet in my inventory. I need a file and a hammer. I do not have a hammer. Let's do the switches up here. Hammer. It's hammer time. I never listened to a lot of MC Hammer. Actually, I, I can't even name any one of MC Hammer's songs. So some would say I didn't listen at all. So it things back in the system. I don't need the tap on me for now. Um, nor do I need these black carpets. It's all right. I do need paper, though. And I hope I have a lot of it. Paper? Oh, yeah, that's plenty of paper. Make some paper rings. Not envelopes, silly. Five, six, seven, eight. I need 16 of them. Cool. That works. Put the knife in my hammer space. The knife go to hammer space. I've got that. Got the rods. Let's make the motors. So for that, I'll need tin cables on both sides. I'll need the magnetic iron rods in the middle. Distribute these copper things along the edge. And the other ones. And I've got motors. In addition to that, I will need the tin cable on the bottom, for which I need eight of them. I have eight of that, eight of that. I need eight bronze fluid pipes. I have the paper rings. I have the tin rotors. I need tin screws for tin screws. I need tin rods. So let's get tin. What is my T button more at work? Hello? T? Tin. Tin. Sometimes the T button doesn't work. Mods are messing things up. Do that. Make some tin rods. Chop them in half. Leave them. You get screws. Get that. Uh, in the meantime, bronze fluid pipes as well. I need... Let's see. If I need eight pumps, two per... Four, four times six is 24. 24 pieces of bronze. Do I have 24 pieces of bronze that I can actually turn into plates? Bronze. Oh, yes, there's plenty. Right, did I do that right? 24. One, two, three. Six times eight. Yeah, yeah, I did do that right. Good, good. Goody, goody, good. That's processing, that's processing. Make the pipes. Put them together. Is there anything that I'm missing? No, I don't think so. And I also need my screwdriver and my wrench, but I have those. So, cool. Progress has been made to make some steam redundancy. That's good. In the meantime, I suppose while that's going, I'll set up the rest of the system that currently works, including, but not limited to, the battery buffer so they can start actually collecting energy. Now, I think I want to have the steam come in through over here so i think it would be wise for me to perhaps put the solar panels somewhere over here that have access to the outside world and i'll have them hang in like the the water come in from over here perhaps maybe one here one here one there and then power coming in from i don't know stick the battery buffer here and figure things out i don't remember how close to the surface i am I cannot remember exactly. Am I currently underground at this point? No, I'm like, I'm like, not really underground. How far do I have to go into the surface? I have a laser. Let's use the laser. How close am I to the surface? All right, I'm like kind of close to the surface. Oh, hey there, you. You're not fun. Remobra. <gasps> Enderman. Hey, what's up, buddy? Ah, oh, come here, you. Oh, we love to play. No, come back here. I was playing. Fuck. Stupid. Stupid Andy man. Stupid Andy man. All right, so there's plenty of things here. What is? Did I really do that? Well, that's annoying. I'm gonna have to fix that later. There's a little hole there. That's so annoying. The hell, Cameron. Um, but I can have two solar panels over here, actually. This will be fine. Power will come down to here. Let's start setting that up. Low voltage battery buffer. The battery buffer doesn't come out this way. 
to power the machines. I need my soft mallet to switch the direction of this, and then I need my solar panels. So I need... I kind of have them in a cozy spot. So let's go with this one. Uh, which direction do I got to go with this? It comes in from all angles and goes at the other side. So I think, actually, I put this the wrong... That's okay, honestly. Here. And we switch from in 8 volt to out. I need to go below it. Switch it to the other side. Um, let's just... Take my wrench, switch them around. Boop. And boop. And we put the solar panels on top of them. They should be producing energy. And plug up the hole behind me. Doop. 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 Get some cables running down. Need my wire cutter for that to connect things properly. Which is almost out. I'm surprised it hasn't broken now. This thing's been wanting to die, this, these, uh, these wire cutters, for a while. Connect there. Connect there. Connect it at the top. And then thread it down here. Into the battery buffer. Boop. Boop. I say boop. And throw some batteries in there. And eventually they'll start charging. If I wired everything up correctly, it should charge start charging. And then to prepare for everything else, I'll have this coming out the side. Here, 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 here. And then I'll have them in their locations. Uh, put a torch here instead. Oh, wait, one in the middle, one there, one there. Yep, and then one... And two. Perfect. Are you charging? You're probably charging. I, I believe in your charge. And then stuff will come out from here. They'll connect over there. and It'll be great. It'll be great. It'll be beautiful. I love it. Not yet. But I will love it. Let's do an alloy cable. I these tin rods over here, which has to lathed again oh they have to be cut i'm sorry they get cut into bolts and then they get lathed into screws did i actually do enough of that i might not have actually produced enough i need eight no 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 i'm good no 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 i'm all right and then the bronze the bronze is probably done by now and i need just regular bronze bronze fluid pipe just the regular ones File and hammer, and will my hammer survive? Other way around. Oh, it's a wrench. It's not a hammer, it's a wrench. Or it's not a file, it's a wrench. And the hammer survived. Very cool. Very wonderful. That's probably cut now. Oh, that was a lot of bolts. How many bolts? That was double the amount of bolts that I thought I'd get. Oh. Well then. Alrighty then. So, sounds good then. Well, I only need eight of them, right? Yeah. I only need eight, so. We'll lathe those ones. To make screws. I'll just recycle the other ones. Always nice to recycle. Get some materials back. Paper rings. The fluid pipe. The motor. The cable. The rotor and what went on the sides did i miss something i did miss something what did i miss oh the wrench and the screwdriver i have the wrench in my inventory i don't have the screwdriver it's up here screwdriver fluid pipe cable screw ring rotor motor screwdriver and was it wrench? I think it was wrench. Yes. And it is the electric pumps. And there are... Screwdriver broke. Ah, oh, the screwdriver broke. Oh, it was all things with a screwdriver. Screwdrivers are really annoying to 
to repair. Alrighty, that's fine. I'm not getting screwed ever. Oh, they're not actually really annoying. No, oh, I just need more rods. Hmm, all right. Hammer and file. It's actually not difficult at all. What was I remembering that's difficult to do? One of the tools is really in. Oh, it's the wire cutters. The wire cutters are the most annoying. They're most definitely the most annoying. Make some steel. While that's leaving, I will go downstairs and recycle these tin screws. Good morning to you, Dark Techie. How's it going, Eric? Eh, words. What's up, Eric? How's it going? I hope your morning is going well. Mine just started getting sunny, and it's beautiful out now. Well, at least it's beautiful in my apartment, and it's nice. Tin bolts. Tin bolts. Yeah. Recycle those up, and it'll be fly. We see, we see. This should be done. Get some rods. Throw them over here. Recycle. And now I create a new screwdriver for myself. Do I have a single stick? I have a single stick. That usually doesn't happen. <laughs> Perfect. File. And a hammer. Uh, other way around? Other way around. Just woke up doing some merch design? Homework. Nice. What kind of merch you design? Like t-shirts and stuff? Or mugs? I can really go for a mug. I, I love to... I'm the kind of guy who will look at like a decorative mug and be like, oh yeah, like I definitely don't need that, but I want that. <laughs> I have I have an entire... One of my cabinets is all glassware. One of my cabinets is pretty much two-thirds mugs. And I it, it, that's the thing. I only ever use one mug, and it's really only this one. And... <laughs> Yet I have so many other mugs. I'm like, I'll use these. Like, no, I won't. I I'm telling myself I will, but I won't. That's cool that you got a little bit of everything there. Nice. I don't know enough about, I guess, the logistics of, like, because I guess it's a whole supply and demand thing, right? If you're going to create merch, you got to have, like, somebody to buy it. Yeah, there's, there's nobody to buy my. There's nobody to buy my. I don't even know what kind of merch I'd do. If I even did merch, it probably would be the party parrot, but I'm sure somebody already prints that somewhere. I want a party parrot shirt. That's what I want. Gotta get me one of those. Where's my screwdriver? There's my screwdriver. Screwdriver and wrench. The other electric pumps. Cool. That'd be pretty awesome. I don't know who would wear it, but I'd wear it. And I guess that's all that matters. If I'd wear it, other people will. I guess. I guess I value my own opinions quite a lot. But, uh, you know. I wouldn't consider myself to be too niche. Like, if I would wear something, somebody else out there probably would as well. Now I've got my fluid heaters. I've never made one of those before. I actually had no idea that you can make steam like this, but this this could be pretty good. Um, and then I need a control system in here. I definitely do, because I can't just make it produce steam nonstop, or else... The things will run out of energy and it get very, very noisy. Make it steam. Good. Are we still on saplings and stuff? Oh, we've got some charcoal in there. That's good. Things are processing. All right. Fluid heater. Fluid heater. Fluid heater and fluid heater. Um, was this actually producing energy from the sun? Yes, it was. Perfect. Connection. 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 And my wire cutter broke. Damn it. Well, it's, it's about time. It's about time that thing broke. Uh, let's make wire cutters again. I always forget. Cut. Wire cutters. Plates, a screw, and rods. Just make it out of steel. I have some steel now. I'm going to make it. I'm going to use that steel. Don't make me use this steel, because I will do it. I will do it. Get some more, um, raw iron. That's what I need to create even more steel. I have all the oxygen upstairs now, so it shouldn't be that difficult. Take the steel. Steel. Um, how's the energy over here? It's fine. And throw more raw iron in there. Okay. So I need one, two, three steel plates. 
Um, technically three steel rods because I need a steel screw as well. So one, two, three, throw it in there. One, two, three, throw it in there. We'll go with throwing this dust into the into the recycler thing. I also don't need these cables anymore, to my knowledge. I might later, and we'll throw the that'll go back to the storage area anyways. So cool. What's next? Uh, wait for those things to process, and uh, then we'll take it a step further. Got my plates. Almost got my steel. One of these can be cut up. I'll do that in the meantime. Bring it over here. Get it cut up. Cut in the machine. Get some bolts. Then get some screws. Steel bolts. And then throw that also in the lathe. And I don't know. We'll keep those in there. That, I only need one of them. And then for the wire cutter, it's hammer, file, screwdriver. That's how we do it. Do it the hammer, the file, then the screwdriver. Got the plates on top. Rods. Steel cutters. Cool. Do I want to see the mug? Yeah, I'd love to see the mug. I'd love to see your design. Be happy to. Yeah, let's take a look at that. Oh. Seems that link isn't working for me for some reason. I'm not sure why. It doesn't seem to doesn't seem to be working for me. Oh wait a minute. Oh. No, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure why, but that link isn't working for me. I'm not so sure why. I don't know. But I'd love to see the design if uh I don't know why it's not working on my end. <laughs> Could be my fault. I'm not so sure. Forgot to set store live. <laughs> okay. Let's try it this time. Eat some pizza in the meantime. Hey, there we go. Ooh, cool. I'm liking that with the green hearts. The green Minecraft hearts. That's pretty cool looking. I like that. Color green is creative. The world says green is not a creative color, but it's a good color. My youngest brother's favorite color is green, so I gotta respect it. And my buddy Lycos' favorite color is green. Mine is blue. I opt for the blue if I could. But like blue hearts just don't have the same oomph as like a green heart. Green heart feels like vitality. Like where a red heart would be like, oh, this is obviously your health points. Like we get it. Green heart's like, yeah, you know, I, I like vitality. I'm going to go with that. That's the kind of impression I get from it. It's like instead of health or like constitution, Green would almost be like, um, like, like, stamina, I guess. Stamina, vitality, yeah. And maybe the blue heart would be like, I don't know, magic. Magic things are always blue. Well, now that I've got those heaters set up, I need, I need fluid conduits to bring water up to these fluid heaters, because they need to be filled with fluid. Yeah, I figured the, the green color was probably like your color motif. I figured as much. Fluid heater, recipes. Oh, what else is this used for? I can take water into steam, water into steam, seed oil on the frying oil, frying oil, dragon blood in the sterilized growth medium. What is sterilized growth medium for? Uh, that can be used for wetware life support circuit boards. Can I make those? I just would need multi-layer fiber reinforced circuit boards, which are not available to me right now. Petri dish? Yeah, look at that. Interesting. Realized growth medium. Anything else? No, that's totally it. Wetware life support circuit boards can be made into wetware assemblies and other stuff. Interesting. What can those be used for? An ultimate circuit. They're good for... Damn, all right. Hey, pretty cool. Helping myself out. Yttrium barium cuprate. That's actually with totally within the realm of what I can do right now. So that's a that's a good option for the future. I'll have to consider that. It needs water. And this thing is now connected. Uh, they are all filling up. That is good. I need 
need to turn the wrench to the front. Uh, wrench to the front, please. No, you don't want to do that. All right. Doesn't like that. Okay, I'll just remove them and put them back down then. I'll just place them the other direction. Now can I do that? I can now. Cool. Don't know what was up with that. These machines can be finicky. Turn that way, turn that way, turn this way, that way, this way. Boop. And boop. Boop and boop. Wonderful. Then, oh, I never grabbed the fluid conduits. I need that. I need those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it such that I will not produce steam from these things unless there needs to be steam produced. I got to think about the logic for that one. But in the meantime, I'll just put something rough together. It doesn't matter if they're hungering for power. It really doesn't matter. Conduits. Pressurized fluid conduit. Steam done come out. Water done go in. Currently getting that stuff. Water comes in from down here. I could probably just make another reservoir. Reservoirs are cheaper than fluid conduits. So I'll just make more reservoirs. Not that expensive. Just need... Just need to find the recipe again. I think it's just... It's a bunch of fused quartz. And, yeah, it's a bunch of fused quartz and a cauldron. Cauldrons are just plates. Fused quartz is exactly that. Glass dust and nether quartz. So, one for each of those. I need eight times two, 16, times four is a stack of nether quartz. And glass dust quartz. Stack of nether quartz. A. Things of that. Just crush that up for some dust. And fuse it. Easy mode. Oh, there we go. Take that out. Crush up some glass. Take that. Re-enable item out of output. Take it upstairs. Fuse it. Fuse. In the meantime, get the materials together for the cauldron. Iron. Need 17. Need those plates. Oops. There we go. And I think you put it together with a hammer. Yeah, you just use a hammer. This one's getting a little low. But it's fine. And then I'll need two buckets of water. So I will just go and grab some water in the meantime by running outside and into the closest water source. How about this one? Hopefully there's nothing too dark and mysterious trying to kill me in the water. Nah, no problem. No problem. Easy. Come inside, close this door. Cool. Run out. Almost done with this. 14. Make my cauldrons. Hammer. Boop. And moving right along. Is the fuse quartz finished? Not yet. Got a text from my lovely. Got to check that. After I set this thing up, I'll probably take a quick break just so I can take care of some business. And also check up on my buddy. Put the keywords together. Cauldrons, reservoirs, reservoirs for infinite water sources. Actually, did I ever... Kind of think of it. Did I turn infinite water back on? So in this mod pack, it came, it came default with, like, overworld water sources can't produce infinite water on their own. And to be perfectly honest, I don't know what the point of that is. I suppose it nerfs things, but the thing that makes it, like, what makes it most annoying is the fact that, like, if something happens and I'm digging in the water and the water doesn't auto-populate, I don't want to take all the time. It's just annoying to have to go up there and make things look better again. Like, with that enabled... You can remove a piece of water from the top of the water, from the top of the ocean, and it just stay like that forever. I was like, that's just not aesthetically pleasing. 
It's disgusting looking. And I mean, like... I don't know. It's really not difficult to make these reservoirs. Not at this point. So, like, maybe I just shouldn't even be complaining about it. It's still annoying, though. So let's hollow out beneath here, because I'm going to need it anyway. You all ready, then? Falls to the ground. Hollow out what's beneath. While everything's going over here. There we go. And that. I can put those pieces of marble back in both. I mean. Yeah, and I'll do that. That's not aesthetically pleasing at all. Let's see, put it in between here. No. Specifically not that spot. There. And here. Get some things. Oops. Uh, hello? Yes. Connect them from the bottom. This will be the where the water goes in. There we go. And if I hollow out behind it, maybe hollow out down here. How about that? I'll put it up here. And I'll put a little reservoir back there. A little axis shaft. Shh. Axis shaft. Yeah, put the reservoir there, 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 and there. Nope. Wrong spot. there add the water add another water removes from there from there and for these other ones Boop. there there and here cool and i think that'll output water let's just test with one of them extract without signal does that fill up with water it most certainly does i don't know if it's doing anything though so with water in the fluid here, it should be creating steam. Yes? No? Distilled water. Regular water. Oh, I need a circuit. I need to make program circuits for it. I don't have that yet. Okay. That's fine. Okay, but it does fill up from the bottom. That's good. I don't think it'll be a problem that I've got one reservoir feeding four of these. It's never been a problem even for the big ones. Extract without signal. Cool. Those are filling up with water, I hope. Probably. Go upstairs real quick. Connect some more conduits such that it'll connect to the steam system. Yep, that's filling up. And that. 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 And that. In the middle. In the middle. Um, and I will extract with signal, because I will have a little control signal. Extract with signal. Connect them here and there. Perfect. Awesome. I'll need some redstone conduit. Shouldn't be difficult. I'll connect it up to here. This is fluid and tank red pipe signal. I'll add another gate there. Should make things easier. Uh, yeah. Cool. And I need program circuits too, so I need to make some small circuit adjustments. Should not be difficult at all. The most annoying part of this process was the solar panels. And it always is. But some would say it's rewarding. It is. I have fun. We have fun here. I have fun here. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I need resist. Can you, can you move? Yeah. Get out of here. One, two, three, four. Why is it going over there? Weird. And then need these. Going in my bag. Get the resistors in the circuit board. Throw it in there. Make four of them. Put these back where they belong. Resistor. Fine copper wire. And we got these. Put them in here. Make some of those. Take the screwdriver and... I think it's um steam. I need to see which steam, 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 
steam. Uh, fluid. Nope. Okay. Greg Tech. There we go. Greg Tech steam. Fluid heater it requires circuit configuration one. So let's configure it to one. That's one. That's one. Boop. Cool. We'll get some control logic too. I need redstone conduit. Conduit. Redstone conduit. It's just three red alloy in a row. I have plenty of red alloy now, so let's just make a bit of it. Because I use that for stuff. Simple control system. I need a gate. Uh, simple gate. That'll really be all I need. Uh, and red alloy. Make that. Boop. Put that in there. And just make a bunch of it. I shouldn't need this much, but I have it now. There we go. Never know when you'll need more redstone. I go upstairs. Over here. Put a little thing here that says that there's a red signal. And put on a redstone signal. That'll start flashing too. Starts flashing. There we go. Then you go over here. So now, when the tank is empty, it will tell these things to start removing any steam that's on the inside of it. Oh, I don't need that much. But it works. Oh my god, it works. Sweet. Does it take a lot of power, though? Can two cellular panels really support this? No, it really can't, but it's a buffer nonetheless. When this is actually in equilibrium, I feel like it'll work better. But it does do some stuff, and that's pretty good. Pretty good from now. I'm waiting to see when it runs out of power, though, and that'll probably happen after I come back from my break. So I will do a quick break. In the meantime, please enjoy these parrots.
Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back, myself. Welcome back to the show. Checked up on um, friend. Checked up on the fiance. Just had to see how much food was left in the fridge. And I thought about something different. A different control system for over here. Currently, this solar-powered steam producer thing is active when this tank is empty. Because it's on the same thing that powers the buffer over there. I think instead, in place of that, it should actually detect whether or not the tank is just not full. That way, if this thing is full, or it's not to the top, these ones over here will top it off. And I think that's that's kind of how I want things. So I need a valve. These these are steel tank walls. I need steel tank valve. I'm gonna need one of those. Do I have any extras? I may have some extras. Let's see. If I don't, then no problem. Mm, doesn't seem to have any extra. Is this a bunch of fused quartz? Yo. I don't know how I had that. <laughs> I'm putting that in the storage system. <laughs> Was doing your makeup from the last step and messed up. No! How much makeup do you apply then? Because I would say, like, usually if I, in the past, I did a lot of theater and whatnot. And when I would apply my makeup, the makeup would be mostly foundation and then eyeliner. So the last step was technically the eyeliner. But that was, like, half of it, so. Ooh, goth style. Nice. Is it like, is it like emo goth? Like, or not emo goth, I guess. I think the goth that you would think of, like, it's all dark, black colors. Or, like, is there a little, like, colors and stuff in there? I don't know. I, I, I'm i guessing there's a lot of types of goth. Like, I would guess with the colors, it'd be like a punk goth, perhaps. That's what I would imagine as. But I suppose regular goth would just be, like, don't talk to me. I am one with the darkness. Don't come near me unless you're wanting to commune with the spirits and my dark side. But, like, is that goth or is it emo? What's the di You know what? I don't know what the difference between goth and emo is. Like, I'm, I, mean, I mean, I have an idea of what the difference is, but I can't properly articulate what the difference would be. Steel tank. I need the valve, and I need... Steel plates, that, and bars. Concealer. Heavy, heavy eyeliner with spikes. Dark, thin eyebrows. Black, gray contour. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I can imagine how that would take a time. And emo is more sad. Yeah. I get that. Ah, more lines, less makeup. Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel that. I feel that. I don't know. When I picture an emo person in my mind, it's... I'm like, but it could also be goth. What I picture in my mind, and I suppose that's just something I need to check check up on in my own time. I'm going to write that down. Emo versus goth? Emo v. goth. What's the difference? No, I don't know. But I plan to figure out now. Well, now I'm curious, so now I'm going to absolutely go look this up when I, when I have the next opportunity to do so. I need Valve. Uh, let's see. I need iron bars. I have iron bars. I need a lever. Lever. And I need steel. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Can I just use regular steel plates? Does it have to be difficult like this? Yeah, I can use regular steel plates. Cool. Very cool. Open up for me, please. Thank you. Do some of that. So the concealer, what does concealer do? Is that like similar to a foundation? I, I will admit, I am not privy to the definition, the proper definition of different types of makeup. So I'm not exactly sure. I suppose the conceal, like where the foundation would go on the whole face, I suppose the concealer would only go onto little spots, like if you got a blemish here or there, is, is what I would imagine it would be, based off of context clues of the word. I don't know. I've considered, like, going about with, like, just, like, basic makeup. Actually, you know what? I... No. I wouldn't do, like, makeup on the regular, per se. 
But like my fiance and I used to do, we still we like to cosplay, we like to dress up and stuff as our favorite characters. And sometimes the makeup just makes it worth it. It's like used for yeah pimples, bli uh, blemishes, right in the face, and foundation as well. Ah, okay, okay. Some of it's too light. Understandable. I suppose, like, if you use the foundation, it would go over most of your face. But if it's not, like, if you're trying to add, like, shadowing and stuff, I guess you could use a concealer as a way to, like, make some... some shadows elsewhere, maybe. And I don't mean shadows as in, like, this part of my face is, like, dark gray. Unless that's the style. Or more like, like, uh, some areas are meant to look like a darker skin tone than what's around it based on the foundation. Let's see, I need... I need a valve. Can't put a valve there, because that's not going to work. But I can put a valve here. Boop. Tanks back together. Now let's take this off. And this off. And this off. Yes, I know these things are struggling. I need a structure beam and a red pipe thing. Oh, actually, no, just a structure pin. Yeah, that's what that's all I need. But yeah, so my fiance and I, we we like cosplaying. She loves to make the costumes. I love to do the props that go along with it. I'm also the one that really enjoys figuring out like the um like aesthetically how it's all gonna work together, such as the makeup. I, I'd say I'm more makeup inclined than my fiance is, though if she's here, she might argue against that, honestly. But I like, like, the small details of things, being able to, like, subtly change the makeup or different characteristics of the outfit or the prop to really put things together. Contour to erase traces of actual skin and, like, normal rosy cheeks a bit. Yeah, okay. I like the way you put that. You use the contour to erase traces of normal skin. <laughs> or, or actual skin. The makeup just covers it. It's all, it's all, it's all makeup. This isn't my real face. This isn't my real face. You don't want to see my real face. Nah, I'm sure the real face looks just wonderful. Despite the fact that you are Moth's man's left eye, I'm sure the face behind the makeup is wonderful. And certainly not as ocular as I imagine Mothman's left eye to be. Ocular? O occipital? The, a word that describes the eye. Ocular. Yeah, I think so. Uh structure. I just need one structure pipe. Cool. Oh, I've run out of steam. I just noticed it looks terrible back there. Oh my god. I gotta fix that. I gotta fix that at some point. Maybe I'll fix that next. Okay, gotta go over here. Back to this valve. Okay. Structure pipe. Right there. Basic gate. When this tank is not empty, when the tank is empty, when the tank is full, let's see, when there's space, space for fluid, on. Redstone signal on. Now, there's not enough electricity going on over here, and I get that. But this was not meant to be done like that. So in the meantime, let me just... Actually, if I, I forgot I could do this. Let's cut off this. For now, I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to take these batteries. I'm going to charge them with my fist because I'm wearing a battery pack armor. Charge with my fist. Boo! Gotcha. I'll let it finish up all the rest of the steam that it's got. All the rest of the water in there, so to speak. Okay, uh, that's annoying. You know, whoop, whoops. Here, fill up on steam, and I will come back to you later. Let's, um... Yeah, there we go. Now, where'd the battery go? Where did the battery go? Uh-oh. What did I do with the battery? I don't know where the battery went. Did I throw the battery on the ground? What did I do? Oh no! Where'd the battery go? What the hey? I don't know where my battery went. I definitely had a bat. Oh wait, it fell in my backpack. I forgot. It goes into the backpack. 
let it fill up on steam as much as possible when it's filled up on steam when this fills up and everything is charged again i will allow these things to run naturally take that out take that out this is done take that out this is done take that out and throw the batteries back into the buffer and now i want another bit of logic so if this is not full this is how i want it to be if that's not if the tank is not full top it up. what just happened oh all righty then internal exception cool cool all righty then uh shall we try it again that was weird interesting good morning there's three minutes left of morning on this side of the ocean over here so good morning to you harry we are indeed one follower away ah but don't get too hasty i gotta bring those average viewers up i'm sitting at 2.9 right now it's actually even more like on the edge of things so it's it's even it's as much closer like agonizingly cro closer than you may believe it to be and i'm not sure what's going on with things over here so i'm gonna check on the server side and see if there's something going on doesn't seem to like to go in oh yeah it's uh well it's still running it's running okay it seems to be fine connecting it's running unexpected packet during modded negotiation whoa what happened Ooh, there's errors happening on my side. Whoa, that's never happened before. Interesting. Pretty interesting. What happened there? It was an exception for Forge Mod Loader. Oh, that was interesting. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, it is on Sparked. You're absolutely right. I don't know what just happened there. All right, let's let's uh try it again. What does it say? It says no connection. Feels like a lie to me. Server seems to be running. Let's let's try it. Oh, what's going on, internet? That's crazy. Doesn't seem to want to work. Okay, so what I'll do? Oh, oh, it seems to be working now. Let's try it again. Server console. What do we got? Anything? Anything? Logging in. Anything? Server console. Anything? Oh, you were confusing the heck out of me, server console. Might need a might need a quick restart, I guess. Hmm. That usually doesn't happen. Logging in, but nothing is happening. This is unfortunate. I see. I don't want to play with server commands right now. Of course, it'll happen at noon. Timed out. Yeah, look at that. Oh, crazy, crazy, crazy. Well, it is loaded. The ping's incredibly high, so I wonder what... Okay, well... Hmm. That's really weird. I don't know what's going on. Now it's... Now it's that ping. I will try one last time, and then I'll just try a... I'll try a restart. I'll start, try restarting it on both sides and see what's going on. Let's do a quick backup just to make sure. Oh, it doesn't seem to want to respond. <gasps> going on the server don't like me oh, the server don't like me at all okay that's what i'll do i'm gonna do a quick restart on the server side took too long to log in oh is that so disconnecting me that's so weird ah hashtag blame sparked i don't want to blame them too much i mean i'm the one running a whole shit ton of mods so i'd blame myself for that That's the one I would do. Uh, yeah, okay. There's a couple of things going on on this side. Okay, cool. It, server is restarting. I'll restart Minecraft for a bit. And I'll vamp for a little bit. Let's try with that. We'll vamp along for a little bit. That'll be fine. Which plan? It's a budget one. Budget 5 gigs. Budget 5 gigs. Take that on. I'll relaunch. The Forge, in the meantime, yes, ellipses, indeed. But I've been doing this for a while now, and nobody has caused me issues. I've almost got enough... I've almost got enough internal credit to upgrade myself, which I've been planning to... I've been planning to do for a while. <laughs> blame Harry. Ah, don't blame Harry. 
Harry's got nothing to... I was going to say, Harry's got nothing to do with this, but... Harry's got access to server stuff. Maybe it is Harry's fault. Hmm, Harry? A little crazy. That'll take a little while to get started up. Things take their time over here, so... We'll take that a bit. What to vamp about for a little bit? <laughs> I'll open a live chat and talk with myself. VPN right in. That'd be funny. I always thought I always thought about that. Like, if I wanted to test... I, I don't know. Does anybody ever, like, open a live chat for the company that you work for just to see who responds? I don't know. To me, it just seems like I'd be wasting people's time, and I don't want to waste people's time. I don't want to waste my own time. So why would I do that to people? I don't want to do that. That'd just be mean. That's rude. Rude dudes. Hmm. Crazy, there's nothing to... <laughs> Uh-oh. Nothing to talk about. What do I do? No, I can talk for a while. Let's see. Oh, you know what I, you know what I want to talk about? I just got a new cocktail book the other day, and I want to go through it, because I'm excited. All right, so I got this new book the other day. The, I got the, there we go. Got new things, got a new book. Got a new book to talk about. So I, in my free time, for those who aren't already privy to this information, I really, one of my hobbies is mixology. A little bit of backstory. I've been drinking since the age of three. Just kidding, that's ridiculous. I have better parents than that. They gave me my first sip of whiskey at the age of 13, and it's been all downhill from there. No, but I entered my college career life uh, joined a fraternity, Theta Chi, in case it already wasn't obvious, I decided to wear a Theta Chi shirt today, because good, they're good boys, they're good boys. And so, my intro to the world of alcohol, Johnny plays Bed Wars, you get a party hat. What the, how did I, whoa. Somehow this party hat's tied together. That's a glitch in the system. Weird, go with the pink one. Pog, like it. Okay. But so, I entered my college life, and they were like, yo, you want to drink some beer? And I'm like, I'll try beer. I don't know if I'm really, I don't know if I'm really a fan of it. There we go, two party hats. And so, you know, cheap stuff like Natural Light, or Bud Light, or Keystone Light, or Genesee. Ugh. Anyway, so, I was never, I was never really into that stuff. That type of beer. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's been a while since that last fir that first beer. And so now if I go back and try things again, I'm like, there's certain things about it that I'm, I'm okay with. Certain parts about it that I can actually, like, pick out and enjoy. But there's not a lot of it. Cheap beer has a place in this world, and it's not in my stomach. So I started going to cocktails, and I started mixing things on my own. Don't get me wrong. There are some beers out there that are... Okay, but there's a certain thing about... And it's not my drink of choice. It's not my drink of choice. My drink of choice is literally anything mixed. It can go with mixers. It can be long. It can be short. It doesn't really matter. But I like to buy like to buy books. I like to buy books on cocktails and stuff and make my own cocktails. And I do so every once in a while. And uh, the most recent book I got is some Tiki book. Like I like that. So I'm into it. Orange drinks are good. Let's see. There are a couple of orange, like in the fruit. Let's see. A screwdriver uses orange juice and vodka. Uh, mimosas could use orange juice and champagne. Anything that has triple sec orange colored things. Orange colored drinks. I have rum that's kind of gold. It's not really orange. Anything with orange juice in it can be pretty, uh, pretty up there in terms of an orange color. Uh, let's see. I see... Oh, there we go. Now things are going. I got scared. I looked on the server side and things seemed to freeze for a moment. I'm like, no, no, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Okay, it just wasn't updating. Now it's going. Uh, I was talking about something. Tiki drinks. Tiki drinks. Anyway, um, I wonder if there's any orange ones in here, actually. Tiki drinks are more well-known to have, like, that kind of Caribbean... Oceanside Jamaican aspect to it, usually using such spirits such as rum. There's apparently an incredible history to tiki drinks in general, and I know nothing about it. But uh, one of the guys I watch on YouTube, 
His name's Greg. Cool guy. He apparently loves tiki drinks and knows a lot about the history, and I want to learn. So I decided to get the first book that said tiki on it, and this is this book. Tiki drinks. Some of these are kind of funny. And I'm just going to go through things and pick out some interesting ones. It's all about the rum. Rum, for those who are not privy to this information, is a spirit that's distilled from sugar cane or the like. You take sugar, basically anything. You need sugar to ferment things, but this is like from the sugar cane, specifically. You know, interesting that you should bring that up, Eric, the Irish car bomb specifically. I was just asking somebody about that the other day, and I actually don't know what's in an Irish car bomb. And I want to say it's Bailey's Irish, if off the top of my head, I'm guessing it's Jameson, Bailey's Irish cream, and maybe something else that goes inside of it. I, I can't really remember. Okay. The Irish car, oh yeah, and the Guinness. I was thinking it has to include Guinness too. The Irish car bomb is Irish, half an ounce of Irish cream. Oh, apparently a quarter of an ounce of coffee liqueur? Really? You put coffee liqueur in there? That doesn't seem very Irish to me. But you take Jameson whiskey or any other Irish whiskey, Irish cream, put it into a shot glass, then you drop that shot glass into a pint of Guinness stout or any other type of stout. If you're doing an Irish car bomb, why wouldn't you do a Guinness? That would be my question for you. I'll try the IRA. I'm not familiar with that particular cocktail. I am familiar with IPAs, though, but I wonder if the IRA is a drink. Now I'm going to try it. I'm going to quickly try that on Google. The IRA Whiskey Shooter recipe, which apparently uses Bailey's Irish Cream, Jameson Irish Whiskey, and Kahlua. Oh, that's the Irish car bomb without the drop and the stout. Interesting. Very interesting. My capture is not capturing my Minecraft. There is the Minecraft. Back to Minecraft, please. There we go. Boop. Full screen it. And that'll populate probably in a second. There we go. Cool. I'm so sad. I'm so disappointed in myself that I wasn't able to do the... I wasn't able to put up... Like, come up with the recipe for the Irish car bomb on the spot. I'm still learning. Life is a learning process. But more of this tiki book. My god, I love... I love cocktails. Cocktails are the things. It uses stuff as in, like, tropical fruits and whatnot. Tropical meaning, like, you know, guava, passion fruits, coconuts and whatnot. I actually have a passion fruit in my refrigerator. What I had in there, actually, was I had two things of dragon fruit. One was yellow dragon fruit and one was red dragon fruit. They taste slightly different from each other, but they sold them at Whole Foods, like, right down the street. I'm like... Dragon fruit in my local Whole Foods? Like, yeah, I'm gonna buy some of that. And I ate it last week. And, um, <clears throat> I also had the passion fruit in there, too. I don't know if the passion fruit is still good, though, because, like, I mean, it's been, it's been sitting there. It's been sitting there for a while now, so I don't know if it's still good. But Whole Foods probably sells more. Probably. So my game is booted back up, but the server has not booted back up yet. I don't know what was going on. Do a little try. Hopefully it doesn't keep crashing, but if things continue to crash and things go bad, then I guess I'll have to switch games and figure this out another time. No problem. The show must go on, and I am not done playing for the day. There are other, like, really cool, like, the garnishes on tiki drinks are just absolutely amusing. You'll set things on fire, you'll use, like, entire pineapple heads. Um, in this particular picture, they're setting fire to a banana. Well, duh, yeah, I know what the problem is. The mods plus the budget. It's interesting. Like, it's never... It's been working for a while. Like, I think I've had this server for, like, three years now, and it's never really been an issue. Oh, and it seems the server is back up and running now. Or at least it almost is. Ping seems to be a little crazy, but let's give it a shot. See if we can get back into this. Yeah, setting bananas on fire. I don't even know, I don't even know what the heck this is. Like... It's a lime with a bunch of fruit in it and a mint leaf. That's pretty cool looking. Pretty awesome looking. Yeah, and there's plenty of different techniques here as well. Of course, cocktails in general have plenty of different funny names as well. I'm gonna keep on trying this. I don't know what's going on. Can't seem to connect to things. It's never been a problem before. Hmm. Funny for it to happen on live television. Things like, oh, you know what? They got the Mai Tai in here, too. Lovely. You're absolutely right. Set fire to the bananas to bring out the sugars and caramelize it. It's beautiful. Lost connection. Unexpected. 
packet, assuming vanilla or keep alive. Join the game, serialize, sending mutations. Look at that. I think it's working. Go back on that thing a little later. Eventually, I'll have more knowledge. When I actually get the chance to go through this Tiki book, like, it's going to be... I'm looking forward to it. And I've got an app on my phone, too, where I put all of my recipes on there so that I don't forget. And I put my tasting notes on there, too, in case I ever forgot how something tasted like. Now I can ask my previous self, hey, what did that taste like? Oh, well, it tastes like boom shakalaka and, and coconut and cream. Like, all right, that's descriptive. Thanks, past self. Could have been a little more descriptive there. But uh, alas, I guess, you know, to each their own. My previous self is, my past self is not well known for accurate or exhaustive descriptions of things that he's experienced. Just subjective recollections of what the heck happened. Like. Though oftentimes, I gotta thank my past self for a lot of things. I can thank my past self for my current low class situation because he worked his butt off freshman sophomore and pre-junior years of college current me present me can just relax which is nice um and all that stuff whoa hello there glitch textures what's going on hey welcome back cool hi there venoraptor i don't know what happened that was weird that's okay just a little blip in the system Let's turn this raptor off. You're annoying. <laughs> I'll call upon you when I need you again. All right. Uh, these things are going. I have that there. Let's put the batteries back in here. So this is before I had the opportunity. Okay, I didn't lose, like, literally anything. So it's all good. Just taking a little while to go through things. I'll just have to wait to open the battery buffer then. Come on, battery buffer. Do something. Also, I thought I turned off my mount and it didn't want to go away. The server's still waking up. That's what's happening. It's just waking up again. That's okay. Did I turn you off? I definitely turned you off. <laughs> what are you doing there? I haven't given you a name yet. What's a good name for something that's this terrifying? Not terrifying as in, like, it's scary. Terrifying as in, like, what the hell is going on with it? And the reason it looks so blue, too, is apparently it's in diamond armor. I, I don't know. Okay, so you just went away, which means I'm about to go into the battery buffer, right? Right? Battery buffer. Give me the buffer. Into the buffer. There we go. There's the buffer. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. Yeah. You know what else it might be? It could very well be... There's been some odd internet blips happening. And I have... I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> like, the internet company was like, Yo, we're gonna upgrade... Like, yo, we're processing your upgrade. And I'm like, alright, cool. Process my upgrade then. And then they said, actually, we're gonna upgrade you again. And I was like, well, I don't want you to do that, because you're just gonna cause problems for me. Ooh, a little... A little crazy. But so... That second upgrade never came through yet. They were like, oh, we're going to upgrade your 600 Mbps to 800. I'm like, that's pretty cool. How much does that cost? They're like, nothing. I'm like, okay, whatever. But it's sitting at like 500, which is normal. But I think it's because they were doing like repairs on the internet lines or something somewhere. And it's been, it's been causing me issues. I will admit that. It's been causing me some issues. So, yes. So now I must consider the logic here again. If the tank is not full, I want to turn this on. But if it's empty, I don't want those on. So we'll go with that. So actually, I will indeed put this over here. Actually, I don't know if that's going to work. Hmm. How to do that logic properly. The logic for that would be... If I have empty on the top column and empty or not full on the bottom one, do that there. What's the output? If I have the two of them together, infinite and not full, 
What do I want? If it's totally empty, I don't want these things on. So that's a false. If it's, I'm sorry, totally empty, it's, I did this wrong. I didn't set up my thing correctly. Eh, logic's a thing. I don't want to deal with it right now. I'll figure that out later. Let's move on to something else. Right now, if it's got space for fluid, it'll be on, but currently it's going through its thing, and I'll worry about it later. Because if, it, if it's going to bore me, it's going to bore everybody else. And I'll do that later when I need busy work to do. Need busy work. I mean, like, do things just for the sake of doing things. But let's throw some things back into the storage system. I don't need these redstone conduits. Wait till that turns on. Excuse me. Turn on. Thank you. Redstone conduit. Redstone conduit. Redstone conduit. I don't need those steel tank valves. Conduit in there. I'll get more rubber. Rubber's good. Rubber's good to have. And I'll throw these steel tank things over here. I'm not quite ready to recycle them yet. So I'm just going to throw it in here. I have a ball mold. Wonderful. I've got a ball mold. That's beautiful. Perfect, then. That's what it'll do. And I'll go out and get more. Oh, and it's raining outside, too. And the machines over there, the fluid heaters, haven't blown up yet, so I, I set up the, the solar panels correctly. Happy as I. Happy as I who set things up good. There we go. Come over here, buddy. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> dude. Yeah. Dude what? W what dude? It actually started raining? Yo, really? Wow. Pretty cool. Coincidence? Obviously not. You see, I have connections to Disney World. Disney World has a machine to change the weather at will in the parks. Little do you know, there's a there's a Disney weather machine in your neighborhood. And I told them, I said, you know what? Flick the switch. And that's what they did. Or at least that's what I believe they did. If I say it enough times, it will happen. That's, that's positive mental attitude. Probably. <laughs> say good things and good things will come. Say bad things and bad things will come. Say good things and things will just happen. You know, that's probably a more realistic way of looking at things. This thing didn't rubber up yet. No. Oh, this isn't the rubbery tree. The rubbery tree's up there. <laughs> Stay away from me. Let my weather be. Bother somebody else's weather. <laughs> Gotta be crazy. To all the people out there who believe, like... You know, I don't know if it's a matter of... I don't know if it actually exists or not. Like, a machine that can control the weather. And I gotta wonder. If you controlled the weather... What would be good about that? Like, what if you'd never get rain? Then everything would wither up and die. If you never get sunlight, the same would happen. If you never get cloud... I mean, I, I suppose... What good does clouds do? I guess cover? Maybe animals with certain camouflage would be better in the cloudy and foggy weather. Maybe there are machines out there that use fog to generate, I don't know, water. But then again, that's what clouds are for in general. They just do water for you. Hmm. I'm beginning to convince myself that a weather machine is positive. I started on the other side of the argument, but I think I'm convincing myself to the opposition. Perhaps a weather machine would be good. Perhaps control on all things would be good as well. I express control in all things, Miss Anastasia. Ex especially the weather. I don't care if you're into rain. I'm not. So we will not have rain. Do you like rain? Smack! Bad, Anastasia. Bad. I never read... Uh, actually, well, I was about to say I never read Fifty Shades of Grey, but that would be a lie. I read the first eight chapters of Fifty Shades of Grey with my fiancé because we wanted to experience it together. At the time, we were just a blossoming high school couple doing crazy lover things, including reading books together. <gasps> How scandalous. We got eight chapters in and was like, no, we can't continue. This is this is too much. It's on my, it's on my to read those list, though. I did watch the first movie. That was... 
that was something else. That was a was that experience. Probably should have been porn, but it wasn't. It wasn't at all. Alas. Man, Fifty Shades of Grey. Apparently, that started out as Twilight, a Twilight fan fiction. Lo and behold. That just goes to show you, like, if you're into it, be into it. Something good might come out of it. You may get an entire book series and a feature-length film. Or a couple of feature-length films that I don't know if they should have been on this earth to begin with, but they are here nonetheless, and they're not going anywhere. Though I can't say so much for the books, because I'm pretty sure there are still portions of the places in this world that have banned books. For example, the public school system has banned books, and I would hope that Fifty Shades of Grey is one of them. No, you know what? I hope Fifty Shades of Grey is not one of them. The children want to read smut? They can read smut. Don't stifle creativity. Ah, I killed the fly. Got him. I'm a ninja. Like that. I'm not a ninja. I am not a trained ninja. I cannot even use a sword. I don't even have a sword. The best I can do is threaten you with a knife or a pair of scissors. I actually have around here. No, I don't actually. But I did have, for a while, I had a pair of scissors that broke right in the middle. So I had two little scissor blades, which, of course, when I first watched the anime Kill la Kill, I was like, yo! It's like the scissor blade girl from the animes. Ryuko-chan. Because she fights with the big old scissor blades. Because the whole thing in that show is the clothes come to life. Cut the threads of reality. Or something like that. Anyway, that was a pretty weird show. But uh, nonetheless, it was enjoyable. Oh, I need more um, wood pulp. That's probably in my system right now. I, mean, I should put the oxygen back because I'm done with it. Okay, let's take you out, pull you out, oxygen go back in, everything goes back to the place it was before, take my steel, throw that into the system, and then I'll put the oxygen back downstairs. Boop, boop. Uh, downstairs. I say downstairs, but it's actually down elevator. Hmm. That's filling up with steam. Good. Okay. Cool, cool. We're on track. I'm on the right track, baby. I was born this way. Pulp. Pulp. Needs more pulp. Let's try this recipe. Mm. Needs more wood shavings. Cocktail of choice. I call it the Lumberjack. It's got... Let's see. It's got wood shavings in it. Okay, you know what? It doesn't actually have wood shavings in it. The Lumberjack... Let's see. What is the Lumberjack? The Lumberjack is going to be maple liqueur. Some... Let's go. Maple liqueur. Irish cream. Canadian whiskey. I don't know why I'm just thinking Canadian right now. And then you shake that up. Uh, you know, with an egg white. To, mm, well, egg whites are good for sours. So maybe it's got to have something... Maybe a little bit of lemon in it. Egg white. Dry shake. Wet shake, put it in a glass, top it off with some wood shavings. I wonder if there are any edible wood shavings. Oh, edible wood shavings. Cinnamon. Cinnamon is wood, and cinnamon is edible, to my knowledge. Nobody's ever told me that it wasn't edible. I've eaten cinnamon before. Cinnamon's also cool, too. The lumberjack is real? What's in it? Well, now I got a cocktail. Lumberjack. Was I, was I close? Was I close? Lumberjack cocktail. Does he use Hennessy? Oh, he uses cognac. Ooh. Hennessy, very special. One and a half ounces. Half an ounce fresh lemon juice. Half an ounce of pure maple syrup. Five dashes of aromatic bitters grated with cinnamon. Oh my god! I was so close except for the cognac. Lemon juice? The maple syrup? I added the Canadian whiskey in there, but instead of the Canadian whiskey, they used cognac instead, which, that works. And then aromatic bitters and the grated cinnamon on top. Yo, I was pretty close there. Man, that's pretty cool. Eee. Does this mean I am official bartender now? No. I'm a hobbyist mixologist who mixes drinks for himself. I'm only a bartender when I'm serving it to others, not just myself.
another one would be with root beer. Oh, with root beer would be cool. Yeah, because uh, you get the root beer from the... Actually, does root beer come from a tree? Well, I think actually... Well, root beer comes from the root, and I think it might be the sassafras root. That could be cool. Yo, root beer float. Alcoholic root beer float. Sounds lovely. Or perhaps one that's called the root beer. It's actually really interesting. Some cocktails actually taste like things that have nothing to do with what's in it. For example, the bubblegum cocktail, literally, there are two different versions of the bubblegum. I have only made one of them, and it uses grenadine. It uses amaretto. And I think it uses... Okay, no, it's it's grenadine, it's amaretto, it's Midori melon liqueur, and you top it off with milk or cream. And you swirl it together, it looks pink, and it literally tastes like bubblegum. And I think it's because Midori melon liqueur doesn't... I mean, I don't know what a Midori melon actually tastes like, but it doesn't taste like a melon that I would know. It tastes more like just like candy and sweetness. And you mix that all together, it actually tastes like bubblegum. Now, apparently the other bubblegum recipe, which I haven't actually tried yet, uses banana liqueur. And I only just recently got banana liqueur. I got it from the store, uh, I think, last week. Because I finally went out and got it because I've been, I've been meaning to get it for a while. I got... Uh, it's not actually creme de banana. It's just banana liqueur. And when you can mix that in a lot of cocktails with creme de cacao, which is a it's a chocolate liqueur. And uh, I'd never had either of those, but I know there's some pretty cool things you can make with it, so now I have it. One of the things that I would definitely recommend with creme de cacao is the grasshopper. It's, it's creme de menthe and creme de cacao. Mix them together, add a little bit of milk to it, you should use green creme de menthe so it actually comes out looking green like a grasshopper and it tastes like a york peppermint patty. It's great. Not as much as, so there are two things that I know of that taste like a york peppermint patty and that's the grasshopper which I just described and the haircut which is open your fr open your friend's mouth, pour schnapps into peppermint schnapps into their mouth until they tell you to stop and then top them off with Hershey's chocolate syrup also in their mouth. Also tastes like a york peppermint patty. More so then the grasshopper, the grasshopper is a lot more subtle, but that one is just like, whoa, man. It's also a lot stronger for those who are up for the task. Okay. So what do I accomplish now? I did that system over there. Everything is filling up on Steam as it should do. It's charging, so that's good. What to do in the meantime? There were some aesthetic changes that I can do behind that tank over there, so let's get some technical blocks and take care of that, because it bothered me before, and when things bother me, it motivates me to do better. Technical block. Plenty of technical blocks. Get all those out. Do some things. Get us some more cobblestone. Oh, you know what I should do? I got an idea. I will also create the system to create compressed cobblestone, because that's something that I need. Compressed cobblestone can be used to create a material called bedrockium. It's a little on the nose. But it'll allow me to create really, really dense barrels that will hold more capacity than my tanks do in... Or their drums, I'm sorry. Their drums. These drums hold about three to four times as much liquid, steam in this case, as tanks that fill up entire rooms. So if I can make some of those, I should be able to reduce some space. Uh, the only downside of it, though, is actually removing stuff from these barrels can be rather difficult because the way that these um so it actually has to do with these conduits that i use these conduits if i check drum uh let's see bedrockium drum bedrockium drum i'll keep that up there for reference bedrockium drum or conduits and it's the fluid conduits so these fluid conduits don't really have much of a limit on what they can hold. This one here, the first fluid conduit respects gravity, and that's not very that's not very useful because if I need to send stuff upward, I have to it doesn't really work. It respects gravity. The pressurized fluid conduits do not respect gravity because they are quote unquote pressurized. They're a little more expensive. And they have, you know, max in and outs. But these max extractions, that's where the bottleneck is now. This ender fluid conduit is better with their extraction speeds and i should be able to change that but the drum only has six sides to it one side can input as much as it wants to so there's only five more sides to risk to um extract from 
And with that, I can only extract up to five times three. It's 1,500 millibuckets per tick. And I believe there's 12 ticks per second in Minecraft. So it's still better than what I get with the pressurized fluid conduit. I think in order to max out things properly, I need to pull... I think I used 10 of these conduits to extract from a tank. So like 1,200. So it should work. But it's still a bottleneck nonetheless. And there may be a way to actually auto extract things from the, the drums, which could be pretty useful. But honestly, I don't have the materials yet, so I'm just not going to worry about it for now. In the meantime, let's make things look better over here because it looks annoying and terrible. I like to make things look aesthetically pleasing if I can. Put torch over. Oh, I need more torches. Uh, torch. So I can light up this area over here, light up this corner over here, and shoot upwards. Let's go, let's go. Yep, that's all where the window is, so. Only what's visible. I will never come back here. I never do. If it doesn't need to be changed, it doesn't have to be. Unless there is room for improvement. There is always room for improvement. But it looks like it uses the rusty grate texture on that level. So I'll do one of that. And then the other technical blocks. This one. The corroded metal chunks. Honestly, I didn't think when I first started building this area down here, I didn't think that the things actually looked like... Like, um... There's a word for it. Patina. Patina. It's like copper that's rusted or bronze that's rusted. I believe it's called patina. Or patina. Not so sure. But, like, I thought it was... thought it was pretty cool looking. And so I went with it. And, uh, I still think it's pretty cool looking. So I'm not gonna change it. Oh, st stupid. Stupid block not doing what I tell it to. If I tell you to break, you're gonna break. You're gonna break good. There we go. Just a little fix. Little fix, and then... So in order to create bedrockium, you need a ton of cobblestone. You compress cobblestone, I think, four or five times, and then you can mix it with a diamond, and it makes bedrockium, so it's actually pretty convenient. But the issue is you have to compress that cobblestone multiple times, so you have to send it back into your things, and I need a specific area for that. And I don't have it yet, so I will make it so that it will work. I think... Yeah, I don't need any of this. So, clear that back up. And... Cool! I think that looks better. And then I... Got a torch right here. Boop. See how that looks. So you compress it a certain number of times, and you combine it all together. Oh, uh, this isn't in the right order. Take a check over here. See how it looks. How's it looking? Better than before. Oh, that's annoying looking. Ah. Okay, there's one stone block. I gotta go back and fix that. Ugh. Of course, there's always one thing. There's, there's always one. There, there's always one. There's always one. And that should be above... It's above this one, isn't it? Hello? Yes, there you are. Oh, I didn't want to go in the tank. There, and there, and there we go. Ah, now it's beautiful. Mwah! Perfect! Beautiful. Beauty. Who is she? I am unsure. And I'll put that stuff back in the tank. And then attempt to compress cobblestone. Compress it. Press it good. I see that my headphones are running out of batteries. It's been about three hours. Yep, that makes sense. It's about time to plug myself into the Matrix. And I always say plugging myself, but it's not plugging myself, it's plugging my headphones in. But I consider this a part. I can't really remove the headphones now that I've got the party hats on my head, so like, I'd consider it an extension of my being. There we go. Do do do. That's the sound of the headphones plugging in. Alrighty then. Very good. Um, cobblestone. So let's, let's get onto that. Uh, actually, how do I make an ender fluid conduit? Is that incredibly difficult to do? Oh, okay, so it requires Enderium. I already know how to make Enderium. That was a high-voltage thing that I needed to work on, and I did, and I worked on it well. Um, tungsten steel, though. I do not yet have access to tungsten steel. In order to create tungsten steel, I actually need tungsten, and I don't have tungsten yet. Tungsten can be found underground in tungstate ore, 
but I haven't, again, I haven't found it yet in the world. Tungsten ingot, tungsten ingot can be, not tungsten ingot, tungsten dust. Tungsten dust can come from a variety of different things. Heavy duty alloy, but I think heavy duty alloy actually uses tungsten in it. Tungstate or ski light. Ski light, I think, spawns with tungstate. Actually, let me check that. Do I have my ore book? I don't have my ore book. I need to make an ore book. I used to have one of those. Ore book. What a book at? Book. Um, yeah, it uses stone, naquata, or any ore, really. Book and ink sack. Let's do that. Book. Any bo I don't have books in here? Seriously? Ooh. Oh, goodness gracious. Scared me. Thanks so much, Eric. Thanks, Dark Techie, for hosting. That spooked me. Oh, my God. <laughs> Every once in a while, the alerts just come out of nowhere, and I'm just like, what the heck was that? Yeah. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. Thank you, though. I need to get my blood pumping a little bit. All right, it's paper and leather. Paper. One, two, three. Leather. There's a butt-ton of that in here. One of those. Sack. Ink sack. I need stone. T's not working. Uh, where's stone? There's stone. And I need any ore. Do I have any ore in here? I do not. Is there any ore that I have somewhere? Uh, there isn't, but I can just go find some downstairs. There's always some ore down there. It's interesting. So another thing that I can use in this game is... Instead of using sodium for batteries, I can use lithium. And it's actually better to use lithium, but, you know, there's not a lot of it. And the only way to, one of the only ways that I figured out how to get lithium is through lapidolite, which I now, I think I use lapidolite to get boron now. Or maybe it's a different element. Um, lapidolite, what are you used for? Uh, I gotta check in here. Uh, it's not boron. Maybe it's barium? Is it barium? Lapidolite has... It is boron. Yeah, it's used for boron. So I don't use it for lithium anymore. So the other one is thpodamine. Spudamine? Which I can't seem to find any right now, but it's in the wall somewhere. Uh, yeah. It's in the wall somewhere. That's not spudamine. Um, so yeah, that's how I get lithium. And lithium can be used for batteries. I think that's actually the only thing that lithium is used for. But I never have enough of it to use for batteries. They're like... I think lithium batteries have three to four times the capacity of sodium batteries, which is pretty good. But, again, it needs a lot of lithium. And I'm not going to go out of my way to just make a bunch of lithium because it's unnecessary. And so the ore I'm going to use for this is rock salt because there's rock salt everywhere. And it's there's no need for rock salt. I, there's just too much of it. Now I have my ore book, which I use many, many times. Um, and I need to find ski light and tongue state. Oh, that's spodamine, by the way. Spodumine? Spodumine. Uh, tungstate, and I think they spawn together. Tungstate, skelite, and lithium. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing. I've never found this ore vein. If I just had a lithium ore vein, I'd have no problems with lithium, but I haven't found it yet, and I have searched far and wide for this stuff, and it's just... the Ore generation works differently in this game, in this particular mod pack, so it can get a little crazy. But I think that's the... That and osmium. Like, the uh, osmium ore vein and the tungstate ore vein, I think are the only ore veins in the overworld that I don't have a source for. And for a while, I wasn't able to find uh, sapphire and pyrope either, but there's an ore vein, one of, one of those, in the Twilight Forest, which I go to every once in a while. And I also couldn't find galena, which is a really great source of lead, so I was struggling to find that for a while. But 3,000 blocks away from my lab, I found some. If you just... <clears throat> if you just mine in one direction at the correct Y level for a while, you'll find it. Strip mining is probably the best way to go about doing it, but I've got a laser now. I can just move forward really fast. The only limiting factor is the fact that I have to, um, I, I need torches along the way. Party hat's getting a little uncomfortable. It was underneath my ear, and I'm like, what is this poking on my ear? It feels like a bug. It's not a bug. Ain't no bug. It's a party hat. Uh, so anyway, yeah, uh, that's what I need for tongue state, and I'll put that up in a hammer fit space, because I don't really need that right now. Okay. Yes, so I need compressed cobblestone. Compressed 
cobblestone. Compressed cobblestone uh, can be made, and I think once it gets to, is it quintuple can be used for bed uh, bedrockium? No, it's a quadru quint uh, no quintuple, quadruple, quadruple can be crafted with triple in the QED with a block of diamond. Do bedrockium. You lurk for a while. Gonna get your COVID test? No problem. Yeah. I appreciate my lurkers. To all of my lurkers out there, I appreciate you. I am one of you. I will say like one or two things and then just go dead silent. That's just, I, I don't know. I enjoy watching the content. Like, I, I'm the kind of guy who I do other things. I multitask and it's hard to keep focus on one thing. And I, I feel your, uh, I don't feel your pain, Eric, but my fiance has to get tested every single week for her classes, so... And they start on Monday, so that'll start back up again. She has to walk all... I think they used to have a testing location over in University City, which is about like a 30 to 40 to 50 minute walk for us. But I think they opened one up in Center City, which is about 15 to 20 minutes. So it's a lot closer, but I understand that. I, I haven't been tested in a while, but that's just because I haven't had the need to. But I've been pest tested like three or four times now for school purposes. But I haven't been in classes, so there's really been no need for it. And I'm under the impression that if she tests po um, negative every single week, then I'm probably okay. Don't get me wrong. It's a roll of the die, so I have no way of knowing for sure. And I'm not confident in it at all. I could be sick at literally any time. So I keep my distance. Just because I'm feeling okay doesn't mean I'm not contagious. But anyway, no more dwelling on the pandemic. There's no need to. Let's all be happy. An unrealistic ex expectation. I understand. Oh, please get out of here. There we go. Put that in there. That'll process. And yes, compressed cobblestone. And in order to compress these things, I need a machine to do it. And the machine to do it is the packager. It takes 0.8 seconds to do so. But what I want to do is I want to have cobblestone. I want to have a certain level of cobblestone in this system. I have a shit ton of cobblestone right now. So I don't think there's a need to send more cobblestone back over here. So I'm not going to do that. Instead, what I will do is I need a chest buffer to hold the cobblestone and anything else. The chest buffer will push things out in stacks of nine into the, um, into the packager, which packages them up and compresses them some more. So, and then things will populate through that chest buffer so i need to make a list of my for myself of what more things that i need to craft i need a chest buffer i need a packager i need a packager schematic for three by three block crafting i definitely need at least a diamond pipe for sorting purposes i'll need a battery buffer to keep things charged, which of course goes along with it. Batteries. What else do I need? Cobblestone comes in, sorted through the diamond pipe, into the buffer, output nines, sent back through, and then pushed back into the system elsewhere. Yeah, I think that's pretty much, that's pretty good. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it to my ore processing system because I've already got plenty of things down here. I might be able to reuse some of these diamond pipes. At the end over here, I actually have some packagers already. And I think what I actually might be able to do is instead, I think what I can do is this. I can connect both of these packagers to this one for dusts. I think if I just take this item node and put it over here, it'll actually output in stacks of four. So this one is stacks of four. This one is stacks of nine. They currently go to two different packages right now, but I don't think that's necessary. I think instead what I can do is I'll do a little, keep that down there, and I'll do this instead. And I will connect them up here so that both of them go to one packager for one purpose. Uh, no, I want to... Like that, there we go. So now stacks of nine will come down through here, stacks of four will come down through there, they will fill up this packager, which is not processing anything right now, and this packager will be for compressing things like cobblestone. So I need to take this schematic, that's for dusts, I don't need that. I can turn it back into a regular schematic, so I will do that. 
and I need it for um, two by two, three by three, and I just need a screwdriver for that. Oh, look at that. It just, just packaged something. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So this actually wasn't as difficult as I thought I was thought it was going to have to be. Because I already have most of the system set up for it. I could just repurpose it. Awesome. Pretty cool. Oh, I love building systems with upgradability. So convenient. So now, schematic go there for crafting 4x4 things. And that can be used for a variety of stuff. <laughs> variety of things. Compressing cobblestone. It can be used for the massive workbench, which I'll need at some point in the future. That's how we get to space. I will eventually go to space, me and Christina. Excuse me. But in the packager, it can be used to package scrap, which I don't think I can make. What actually, how does scrap get made? In the scrap box, it's it's a circular recipe. You can make take scrap, make it into a scrap box, and you can get back scrap from the scrap box. I think scrap is actually made from an industrial craft machine, but... I haven't been using those. Back in the packager for things that the schematic uses. Make scrap boxes, dirt, cobble, gravel, sand, all that stuff. I don't think it's really... I think the only thing that these compressed things can be used for is the bedrockium. Like, I don't think this dirt can do anything significant. No, it cannot. Double compressed can't be used for anything? Not really. Triple compressed, can that be used for anything? No. Qu quadruple compressed. Can that be used? To no, it's just, it's useless. And it can only be unpackaged. Uh, it can be unpackaged in an unpackager if I never need, need more. That's the thing. In order to unpackage these things, you have to put them into an unpackager. And I don't, I don't think I have an unpackager. So I should probably build one of those too. Anyway, so I need an additional chest buffer. And a diamond pipe that I can put over there for the cobblestone and whatnot. As well as a better barrel. Better barrels are easy. But I do need some of that. So I need another low voltage. I don't need a super buffer. I just need a regular chest buffer. So how do you make one of those? Chest buffer. Low voltage chest buffer is a circuit, a conveyor, low voltage machine hole, and a chest. Pretty easy. Make that pretty easily. So I'll do that. Go upstairs and get to work. Let's do steel. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoops. For the actual machine hole. I also need a conveyor module. And for that, I need six rubber sheets, two motors, a tin cable. The motors are, I can just use iron rods and copper cables. So need some more copper cables. Just make a bunch of those. Iron. I need six of those rods. Cool. Send those into the lathe. To be lathed. Do that. Uh, these need to be... Oh, I... Whoops. I took out way too much of that. Steel. Is it raining right now? It is raining. I was like, why do I hear sound in the background? That's okay. Uh, copper for copper wire. Uh, tin. Need some of that too. I need one, two, three, four for the motors. One, two for the machine hole. And anything else? Conveyor module. I need one for the conveyor module as well. So one, two, one, two, three, four, one. I think that's all I need. For those cables. What am I doing? Wait a minute. What? There we go. And I got seven of them. And I think that's really all I need there. I also need... What else do I require? I require more polyethylene sheets. There we go. And they didn't go into my thing this time. Cool. Usually does. Hmm. Steel plate. Come over here. Give it a craft. Boop, boop, boop. Let's see. And now, get back over here. Uh, let's see. Machine casing, the cable, the poly. Remove the cables. There we go. Put that back inside. Now I have the machine hole. 
I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for the motors. And I think that iron might be done by now. And I also need the uh, the the rubber, so I need six pieces of rubber, so I can extrude them into plates. Rubber, rubby, rubby, rub. I don't think I need any more steel. So. Head back on over here. Extrude. Extrude me. Or don't. Goes in there. Uh, polarize two of them. Throw this dust back over here. Wonderful. There we go. Make some motors. There and there. And here, and lost my train of thought. There we go. Put it all around. Motors. Then I take the sheets on the bottom, that in the middle. Two motors. I used to have a crafting table that I could craft these things really easily at, but I don't actually make a ton of machines now. So it's really not super necessary. Got the conveyor module. 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 Chest. Need a chest. Cool. And I need a circuit. Single circuit. Cool. So I get one of these. One, two, three, four. One, two. And one. Miner's backpack isn't picking anything up. Interesting. It usually would. I don't know what's wrong with it, but it's been working in my favor, so I'm not going to complain. Logic circuit. And this will be my chest buffer. Here, and there, and boop, and there. Chest buffer, low voltage chest buffer. I need cables to connect to it and actually power the damn thing. And I need, do I have any diamond pipes? I don't think I do. So I need diamond pipes. Pipe, any diamond pipes? I do not. How does one make diamond pipe? I think it's just three diamond rods. Diamond pipe. Oh, it's not in there. Uh, diamond transport pipe. There we go. Diamond tran. Diamond transport pipe. It requires three of them for one. I'll just take six diamonds. Diamond. So I can use a single piece of glass. Glass. The transport pipes. I need this in a lathe. I think... Do I have a high voltage lathe somewhere? I'd rather throw it into the high voltage lathe. High voltage lathe? Lathe? Lathe, 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 lathe. lathe? No. Any lathe? I thought I had a high voltage lathe. It is over here. Hmm. Maybe it's over here where it should be. High voltage lathe. Smelter. Cutting machine. Wire mill. Forming press. Maybe it's downstairs. It's probably downstairs. Where's the, where's the indie man at? Where are you? Are you in my tank? You're in my tank. You bastard. Get out of my tank. Get out of my tank. Yeah, get it. C come over here. Oh, no. Oh, man. Put things back together. Pfft. Stupid indie man. K getting all up in my tank grill. Stop that. Anyway. I don't know where he went. Maybe he's over here. Is he downstairs? Oh, there's a Zephyr in my basement. Hello, Zephyr. You're dead now. Give me the gunpowder. Give me the gunpowder. Because I'm ready to blow. <laughs> yeah. That was a good one. Come down here for the lathe. The lathe, I believe, is down here somewhere. Lathe. Are you lathe? <gasps> lathe! There we go. And it probably requires a diamond. Or it requires a battery. So let's just put the battery over here. And yeah, I know you're out of power. How much does it take to lay the diamond? Um, lathe, 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 lathe. Regular voltage is low voltage times three. So it gets doubled that many times. So six one, whoops, six one four four zero times two times two equals 244, 245 
thousand EU. I'm doing six of those. I will need to replace the battery at least once. Uh, but I'll come back to that. When I need to replace the battery, I will. Chest buffer, though. Uh, and I need cables from over here. Oh, where are you? I heard you. Hey, buddy. What's up? Come over here. Come over here. Yeah, here we go. Get you. Got you, silly Andy man. Silly, silly Andy man. Got you. Got you. Um, device offline. I need cables, specifically the redstone alloy cables. I hope I have enough distance to be able to power this thing. I should. I'm, I'm probably okay. Need to bring it around the side. I already kind of have it around around this way, so this shouldn't be hover mode. Don't shoot the wires, Cameron. Don't do it. Connected here. Uh, let's put it through the wall, honestly. Just so it's flush. I want things to be flush if I can. Uh, yeah. Oh, I need another piece of... Give him a bob. Put it here. Chest buffer there, and it'll just combine down there. So I'll put the... thing over here. I need my wire cutters. Oh, I should have... Aesthetically pleasing. Aesthetically pleasing. Put that there. Put the pieces where they belong. No! Stop that. So close. There. Uh, I needed to connect those. That. That. And we'll go with the chest buffer. Here. I need to be careful that it's going to try to do things. Right as it's plugged in this off the wall. We'll, uh, wire cutter. Cool. Put that there. I don't want anything actually going into there yet, so I need to put a pipe plug there. I gotta go get a plug. Gotta go to get a plug from storage. Plug. Plug. Plug things up that don't need to be open. So we'll do that so that things don't get all weird. It's not ready yet. Chest buffer. I also need to modify this output size to be in uh, nine. I am stacked to nine. Cool. And I believe I just need. Yeah, I need a Java barrel. That's good. Oh, you fell asleep, Moth Man. That's fine. Was it to fall asleep to the stream? Because that wouldn't be the first time that I've heard that happen. Uh, barrel. Barrels. Usually I'm a pretty loud person, so if you had the opportunity to sleep during this, I commend you. You went through an upbringing like me. My parents' house is actually... So, the highway is up here, my road is down here, and then my house is even lower than that. So, I grew up listening to the sounds of trucks and cars and whatnot to go to sleep to. And for a while, I was a pretty heavy sleeper. I've gotten a little less... I've become a little less of a heavy sleeper in in my elder years. But I've been, I've been better since... Uh, my fraternity house was even louder than what I could handle. So, when I moved out of there, things started getting better. Uh, always active. Always active. Never not active. But yeah, I get that. Hover mode. There we go. I need more item conduits. You can sleep through anything next to a busy street. Yeah, yeah. After you're next to, like, stuff, I, I, I totally understand you. I went through the same stuff myself. And now I'm... I wouldn't say my apartment's next to a busy road. It honestly doesn't get that loud over here. It's not even busy during rush hour. It's, like, it's not the main street, but it's one of, like, the off-of main streets. So every once in a while, you got people beeping, you got people revving their engines, but like it never gets to a point where I can't sleep. My fiance is a bit more of a light sleeper than I am, so sometimes it can get a little bothersome for her. But we have we close our door and we try our best, and I try to stay quiet at night to to make sure I need conduits, item conduits, and then I just need that diamond pipe, which I need to switch out right now actually. Um, so I'm gonna take this. Yep, I'm gonna right click and recharge it. And throw it back inside. Get some more of those. I got about halfway there. Pretty cool. Pretty awesome. 
and do this item conduit there. And I think what I'll do is I will go, uh, that's on the same level, that, that, uh, there, and there, cut off this connection, and then come down. Cool. <laughs> I like how pipey it is over here. I've always been the kind of person to really enjoy, like, a very technical aesthetic. Like, if there are, like, you can see the pipes in the ceiling, maybe the wiring through the walls, the wire box has always been like, that's pretty cool. I like that. That's my kind of thing. What do I want to do? Since that thing happened, a quick server backup to make sure that nothing gets lost. And then I'll download it later. I wouldn't want another retrograde to happen. Wouldn't want that now, would we? I wouldn't. So things come out in nines. It gets down there. I need the diamond pipe so that I can sort out different types of cobblestone. Uh, yeah. And that's that. So I think it's going to be a point of which... Let's see. I should have a switch somewhere that determines whether cobblestone goes through this, that, or the other thing. Because the thing is, currently... Every bit of cobblestone goes through the system, gets sent into storage. There's a big, big barrel to hold all the cobblestone. But as we go forward, I want it so that every bit of cobblestone gets compressed. Because, like, I, we currently have over 400 stacks of cobblestone. I don't think we'll ever need any more than that. So everything going forward should be compressed for materials purposes. So that's what I'm going to do. Though I should have a switch over here that stops sucking things up per se in case i ever want cobblestone to go back to the system but again i don't think that will ever be necessary i don't think we will ever go through 400 things of cobblestone and when the time comes that i have to add a switch in for that to make up for it then i will but for now i'm just not gonna bother but i need the yep uh it's processing that one it'll be almost done i'll have all the diamond rods and i'll be a very happy camper then i can sort out cobblestone and whatnot and throw a few in there to get things started and that's that. Almost. Almost. There we go. Put the sodium back in over here to be charged as it needs to be. Uh, yes. And I have this cobblest uh, cobblestone. Diamond rods. Got these diamond rods now, so that's good. Let's talk about... Let's go with... Put the cable in there. Put the conduits in there. Put the dust where the bus... Put the dust where the dust needs to go. Glass over here, make some diamond pipes, get some glass, there it goes, get some diamond pipes, cool, and I'll put some, I got any cobblestone over here, I have a little bit, then do it over here, uh, head on back down, and sort that out, honestly, not as difficult as I thought it was going to be, that was incredibly easy to do. Uh, I need any hover mode, please. There we go, hover mode. Put that there. No, why did hover mode disable? No! Uh, whatever. Diamond pipe. Diamond pipe? Oh, are things getting a little crazy again? No! Aw, oh, things aren't happy again. Oh, I gotta wait a second, I guess. Oh, now why you gotta go and do that? Internal exception again. Funny. Maybe it's just internet stuff dropping over here. It's really annoying. I'll try it again. Hopefully I can just log back in. I don't know what keeps going on. I shan't blame Spark Devel. I blame Comcast, my internet provider, who continue. I, I don't know. This been it's been problems. All right. Looks like. I've been authenticated. Cool. And I'm coming in. It looks like it. Oh, unexpected pa I don't know. Cool. Keep packet I don't know what that means. Minecraft errors. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Just log back in again. Take a moment to look at one of my Tiki pages. I don't know. Page 63. The afterburner with a garnish that looks... Oh, wait a minute. Can't really see that. With a garnish that looks like a rocket ship. It's pretty cool looking. It's an orange peel. I like that. Afterburner. Dark rum. White rum. Cointreau. And falernum. Lime juice. Simple syrup. And absinthe. And angostura bitters. I've been meaning to get myself some absinthe. 
I've never actually bought for myself a nice absent, but I've been meaning to. Just never got around to it. But I will eventually. All right, and that was not broken yet. Hover mode on, please. Hover mode. I'm trying. I'm trying. It doesn't like me. Not liking me today. Oh, wow, again. No. Yeah. I definitely, I definitely blame my internet connection. Which is weird, because the internet connection is just fine, but maybe it's just not routing me properly. Oh, I don't know. I can't believe I'm having so many issues today. Weird. Very, very odd. All right, back to my, back to my book then. <laughs> I suppose. Logging in. Go back to that flare. It's interesting. One of the ingredients in here is something called falernum, which I always thought that that was a particular type of liqueur. And it technically is. And you can make it. And they provide a recipe in here for falernum, which is pretty freaking cool. And I think the game just disconnected me again. Maybe? Oh, I don't know. Whatever. Falernum. Where's the recipe for falernum? I can't wait to try this stuff. Falernum, falernum, falernum. Um, recipe 4, page 152. Page 152 has the falernum recipe. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, it's so close to the end. There you go. Syrups and infusions. To create falernum, uh, it's a lime and allspice flavored syrup that will instantly add some tiki to any cocktail. You can make a non-alcoholic version by infusing simple syrup with lime and allspice, but an alcoholic version, commercially known as velvet falernum, has a much longer shelf life and it is the preferred recipe using high proof rum. Oh, did I just? Who's hitting me? Nothing. <laughs> using high proof rum, simple syrup, limes, allspice, and vanilla extract. I really want to try that because I've never had a drink that uses falernum before, and I and I, I really want to give it a try. So I will attempt to at some point. Okay, back over here. Can I? All right, it still doesn't like me to do that again. Wow, I can't believe this. Okay, hover mode has been enabled at least. Can I? I can hover now. I can hover. Cool. Hovering is good. That's the first step in the process. I broke pipe. And pipe actually broke. Put that diamond pipe. Please. Okay, diamond pipe went down. Uh, configure diamond pipe. Nothing goes to blue. Nothing goes to blue. Everything goes to red. Uh, and only cobblestone and other cobblestone things go to black. There we go. Black. There we go. Hopefully I just turned hover mode off. There we go. And I fall to the ground, but that's okay. And it's all set up. So let me go upstairs, grab some cobblestone, and see if this is actually working. Upstairs. I don't need to go upstairs. I can just go into the system over here. Cobble. Do, 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 do. I've got a ton of it. Let's do this in here. Let's just give myself nine stacks. I don't need this pipe plug. And I'll keep this diamond transport pipe for another time. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Looks like it. I see six, seven, eight, nine. And if I throw it into here, it should come over to this packager get packaged up, and come back as compressed. We'll see what happens. Just hang over here and uh, let, it, let it come through the system. Make sure it gets past a couple of the checkpoints. It's coming out. It's coming out. Cool. Is it passing through? It's passing through. Next room. Almost. Yeah, next room. Cool. Passing along very carefully. To the next room. All right, cool. And I'll pass through and pass through until it gets over here. Hopefully falling into that barrel in groups of nine, coming down, being compressed, and being sent out the other side. Should take... Oh yeah, look at that. Totally working. Yes. Yeah! Awesome! Cool. So now compressed cobblestone comes out of there. Now what I want to do is not auto-output. Now I want to sort... I want to sort... Cobbles, the compressed cobblestone too. So now that will go in and be compressed in groups of nine. 
put this in the chest buffer because that's where it needs to be in groups of nine. And eventually more compressed stuff will come through. I'll triple compress it, then I'll quadruple compress it, and then see... I think what I'll have come out the other side is quadruple compressed cobblestone. Quadruple compressed cobblestone will actually go into the storage system, which there shouldn't be a lot of. And whenever I get uh, four or three of them, um, they can be turned into bedrockium. And I won't automatically create bedrockium because then I'll probably just go through diamonds and I don't really want to do that. I'd rather that be a manual thing. I would, however... Actually, no, I can't even make... I, I checked the gobblestone. I can't make even one bedrockium right now because I think you need... Actually, let's, let's do this math, right? For bedrockium, you need four quadruple compressed and four uh, triple compressed. So how much is in triple compressed? Uh, so in one compressed, it's nine times nine is 81 times nine is triple compressed. So that's 729. 729 times nine again. Is it quadruple compressed or did I think of that wrong? Quadruple compressed. Oh, it actually says it right here. Okay. So it's 7 to 29, yeah. 6, 5, 6, 1 times 4 equals 2, 6, 2, 4, 4. Uh, and then 7, 29 times 4 plus 2, 6, 2, 4, 4 is 29,000 pieces of cobblestone. And according to my storage system, I don't have that. I do not. Do I have 29,000 cobblestone? Oh, I do. Oh, maybe I can make it compressed. But I don't want to take it all out of the system just yet. Oh, it went through. Wait a minute. There is one double compressed cobblestone. Why? I don't want that there. That should be over here. In groups of nine. Let's see, did it actually go through properly? No compressed cobblestone came through. No compressed cobblestone. Really? Oh, it's actually going... What the heck? What are you doing? It's actually not... Not being sorted. Really? N now, why would that be? What the heck? Why would that be? It's not sorting it. Oh, because that's compressed cobblestone. Oh, this is double compressed. Oh, that's why. Oh, pff, silly me. It's, it's double compressed. I got myself confused. That should be coming through. Cobble. Double compressed. Hopefully there's no more of that. Double compressed. All right. Ghost, ghost system. Nice. Double compressed and double compressed. Did anything more come down? I should grab some more cobblestone. Gobble. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Again. Let's just do it again. Actually didn't take a lot of energy at all. And it went really quickly. Even better. Whoa, jaw, jeez, that scared me. The rat spawned. Oh my god. How did you spawn? It's not dark enough to spawn in here. The heck? How'd you do that? Weird. Anyway, things go through there. Double compressed. Just wipe off the terrifying the, ter the terrification. <sighs> Scary. Text back my fiance real quick. She asked if there's any fish in the fridge. I couldn't see any fish. From what I could tell. No fish. No fish. Service alerts. I paid off my credit card bill the other day. Yay. Oh, this is... Oh. Oh. Scary. I was just taking a look. Yesterday night, I was... Playing some Soul Worker with Final Rhapsody, Disney Queen, and Lycos Lore. And Lycos Lore has a YouTube channel. He just uploaded an episode of Sonic Heroes that he's been playing. He's been doing a playthrough on that. 
and the picture that he's got up the, for the thumbnail it's just it's it's terrifying it's like oh it's disgusting it's him like screaming on one side and then Aaron Hansen from the Game, Grump, Game Grumps. I think they did a thing where they put, like, those... When you go to the dentist and they need to keep your mouth open, they put that thing on you and it's it's slobbery and it's, like, it's it's scary. I need not provide more details. It is... Terrifying. <laughs> scaring, scaring the hell out of me. Compressed cobblestone, which should come out in a group of nine. If it can, it wants to, but it can't just yet. Oh, it did. <gasps> Yay. It's working, it's working. I can't believe it's working. Yay. Awesome. That's coming through. It's going to make some more triple compressed cobblestone, double compressed cobblestone, then triple compressed cobblestone, and then I want quadruple compressed cobblestone. We'll see how that goes, honestly. Honestly, let's just... How much do I need for quadruple? I think it's... What is it, 6,000? Nine times nine times nine times nine uh, times nine is 6,000 divided by 64 is how many stacks? It's 102 stacks. I've only pulled out eight so far. So let's see. 102 stacks, or I've pulled out 18. So let's, let's see about that. Cobblestone. I just want one quadruple. All right. So let's see. I've done 18 so far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now I'm at twenty-eight. Let's just do two in there so I can do multiples of ten. Cobble. There we go. It's so now at thirty. Cobble. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Put it on there. Now I'm at 40. Count with me. Don't. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Perfect. It's all in my inventory. I'm at 50. I apparently need 102. Oh, don't take that. I apparently need 102. Almost halfway there. Cobble. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's a lot of cobblestone. Oh my god. That's 60. Oh, jeez. Cobblestone. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I don't know why I have cobblestone. Uh, obsidian. 10. This is 70. The things I do to configure my systems. Now we got 80. I think this is 80. Did I miscount? Oh, well. If counting were easy, everyone would do it. Cobble. I think this is 90. Oop. Uh, cobble. I think this is 100. And I'll put, like, 10 more for good measure. Just to be sure. I have triple compressed cobblestone. Was I already... Did I already sort that triple compressed? I think I did. Uh, triple compressed? Double there, there. Okay, yeah, triple compressed has not been done yet. So it's been triple compressed. And soon. And quadruple compressed. So triple compressed is the only thing that I need left. Because I don't want to compress quadruple any further. I think I put them in for good measure already. So, put that in there. Any other compressed cobblestones? No, I think that's it. I think we just let that run for a while. Is this getting any? It's actually using quite a bit of... Oh, but it's it's charging up, so it's it's charging up on Steam. That's good. I'm going to check how the Steam reserves are doing. I made this little passageway last time, so I can actually quickly check how, how much my solid fuel buffer is at. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Oh, I almost sneezed there. Would have been the end of the world if I sneezed. I don't want to sneeze. The world ends when the sneezes happen. Oh, the sun's going behind the clouds again. Sad boy time. Sad boy time indeed. I ran out of tea. I must now resort to water. 
Water, I say. How dare I? Water? Ugh. Excuse me. Well, that was unpleasant. And it just uh, keeps on going. Eventually. It'll come out the other side eventually. I believe it. I believe it. And now I can start working on other things while eating this pizza. Eat some pizza. Yeah. All is well in the world. All is well in the world today. What else can I do that's exciting? Nah, I'm a, it's not exciting things. It's just me building shit. That's kind of exciting. For those who are into it, I'm excited. I like this stuff. That's another, like, thing that I've been thinking about in terms of the streamingness. Technically, putting on a show over here. What kind of show do does it... Should it be catered to? Should it be all action all the time? Nah. I don't think so. But I think I can use, like, tags and whatnot to my advantage. So, like, something like this. I wouldn't consider this farming or leveling, but it kind of feels like it's just a lot of... It's busy work. But it's busy work that I enjoy, and it's not always completely enjoyable for some. I don't really know. I also just like to talk, so, like, I'm, I'm gonna keep on talking. Just keep on Keep on going. If I can, as best as I, as best as I can. Speaking of talking and filling empty space, where's my radio? Turn that radio on while this thing continues to do its thing. It's just going. Oh yeah, it's just going. Perfect. Just what I like to see. And that'll do its thing, and eventually I will have probably a quadruple compressed cobblestone coming out the other side. Eventually, and we'll check on that another time. Radio. The radio. Yeah, chirp time. Another thing that I've been working on is I was mentioning the NASA workbench, so I guess I'll continue working on that then. Because uh, that's pretty good. That's a good milestone to get to. So get rid of my search history over here. NASA. To make the NASA workbench, I need quite a few things. I need very high-level circuits. Circuits that I can't even process yet. I need another one of those schematic things. This advanced wafer and more robotic arms. Robotic arms are annoying, so I'm going to do that one first. So I need that. So I need some stainless steel rods, electric motors, some gold cables, a, an advanced circuit, not a nanoprocessor. I don't need that. Uh, electric piston as well with that stuff. So yeah. So let's make a list of what I need. I know the electric piston uses at least one electric motor. So I think I'll need three electric motors. Three HV motors. Right? I think that uses at least one. It does use at least one. All of this stuff uses... Uh, stainless steel. So there's two stainless steel here. So one, two stainless steel up here. Every electric motor uses two stainless steel as well, and there's three of them. So one, two, one, two, one, two. For those other stainless steel, uh, let's see. That's just in the motors. Right? One, two, plus the six is eight. I see eight. The electric piston requires two more rods. So that's 10 total. And then I need four stainless steel plates. And I think that about covers all the stainless steel needed for a um, a robotic arm. I also need one, two, three gold cables up here. I'll need two more over here. So that's five, including two more. So I need 11 gold cables for uh, the whatchamajigger this thing yeah i'll need 11 i believe that was what i said let's hope so and i don't really have that up right now but i can go grab six pieces of gold to get that started for myself i also need the stainless steel as well so let's grab that gold uh one two three four five six for the wires uh steel eel i'll need 10 rods and one, two, three, four plates. Let's get that going. Lathe. Ten of those. Four of those. Get those going. Use this power. Oh, you know what? And, well, actually, the thing's doing its thing right down there. I was going to turn on the, um, the, red the redundant steam thing from electricity and solar panels that I did before, but I, I don't... Things aren't exactly static right now. Currently, the 
power system is actually being used, so I don't really want to... I'll mess with it later. I'll do it later. I also need that schematic on top, and I honestly forget how to make one of those, so let's see. Schematic. How to make schematic. I think an assembler. Two stainless steel plates, four good electronic circuits. Those are the ones that are a level up from the base, right? No, wait a minute. No. Do I need to make those ones? The lame ones? Good electronic circuits. Is that really it? No, okay. I can also use integrated processors or good integrated circuits. Are those the small ones? Those are the bigger ones. I think integrated processor actually might be better for this one. Uh, integrated processor, a good circuit. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be easier. I'll do the integrated processors. But I still need two stainless steel plates. So let's get some more of those. Stain. Ain. One, two. Stain. Those are the enemies from My Hero, I think, right? One of the bad dudes. Stain. He was one of the bad dudes. I like that show. I'm not caught up with it. But I really, really like the whole everyone's got quirks and superpowers thing. Like, I'm starting to get into that. I was never really a superhero kind of guy when I was younger. But, like, as I've gotten older, I'm like, you know what? This is... This is enjoyable. Why not be into it? Uh, integrated processor. Integrate. Words. Rated. Integrated processor. Uh, plastic circuit boards. I'll need four of those. CPU. Take care of those. One, two, three, four. Come over here. One, two, three, four. I need red alloy uh, fine red alloy wire, it looks like. I need eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Got it. And I'll need whatever combination that I can get of the big ones. The resistor, transistor, capacitor. Capacitor, I'll need... I don't have... Yeah, okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's all my capacitors. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Alrighty then. That's just how it's going to be then. There we go. And away we go. How do I make more capacitors again? polyethylene and aluminum foil so let's I actually don't have a lot of aluminum that's another thing i haven't done in a while aluminum i need that uh let's put these in there to make a thing that's taking a while cool in the meantime go back and check on the stainless steel again that should be going uh that's all done got my rods got those i know i need three steel rods for the thing so oh wait actually is it, do i need steel for this one or neodymium for high voltage no magnetic steel rod gotcha eel one two three and then i need to polarize those so rod that up I'm gonna rod that up just like that small pile of steel thing um for Back over here, back to NASA, here, there, everywhere. The processor assembly, or the advanced circuit. The advanced circuit is easier to make than the processor assembly, but sometimes the processor assembly is totally necessary. Need the gold cables there. I'll need four times copper wire for each one. Four times four is 16. Times three, I will need whatever three quarters of a stack is. 48 of the copper cable. So cool. I think I already did that, right? Yeah, that'll be perfect. Oh, shiz. There we go. Next song. Yeah. Times four, I think. Times four. Twelve. Awesome. Need my gold cables. All except one of them. And they all need to be combined with a rubber. I need 11 pieces of rubber, I believe. Rubber. Rubber. Do, 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 do. I just keep coming back to it. Very sing-songy person. Song's always going through my head. And I think, can I just put it into assembling machine? I haven't done this in a while. Assembler. Yeah, with that and silicon rubber or just regular rubber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put that in there. Uh, is it one per? Yeah, it's one per. Okay, cool. Just do that and that should be the rest of them. Sweet. Water. I gotta put this tea out of my way so I don't keep grabbing for it. There we go. That's 11 cables. Wonderful, wonderful. 
now I should be able to have the magnetic or the steel rods, which I will make magnetic. There, there, and that one. Polarizer. There is an ender guy around here. Where are you? You downstairs? You're downstairs. Aren't you? Hey, buddy. Give me your pearls. That's the tax of being here. You have to die, and you must give me pearls. Not more tax than it is a death sentence. But perhaps death is the tax. And you're long overdue. Like, do that. Stainless steel. The gold cables in the corner. And the copper wires. High voltage motors. Um, I need those plates over here. The stainless steel ones. One of them becomes a gear. Which I can make by whacking it with a hammer. Somehow. Uh, there's a way to do this, I think. Was it not that? Was it not that? No. How does one make gear again? I thought I remembered how to make gear. There. Gear. Oh, it's on the diagonal. <laughs> of course. There we go. Should be able to do this. That. Up to the top. Smack a motor there. Gold cable. Piston. Robotic arm. What else am I missing? I've got the two stainless steel rods. I've got the three gold cables. Right, two, that, and the other thing. What else is there? What else am I missing? Uh, I need the advanced circuit. So now that I need the advanced circuit, I should actually start preparing for the other ones as well. Like this mainframe. This mainframe can be built. Where's the mainframe at? There's the mainframe. I should just put that over here. Mainframe. Mainframes are made using workstations. Workstations are made using processor assemblies, which are made using good integrated... Uh, I'm sorry, integrated logic circuit. Integrated processors. Okay, so let's see how many I need. So there are actually two different types of circuits. So I can make one distinct from the other. So I will, I will do that. And I believe one of those is 12. So I need 12 of those small little things. And I could probably do with making more resistors. Because I'm running out of resistors. I need... I've only got four. I've got plenty more over here. I need 12. 12. Put the rest of them back over here for now. Queue up the next one. Uh, I need integrated logic circuits. I need resistors. I need this stuff. So give it to me and put it over here. Wonderful. Turn all those up. Turn up the beat. I think I have just enough fine gold wire, but I think I've run out of electrum. I can make some more fine gold wire with this gold wire. So I'll do that, and I need some more electrum, so let's make some more of that. Electrum? Do I have any? No, I don't. Wait a minute, I have resistors in here? No way! Give me the resistors. <laughs> I didn't know I have resistors in there. Huh. They should be where they're supposed to be. Do I have another component? Come to think of it, do I have any more components in here? Capacitor? No. Transist Transistor? I have those tiny ones, but that doesn't count. Diode? No. No. Oh, interesting. I just had a bunch of resistors in there for some reason. Cool. What'd I come back here for? Gold. Let's do... I don't know. Let's do 16 gold. And 16 silver. Silver. Should give me quite a bit of electrum for a while from now. Get those a going. That's been created. Put it over here. Put it up there. Take those out. Keep the resistors. It's over here. I think I need the gold. The gold, and I need more of. Oh, why did I put the put the piston there by accident? Oh, because I wanted to put these ones in there. And I need one, two, three, four. I think I need four because I think they're in threes. Yep, you betcha. It needs more gold. I need more gold wire, so I need to get some gold wire, too. More gold. More gold, I say. Gold. All that glitters is gold. Only shooting stars break the mold. Smash mouth, smash mouth ladies, gentlemen, and those in between or beyond. 
I believe they attribute their lack of a career to Shrek. If I'm correct in saying. I might not be, honestly. I need the 4x4. 4x4. 4x4? Uh, nope, I need an actual thing over here. Here, and where my screwdriver at? That one? Yeah, that's schematic. That's been created. Another one, another piece completed. I've got these gays now. Uh, I run, oh, I ran out of uh, gold, that's why. Those gold wires, throw them back into the top. Oh, sweet. That was all I needed. Awesome. Them in there. This is eight, I think. Is it eight at a time or 16? It's eight at a time, so I'll need eight more. Let's let's throw it in here. There we go. Don't think I need the resistor for the last one. And then these get put in twos. Oh, did I make double? I made double, apparently. Whatever. Now I got an extra one. Cool. I need the fine electrum and transistors. There we go. Transistors. Throw it in there. Uh, I need RAM. Throw that in there. And I don't have a lot of Electrum. But I will soon. Plenty of Electrum. I can do without more of that now. Oh, did I just... Whoops. Put it in the top. Find gold wire. Sort things out. Ugh. Electrum wire. That's probably enough. Probably enough. Electrum. Fine Electrum. Only the finest Electrum in my... in my corridor. Eight... I think I need 16 for those. So give me... give me these. Give me, give me, give me, give me. And I think that's good? Nope, I need eight more. Almost there. There we go. And for the last one. There we go. Then I can put all this stuff back. And I only needed one of them. But I'm here now. So I've got it. Uh, piston. Motors. Gold cables. The rod. And the circuit. For another robotic arm. Cool, yo. Almost halfway there to the, uh, to the NASA workbench. These iridium reinforced plates are going to be a tough one. They require iridium, which is an ore that I currently don't have enough of to create these iridium alloy ingots. And I want to check when I get back where is a good source of iridium. And I think adventuring is actually the best source of iridium, so I'll probably do that. Um, yeah, I will. It's probably a good idea. Probably do that. But uh, before I do that, I gotta take a break. Let's do a quick break. I gotta get, gotta get some more food. I gotta get a snack or something. Maybe make myself a sandwich and uh, do other things while this thing all processes in the background. That's draining. That's really draining, isn't it? Probably because of the wire mill. But before I go, I want to determine what I want to do next. Oh, I was working on the mainframe, so I'll continue working on that. All right. Be back in a little bit.
Good afternoon. I'm back. Let's keep going. There's more progress to be made and more iridium to be found. There is more, more, more to find. And this wire is almost finished doing its thing. But first, for that, I'm going to make my mainframe <clears throat> with some integrated logic circuits properly. So, mainframe requires four workstations. Four workstations. Three processor assemblies, that's 12. Each one from two integrated logic circuits. No, just kidding. Um, two integrated processors, that's 12, that's 24. Does it really only take 24? Really? Okay, for one mainframe. Four. Twelve. Hmm. Somehow, somehow those numbers seem off. Yeah, look at that. Twenty-four. Yeah, alright, twenty-four of them. Twenty-four. That's the number. I'm out of capacitors, so I need more capacitors. So I need aluminum foil and polyethylene. And, uh... Well, that's gonna be tough, because I don't think I have a lot of aluminum. My headphone wire is blocking my keyboard. Come on, there we go. Alum I have two pieces of aluminum. Oh, that's not good. Plenty of aluminum dust downstairs, but in order to do that, I need... I gotta get the blast furnace up and running. So, let's see. Let's take a stack of this. And, uh, I, I don't know. Make some, make some stuff out of it. Let's give it a shot. I don't know if the... There's, there's not a lot of power being produced right now because of everything going on. So I'm gonna give it a shot. Is that a zombie outside? It's blue. Yeah, it's a zombie. I could have just looked at the map. Pfft, silly me. So let's do a little bit at a time. A little bit at a time with the aluminum. Let's do in intervals of 16. Because aluminum takes quite a bit, quite a bit of power to uh, to turn into ingots, and you need the blast furnace for it. And this is, I think, a level three blast furnace, and it run, but it does run off of medium voltage power, but it can do up to uh, high voltage recipes because there's three there's three energy hatches, so. And now continuing on. I require... Yeah, I need aluminum. So I'm gonna have to wait for aluminum. Uh, what else can I do in the meantime? Uh, this wafer? Advanced wafer. How does one make... Uh, circuit fabricator. Or an assembler. Gotcha. Yeah, that seems better for me. Four diamond plates. Soldering alloy. And epoxy circuit board. Alright. Well, how does one make an epoxy circuit board? Chemical reacts... Sulfuric acid, copper foil, and epoxy resin sheet. Epoxy resin sheet. How does one make? I probably, what, extrude an epoxy resin bar? How many sheets do I need? I missed that. I think I just need one for each. One of these. And for that, I can create the wafer with only one. Oh, I need eight of them. Okay, I need eight of those. Meaning I need eight epoxy resin sheets. Eight epoxy resin bars. Which... I think I need epoxy resin pulp, right? Yeah. How does one? Epoxy resin pulp. I need eight of it. What's the way to get it? No, not that way. Uh, pulverize, centrifuge. No, it's not the, it's not that way. All right, okay. Turn it into a bar. How does one make the bar? Is it chemically? I feel like it's chemically. Ah, epoxy resin. Yes. Need that. How does one? Chemical reactor. I need propene, benzene, and chlorine to create that much to make two of it. So I need four cells of benzene, four cells of propene. Let me write that down. Propene, propene, benzene. And I think I may have systems already available to create that. Potentially. I don't really know. Yeah, in various different orders. But I do need that. And that's 500 millibuckets of chlorine. So, propene, benzene. How does one make propene? 
chemical reactor. Ethylene can be turned into propane. Propane into propane. 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 That makes sense. More propane. Ethylene. I have polyethylene, but I can always stop polyethylene. And actually, can ethylene be made into propane and uh, benzene? That'd be pretty cool. I'll, I'll take note of that. Propene. Isoprene. Interesting. Where's the propene? Benzene. Benzene. That's it. Benzene can be created also for... You can distill heavy fuel. Wood tar. Naphtha. Okay, so I can actually create benzene from the naphtha. Can I create it from... No, that's pretty much it. Okay. Well, naphtha comes out over here, and if I change the circuit, I can make it better. I think the oil comes into here and gets distilled to... This distillery, I think, has naphtha that comes into it. All right, how do I do that? Uh, go back to... Benz, uh, propane, propane, benzene, benzene, chlorobenzene, there's a lot of benzenes, benzene, benzene, can be distilled from naphtha, program four, currently this one is program seven, which in a distillery produces from naphtha, ethylene, okay, so I need propane first. And then that comes out the other side. Let's make some benzene. I'm gonna configure this IO such that nothing comes out of it. Don't don't push it anywhere. And we'll create some benzene. So I'll keep this circuit to the side and make another one. And it's circuit four, I think. Create benzene from distillery. It's number four. So we'll do that. There. Need one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I that's not the right amount of whatever. There, there, and my backpack is working again, clearly. Yeah, that was weird. Weird how it wasn't working before. Resistor. Throw that back in here. Put it over here, get that, there, that needs to be number seven. Uh, no, not number seven, number four, right? I've forgotten already. Benzene. Number four, gotcha. Put that here, and I believe that's here for number four? That's eight. That's two. That's three. That's four. Perfect. Lovely. That's number four. So it's prepped for benzene. I need how much benzene? Put that in here. So, okay. I need four cells of benzene to create enough epoxy resin for my application. So, it takes 200 things of naphtha to create 80. So that's a ratio. So I would want times 10 times 10, 2,000, 20,000 naphtha. How does one get 20,000 naphtha? I can get it from, I know the chemical reactor takes sulfuric at naphtha out. So if I want 20,000, the best I'm gonna get is 12 things of naphtha two things coming through. I can get 24,000. Well, for 24,000 naphtha, let's see, 24,000 times, I think it's 80 for 200, times 200 divided by 80. I think it's, that didn't work out right. That math didn't work out right. Let's see. 12,000, 24,000, benzene, distillery. 200 per 80, correct. 24,000. That's 200 per that, oh, okay. Times 80 divided by 200 equals 
9600. Zero, zero. I'll have nine cells of that. I can just get rid of the leftover or just save it. I'll, I'll save the benzene. I might have stuff for that later. Okay, so two things of naphtha. Currently, there's that much sulfuric naphtha in there. And you get that from distilling oil. So you get 10 of that per that. How much do I need left for 24,000? 24,000 minus 1,400 equals that. 22,600. To create that, we need oil. That's per 10. So divide that by, this is sulfuric naphtha. Yep, divide that by 10. Divide it by 10 times 25. I need 56,500 oil. And oil comes out and I think 500 per oil sands. That's what it looks like. Yep, 500. So divide it by 500. I need 113 oil sands ore to create enough benzene for myself. So I'm going to go, that's for the benzene actually. I did the math. One, three oil sands. Cool. And now, what about for the propene? Propene, 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 propene. Where's that enderman? Where are you? Are you in my tank again? Better not be in my tank. Oh, you're below me. I must go down below and take care of business. Come back here. What are you doing? Where are you? Are you behind the pillar? Ah, what's up, asshole? Hey. 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 Stop leaving dirt everywhere down here. I know for a fact if dirt's down here, there's a lack of dirt up above, so I'd rather you not do that. Uh, propene. Propene gets made from polyeth from from ethylene. So instead, what I'll do is the ethylene will fill up over here. That's good. Um, that'll be all right. And then the ethylene gets sent where I'm not exactly sure yet. Propene. So if I need, I'm gonna have eight cells of benzene. So let's try to go for eight cells of propene as well. Chemical reactor. Three from ethylene into propene. It's a direct conversion. So if I want ethylene, I just get as much as I want. So propene. Same thing with sulfuric naphtha. I think I'm going to have to do the same thing with the oil sends again. Ethylene gets chemically reacted from propene or no it's no how do i do this propene no ethylene gets distilled yeah that's it it gets distilled from uh the naphtha so naphtha from 200 to 120 uh if i produce 24,000 let's see 24,000 sulfuric naphtha well 113 oil sands ore will create 24,000 naphtha. 24,000 naphtha divided by 200 times 120 is 14,400 of ethylene, which gets directly converted. That's plenty. So we'll do 100. We'll do 113 for one, 113 for the other, convert the ethylene, and so on and so forth. But I need oil sands, so that's what I'm going to do. I will go and grab oil sands as that work to create more epoxy and then potentially go adventuring later maybe maybe a man on a mission gotta find my journey map say where the oil sands is where's the closest oil sands source oh cool it's already marked where is that over there cool i'm going hunting hunting for oil sands There we go. Woo! Off we go. Oh, well, my um, deviating lilies are grown. So let's uh, let's plant some more. Cool. Sometimes they produce none. Sometimes they produce some. Awesome. Looks like I've gained some colors. Oh no. Awesome. 
purple, 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 red, red, and a bunch of blue. Perfect. All the colors of the wind. And then some. I don't need this or that. I don't need this either. Put that over there and fly. Where's my... Oh, come over here, buddy. There we go. There we go. Come on, let's go. Let's go for a ride. Uh, turn off the jetpack engine. Let's go for a ride. Go for some oil sands. Yeah, oil sands. All right, where were we need today? Where's my oil sands? It's over here. It's over here. Right in here. Cool. Oh, please don't don't lag on me now. I might die. There we go. Boop. Down we go. Perfect. Now time to mine some stuff. <laughs> Mining and then stuff. I should have brought the radio with me. I would have had some chill beats to to mine to. Chill beats to mine to. You know what I can do actually? I can just I can just open up Spotify for a moment. I can just play the Minecraft soundtrack. I can just do that. Let's try that. Oh. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to do that, but it's from a video game. And the last time I played video game music on Spotify, nobody yelled at me. Twitch didn't yell at me. So we're going to try that again. Minecraft. Oh, you playing Minecraft. I like your cut, G. Whoopsh. Ah! Let's do that. There we go. Play that. Shuffle. Can I actually hear the music? I don't know if I can. There we go. No, I can't hear it. Alright. That'll be good for now. If I need to change the volume, I'll change it again later. Did I do that right? Yeah. Minecraft time. I'm glad there are no phantoms that tried to totally jip me while I was here. Mining. I didn't test for this, by the way, so in case it's way too loud, feel free to let me know, because I can't tell. The volume at which I hear things is different than the volume at which you hear things. Indeed, that's how I've got it. I'm going to go over at the edge, this way, push on forward. I probably should have, probably could have gotten some more torches, but alas... Actually, if I hear it incredibly clearly, it might actually be a little loud. So let's dial that back a bit. That's what I'm going to try. That's the shot I'll be giving it. Okay, and nope. Hello. Oil sands. Oil sands? Eh, just knack this in front of me. Boop. Boop, boop. There we go. And there's more oil sands over here. Let's see about going back this way. Just gotta uncover where exactly all the, the limits of this oil, oil sands deposit is, and then I'll just, like, shoot upwards and get as much of it as I want. I just noticed, so if I've got Minecraft music in the background, I should turn this music on. There we go. That confirms that the music I'm hearing now, which I believe is also the music you're hearing, is coming from the Spootify. Spootify. Nice. And hopefully this will be enough, uh... Maybe I'll collect some cobblestone while I'm down here. But, of course, use it to plug up the floors. So I don't, like, trip on everything. <laughs> I'm a little haphazard when it comes to the laser. I will admit that. But, I mean, it's a laser. It's hard to control. With power this great, how am I to control it? Whoops. Do, do. 
Alrighty then. Continue on with the next layer of the oil sands deposit. Seems to feature some gravel. Yay. Oh, apparently not a lot of it. That worked out pretty well, actually. There's tons of oil sands. Wow, this is incredible. There's so much oil sands. Did I get enough of it already? I don't know. So if I need 113 times 2, 113 times 2, that's that. Minus 64, that's one stack. Minus 64 again, that's two. 64. Three stacks and 34. Ah, uh, no, not nearly enough. Three stacks and 34. Three STK plus 34. That's how much I need, and once I've got that enough, not that amount, I will put it on back. There we go. I'm usually very power hungry in terms of what <clears throat> the system I've set up can provide. It's always trying to fix that. Honestly, should be generating power from like oil or be researching nuclear technology in order to create the power. But it's a little crazy and I don't particularly understand it and I haven't taken the time to understand it. So that's all mine be. And this works for now. It gets better. I don't usually use a ton, but when I do, it takes a while. Eventually, I know I built this new ore processing system with the ability to have like more machines attached to it so it'll process faster. It just, again, needs more power in order to run at that level of efficiency. But it's upgradable now, and that's good. Better than not being upgradable. Then I'd have to tear everything out. Previously, I'd have to, if I wanted to change things, I'd have to tear everything out and put it back in. But I've learned from my past mistakes. An updated design. Oh, I'm starving, apparently? Cool. Oh, yeah. That, there's, a, there's a glitch, I think, with the hunger system in this particular mod, where if you fly on the little Ventaraptor that I've got and fly around and do like jumps and stuff, your hel your uh, hunger will just deplete like 10 times as fast as it normally would. And I, I, I don't know what's causing it, honestly. It's not too big an issue. If you disconnect and reconnect, it works just fine. But if you notice the little grid on the bottom, like right down here, that's like, it's going up like considerably fast. And uh, I don't remember if it goes away on its own eventually, or if the only way to stop it is to log off and log back on. But I got plenty of pizza, because Christina made it for me, so. Oh, Jasper. Nice. Don't find a lot of that down here. Gemstones are usually pretty hard to come by. All scattered throughout uh, the underground in different areas, there are uh, small ore deposits. Like a like like tiny little ore veins that they only exist in one block, but like you can find things like diamonds and other gems. A lot of times, things that you can't just find in the world in general. For example, jasper you can't find as an ore. I don't think tanzanite. I also don't think that you can find as an ore, but you can find them in little ore veins. And for that reason, I I do have a little bit of it. I don't know if they have any particular uses though. For example, like the exotic gems, like gem uh. Jasper and Tanzanite. I don't think that there was ever programmed a use for them. I'd put it in myself, but honestly, I don't know enough about gems to be able to determine, like, oh, yes, Jasper can be used for this, that, and the other thing. Like, well, I don't really know. I just know that it's similar in color to Ruby. Like a carbuncle or something. I don't know. Oh, hey there, pal. There you go. Seems to be windy outside. <laughs> the weather seems to be getting worse. But it's still nice and bright out over here. Oh, are there more of them? Are there more? Oh, there's an Enderman way up above. It says on my mini-map. Cool, go there. There's a lot of oil sands over here. Pretty cool. Alright, I've got two stacks. On the bright side, there is plenty of oil over here. And there's no shortage of it, which is great. So it's great. I gotta watch my power, though, too, because I don't want to run out of it. <laughs> if I run out of power, then I'll have to dig my way to the top. <laughs> like a plebeian. 
must dwell among the mortals. The mortals without jetpacks. Be a shame. Uh, I took a lot of effort to make this jetpack. I will continue with it. Come on. There we go. And I was happy to... I plan on making a jetpack for Christina as well, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. But I did make her the laser. It's good. I've been meaning to do that. And I did. I am happy with that. Happy with the progress that has been made. Indeed, making the technological project progress is definitely one of my favorite parts about this mod pack. It's incredibly tech-heavy, and it's, uh, it's not for the faint of heart. I, I don't think. Because it takes a lot of time and a lot of patience to look up what recipe used for what. Like, a lot of times, some of the biggest blocks that I had in this particular mod pack, like blockages in my progression, was, man, I know I need to make this, but I don't know how to. Or, I know I need something that does this, but I don't know what it's called, and I don't know if it exists. But, uh... One thing leads to another, you learn new things along the way, and, you know, you make progress. Slowly but surely, just like real life. Progress doesn't come easy. Alright, I have 64, and I need 22 more. 22 more pieces of oil stands. I'm not going to go in that direction, I'm just going to go the easy way. This is the easy way. There we go. Is that enough oil sands? Oh, I need one more. Here, this one. There we go. Perfect. That's my oil sands. Alright, time to head back up. And I'll block it with a piece of redwood flakes. As I normally would. Let me get out of here. Ooh, it's dark over here. Any beholders? I can destroy while I'm over here? Nah. Here's not. No beholders. No big giant eye demons in the sky. Unfortunate. There goes my... Is that my Venoraptor? Nah, I don't think it is. I think my Venoraptor is still stuck in the forest. Slowly but surely making my way over to the lab. My boots have haste. And my sword also gives me an increased movement speed. But while I'm in the air, neither of those really work. But you do move faster in the air, I'm pretty sure. So it kind of equals out. Okay. So I want this, that, and the other thing. I want to split it up into two piles. Okay. And then deposit everything else uh, into here. Everything else that I collected along the way. There we go. So now I should have, let's see, 32 times 3, 32 times 3, it's like 96, 96, plus 17, 113. Yep, that's what I needs. Oh wait, I, 113, I didn't consider how much naphtha was already in there. I actually don't think I have enough. I'm gonna have to redo that. Whoops. I definitely made a boo-boo on that one. Okay, because I did, I subtracted things from what was what, how much sulfuric naphtha was already in the system. So, made a boo-boo. And I can you too. I can actually use my phone as the remote for my Spotify. So I'm going to do that. Cool. Nice. Now I've got another screen to look at. Yay. So I'll be sent in there. Um, it will become, let's see, how many things of propene? Probably not, a, a benzene, benzene, this is benzene. Um, enough benzene, probably not to fill up that tank there. It shouldn't be enough to fill up the tank. But things will happen eventually. And while that happens, I think what I'm going to do is I am going to... Okay, this is already losing a bunch of steam. So this is not going to last for very long. Because it doesn't have a lot of... It does have quite a bit of energy in it as well, I guess. It'll be okay. It'll be A-OK. -okay. But I will take these buckets back up here. Hammer space. And I don't need this shovel. 
put the shovel over here. Oh, I just had a train of thought and I lost it. Oh my goodness. Where'd my train of thought go? Oh, I will put on some world anchors over here. Ender pearls. What are the other uses for ender pearls? So I'll go adventuring now. And while I'm gone, these will process behind me. So I can find iridium ore out in the world. Because I need iridium. Iridium is not easily found under the ground. I haven't found... Again, I haven't yet found the proper source for it. I know there are other ways to get iridium. But, like, in terms of the dust, like this, it's hard to come by. It's like uh, osmium, I think. Osmium gives iridium. So does naturally iridium itself um platinum which i don't think i've found yet platinum per se i have i know that there are some things that i have uh the system set up for that can produce platinum for example platinum ore um and i think that sags from iridium iridium uh nickel so if I have nickel oil, or I can produce platinum and iron, and that that actually might be the way to go, is to just get a bunch of nickel ore, because I have nickel somewhere. Um, is my system set up for it, though? I don't know if it is. Let me see, let me see, let me see. I fell somehow. Okay. Uh, is nickel ore set up to go into the sag mill? Going your right, glauconite, ilmenite, lignite. Spodamine, bauxite, aluminum, residue... No, not yet. Okay, so if I head towards nickel, that's where I'll go to next. And I should be able to get iridium from there, because the nickel will produce platinum. The platinum has a byproduct of iridium, which is good. Let's do that. So where is the nearest nickel source to me? I can turn off oil sands for now. And golden magnets, I don't need that. I don't need all this other stuff on. It just takes up my map. Cool. Nickel. Nickel is found, I think, with sometimes glauconite, potentially. Magni, ilmenite, pedomite, spudamine, redstone, cinnabar, iron and copper, magnetite, iron, magnetite there, pyrite, soap, talc, vastnazite, all this other stuff. Uh, do I not have nickel on here? Tetra, this, that, and the other thing. Magnite coal. Have I never found a coal, uh, nickel source? Really? That doesn't seem... That doesn't seem right. Maybe it's in the Twilight Forest. Twilight Forest, perhaps? Nickel! There we go. Turn that one on, and I will head over to the Twilight Forest. Cool. Oh, but first, before I go, actually, I should charge up my suit so that I'm prepared for battle. Or rather, prepared to fly around like an idiot, which is what I usually do. Oh, that's what I enjoy. Take like a little stretch. Sun's out and shining. I don't know how warm it is outside, but I'm sure it's lovely. I could just turn on the window. You know what? I'm gonna, op I'm gonna open a window. That's what I'm gonna do. Be back in a hot second. Just gonna open a window and see how cool it is. It's very, very warm out there. Wow, it feels nice. That's pretty good. That that might actually be a reason to... Oof. Maybe I'll have to end early so I can go out and enjoy the day. Go for a walk or something. That'd be nice. Get some sunlight. Get some sunlight, some warmth. As soon as I opened that window, I was like... Oh, yes, the warmth. Not as warm as I was last night in my hippo onesie, but that... That's... that's there's a time and a place for that. Oh, I don't have my... Wait, where's my jetpack? I don't have it on yet. Still charging. No problem. I'm gonna have to eat some pizza again. Because, again, my hunger is just... Down the drain. Maybe if I, if I take the mount off. Does that help? No. Maybe if I 
mount my mount again. Is there a way to fix this? Let's, let's try it. Is there a way to fix this? Because now I'm on my mount. I can, I can push. I can push. I can do that. Can I get off? And it seems to be normal again. Huh. You give me problems. Get out of here. Oh, okay, so now if I move around, now it's doing things properly. I don't know. That was pretty weird. I don't know why it did that. I don't really care. And that's pretty much enough. Onward to the Twilight Forest. Yeah. Okay. That's fine then. We we don't need to we don't need to do this whole thing. Going through, you're doing your thing. So if you're nap the it's going, it's trying its bestest. Yep. As long as that's processing okay. I'll throw the rest of my oil sands over here. Just so just so I know. When I come back. I still have to determine the difference though. Actually, I can just determine that now, just so I know how much I need left. So per that was for propene, I think. Uh naphtha. Sulfuric naphtha. That can be Oh, it seems my I have some pictures over there on the windowsill, and it's windy, so I didn't even consider that. Actually, you know what? I also have glass over there as well. Ah, uh, one moment. I'm totally okay with pictures falling over a little bit, but I'm not okay with champagne glasses and other things of glass falling to the floor. Because I know for a fact it's going to make one hell of a mess. And I don't want to clean it up. So I will take steps to avoid it. Oh, come on, get back in. Thank you. Do, do, do. Let's get back into it. Sulfuric naphtha from 10... That from the other one, if I want 24,000 divided by 10 times 25 equals that, divided by 500 equals 120. So minus 64, no, times 64, min, 120 minus 64 equals 56. So I think I need... Uh, I think I need seven more, right? Let's take a look-see. Seven? I need seven more. Yep, I need seven more oil sands. Seven more oil sands. For the propene. Measure twice, cut once. That's so the saying goes. I'd much rather do that. I mean, even if I made a mistake, like, I can just reset. Take this, uh, pick up the block put it back down again like that's okay not really a big deal oh did something explode over here oh somebody done did an explosion over here sucks Boop. well now it's all on fire i don't want it i don't want this wood oh i have to i forgot my twilight i think christina blew up my twilight portal I have to make another one Let's grab a, grab a diamond. Diamond. I found a diamond. Yeah. That was Minecraft song. <gasps> Enderman. Come here, buddy. Bring me your pearls. Or just one pearl. Couple of pearls. Liking that. Yeah, get them. Been in there. There we go. Into the portal again. <laughs> Annoyance. I had to use another diamond. How unfortunate. Oh well. Now we're here. Hello, crow. 
Hello, crow. You give materials, so I'm taking it from you. Uh, where's the nickel at? Over there. Uh, ore mine. Neodymium. Bastazite. Petlandite. Nickel! In that general direction. This would be the right point in time to take out the mount again. So long as they don't make me starve. Cross the dark forest. The other annoying thing, too, is I got pretty far in the Twilight Forest narrative. Um, but then the retrograde occurred, and I lost all my progress there, too, which is kind of unfortunate. Oh, is this in the middle of the... Is it in the middle of the Dark Forest? One thing that did continue to exist beyond um, the retrograde was all of my waypoints. So I still had access to all of my waypoints. Th those continued to exist, because those are stored locally. And it seems that it's in the middle of the Dark Forest. Potentially? Oh, no. Alright, we'll I'll have to try to stay away from that, at least. Nope, it's gonna persist. Blindness. <sighs> it's for the Platinum. I want the Platinum. So let's go. <laughs> Hello? Anybody down there? It is pitch black. Alright, that's fine. There are things squealing down there. What are those sounds? Why can't I... Oh, my jetpack's not on. That's why. Maybe I'll speak careful about that before jumping straight in. Should have had my jetpack engine on. I almost killed myself. Whoops. That'll happen sometimes. Okay, if I'm just careful... Whoa, jeez, hi there. I can't see where you are. Where are you? Oh god, I literally can't see you. There you are. Oh my god. Well, this is annoying. No, stop. I, I feel like there's another one coming on. I can't, I can't tell. Oh my god, it's so dark. But it's for the nickel. Okay, that's okay. You coming near me? Are you... I can see an enemy on the map. Is it... Is it gonna try to get me? Hello? What are you gonna do about it? Hmm? What are you gonna do about it, eh? Alright, now where's my hole? There's my hole. Okay, I'm gonna be very careful about the hole. Be very careful about the hole. Hello? Holes? Anybody down there? Any, any torches to be placed? Can I do that? Oh, I can hear a I can hear a phantom again. So he's definitely gonna come into this wall. Hello? Where are you? If I'm in this wall, you can't hurt me. I can hear it whispering around me. I don't know where it is though. I know they can go through walls. Oh, hi there. Hey there, hi there, ho there. What's going on? Oh, like you got me. Yep, you got me. Well, uh, oh, th he's in, he's right there. Oh, I see, I see. I don't know. Boop. Come over here and face me. <laughs> yeah, I'm struggling. I can hear crickets, too. Or cricket things. Eyewigs, I believe they're called. Well, there's apparently a nickel. How far into the ground is the nickel? Down there. Alrighty, then. Down, down I go. Well, I wish I had a building material on me so I could... Okay. Things are happening around here. Well, am I safe now? Under brick? Oh, this is the... Ah, oh, I found it in the dungeon down here. Ah. That's how I knew there was nickel. Because I found it. Cool, let's prevent anybody from messing with me. Hover mode. Do that. That protects myself. Because I am more or less blind. And I am a bad blind fighter. Um, nickel down there. Oh, can I? Can I not? Oh, is this black granite? Oh, this is apparently black granite. Although it's not populating as such. So I have to be... Gonna be in low focus mode so I can get past this granite. 
Alrighty then. Here's the nickel and garnierite and pentlandite and stuff. And uh, the rest of a place where I'm really not supposed to be right now, but for whatever reason, I am. There we go. And it's all this, all this stuff here. What the? It's, it appears that these bricks are smoking. They're really smoking. My goodness. That's bad for your lungs, you know? What? Oh, it's the black tendrils. I see. The black tendrils that cause blindness. You know, have you not heard of the black tendrils that cause blindness? Yeah, don't let it touch you. You'll go blind. That's that's what they call... That's what they, they say that they cause blindness. That is, people have, uh, people have said, after coming into contact with the black tendrils, you go blind. Well, I hope there's nothing... Oh, sweet. I love black tendrils. I love the black tendrils. Time to get some nickel. Oh, goodness, Geonok. Hi there. Oh, God. Another thing that just freaking terrifies me. That's also a mob that's added by uh, the one that adds all the other scary monsters. And I think my music just ended, so I'm gonna... Oh, no, it did not. Sweet. Okay. Get some iron wood as well. Harvest it before it goes dead. There's also cobaltite here, too. Oh, wait, so does cobaltite also have nickel? Because if that's the case, then I don't think I needed to come all the way here for this. What other waypoints do I have, actually? Waypoints, is there other cobaltite here? What about in the regular dimension? Nether, overworld. Is there cobaltite somewhere? Cobaltite. I thought there was. I thought there was cobaltite, uh, one of my waypoints in the main world. I don't think that was the case. Oh, it's all right. No problem, no problem. Black granite. Black tendrils are coming from somewhere. Oh well, cobaltite is good because it gives me arsenic. Yeah, no, there must be cobaltite in the main world because I remember I had to get arsenic. My apologies for the wee woo sounds. It seems that there's somebody in trouble. Somebody's in trouble. We must save them. Oh, it's a scary song. It works because the black tendrils, from what I've been told, are quite scary. And I also don't have a lot of torches down here. Mm. Music! Oddly fitting. Oh, hi there. Where did, where did you come from? I don't like you. Where did, where did you come from? You just spawn over here? Ass nugget. So I think if I... Said where this is my test this is my chance to test if infinite water is actually working again. Uh not like that. Um is it? Yeah, alright. It actually works now. But like I don't want it like this. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want get it go away. So in this case, this would be one of those instances where like infinite water would not be very Welcome. There we go. Hey, redstone. Was that redstone? I don't know. Sure as hell looked like redstone, so I'll take it. Just get a bunch of... Get a bunch of nickel. Nickel's the thing I want. Nickel is the thing I want because I want iridium. So that is what I'm going to find. I'm going to get as much nickel as I possibly can. That's going to get processed. And another... Co Why do you do this? How are you spawning? It's not dark in here. Well, I guess it is kind of dark in here. But I can't tell because I'm blind. My mouth is covered. Therefore, I cannot see. Nah, it's not covered. No. No, I can't see anything. I'm blind. And mute. All right, give me some more. Give me some more dudes. How much nickel do I have? Not enough. 
Excuse me. Not enough nickel. I believe nickel spawn in these particular ore veins, nickel spawns on the bottom most layer of the ore vein, which is kind of one of the ways that these things generate is there'll be like a main ore. There'll be ores, um, like a secondary ore that spawns in between all the other ones. Um, in addition to that, depending on the, like, the relative Y level of the ore vein to the center also determines, like, how often that a particular ore will spawn next to it. But they tend to cluster. Like, when you find a cluster of ores in this mod, there's there's tons of it. If you, if you actually take all the ore from it, it's impressive. And I've done that before, because you need a lot of... You know, all that stuff over here. You can literally die. Literally die. Like, just exactly what you just did. I appreciated that. Thank you. I got a torches, though. And this black granite is actually with, able to withstand my, um, my laser beam. The black granite doesn't play very well. It takes a single hit. Well, I mean, everything kind of takes a single hit to be affected by the laser. But in addition... If you're doing, like, in mining mode, it'll go through, like, maybe one or two of them and then block the rest of your beam. So they're pretty good for defense against, like, lasers. Stop. Enough of that. Not want. No, stop. More water. Stop. Not that. No more. No more, no more. Yeah, the tendrils look pretty freaking cool down here, to be honest. I love the tendrils. The tendrils are my favorite part of the adventure. Oh, stop that, you stupid kobold. And and then you too? Yeah, go, go ahead. Come on. Come on. There we go. Fight me. I'm prepared for this. I wore my big boy pants today for the very occasion. And I don't think there's a... Oh, yep, there's a little bit more nickel over here. Cool, cool, cool. Get a bunch of disadvantage of opening. Advantage of opening the window? It just got a bit warmer in here. Disadvantage? Oh, well, now I can hear the world. I can hear everything. I can see everything. Bunch of redstone. Any more nickel over here? Oh, we're just more water. Impressive. There is more nickel, though. That's good. Nickel is good. How much nickel do I have now? Over a stack, I want two. I think, what is it? Does nickel for sure turn to platinum if you sag it? Sag mill, yes. Uh, or there's a 6% chance to get platinum. So it's not very likely. Um, nickel indeed otherwise. Um... I think through its processing chain. Oh, hi there. Again? Really? We're gonna do this? I don't like you. Uh. Nope. There and here. Nickel through its processing chain also produces your platinum, cobalt. If you crush it, uh, you can centrifuge it for platinum. Um. You can also do that. Platinum in the chemical bath. Purified nickel can also be. It's it's all it's all platinum. And I have quite a bit of platinum right now, but I need iridium, so I will happily opt for a chance at platinum with also alongside it a chance at iridium as well. Iridium can is even more abundantly found up in space, but alas, we have to get some iridium first in order to get to space to get more iridium, so it's a bit of a process there. It's the slow but sure technological development part of this game, which I love so much. This uh, mod pack. I'm sorry. I mean, it's part of the game. Oh, shiz. Any nickel above me? Hello? Hello? It's pretty dark over here. Maybe use a torch. Boop. Again, you... I, I, this is just a thing now, I guess. And I'm gonna get a bunch of... Notes on a stronghold. I think they keep spawning because, like... Technically, I haven't unlocked this area yet, and I'm still here. Like, I just... I haven't left yet. <laughs> oh, did you do it again? No, no, no. Like, the game that's attempting to push me away with these tendrils is like, huh, he's still here. 
Oh, give him some more exposition. <laughs> more exposition. He requires more. Alright, get a bunch of this stuff. Aha! Look at that, more nickel. How about that one? Can I cover it up? More nickel. There's some ironwood down here, which is pretty good. I should add, like, a little portion in my ore processing system that will actually craft ironwood properly. Because currently it doesn't, and you have to do it by hand. But, uh, you know, that requires effort. And effort's cool. Why put them in other things? Hello, Monsieur Kobold! You're back again to die. Just as God intended. Oh, still more water. Well, probably not as God intended, but certainly as I intended. I am no God. Hey, I can't see anything. Whoa, hi there. Oh, you're swinging your little thing around. Your little goblin. Hopefully I can come back and do the Twilight Forest with uh, Christina. I'd love to do that adventure with her. That'd be fun. That would be fun. Do you Do you do Yeah, I like the I like the fact that the music is now persisting. Oh, it's waterfall down there. It's waterfall. It's waterfall. It's waterfall. As in, full of water and wonder. Oh. Take this brick. Take here. Take this brick. Be happy with this brick. Oh, more brick. Amazing. Hello again. Give me your gold pieces. On the bright side, they drop gold ingots. It's pretty good. Oh, seriously? It's not. Oh. I guess I need another one. What now? Well, why what? Black granite cobblestone. Why? Where's the other water source block? There it was. I think black granite cobblestone, actually. If I... I believe I can... Um, oh, again? Alright. That's fine. Oh my god, how'd you get in here? Whoa, how did you get in here? Okay. Alrighty then, well. Hey, alright. You're chasing me. Now you're actually sending demons after me. Where'd you, where'd you go? Do you only come down when I'm, like, on the ground? What in the world? Do, do you only come after me like at, like that? Where'd you go? Oh my god. Where did you go? Oh, I see. You came in from over here. I see. Well, wh wherever you are, you're not here anymore. That was weird. I didn't realize that I opened up a passageway into the hallway. <laughs> my fault. A wind gust just spooked me. Alright, yeah, that's... Let's see, how much nickel do I have now? Almost two stacks. With a 6% chance. I like those odds. 6% chance with about... 64. 64 times 2, just about, times 0.06, is about 7. 7 pieces of iridium. I technically need 8. Um, and I don't believe I have any iridium already. I need eight pieces of iridium for those advanced alloy ingots. So, I, I I hope it works out in my favor. It may not. But on average, I should be expected to get about seven. I'll see if there's more down here. Now it's just causing more annoyance. But there is nickel in the overworld. I It's around there somewhere, and I will opt for that source uh, instead. So, I think I came over here, and I bopped my way downward. Where was my passageway up? Was it over here? It was, I think. Yep, here we go. Up we go. Oh, and then this. There we go. Now over here. Uh, I don't know where my Nether Raptor is. Where's my Twilight Portal? I can't even see my waypoints, really. Oh my god. Well, the portal's over there. Oh, hey you. Hey, buddy. I popped right into you. Courtyard. That. Portal. Take the jetpack off. And push her on through. And that's pretty good. And again, four levels, too. Wonderful. Oh, 
Wonderful, wonderful. Onwards to the portal. I'm already at the portal. And I'm blind! Boop! Pop on in there. Lovely. Yes. Oh, my thing is off. There we go. Don't want people to... Don't want no creepers coming by and blowing up my portal again. Be annoying. He's so bothersome. Okay. So... Right now, we'll configure the system such that nickel is for iridium, not necessarily for platinum. We'll see about that. We'll see how that works. I think is... I also have garnierite, pentlandite, and cobaltite. I think I've already configured the system for that, for garnierite? Yeah, okay, so it's already in there. What can garnierite be used for? Actually, wait, garnierite can be used for nickel, right? So I'm not actually... No, yeah, for nickel. So I'm not actually giving up... Um. I'm not giving up platinum at all, because this is confirmed to give nickel. So that's alright, actually. And just to be double sure, did I... I don't see any nickel in here? I do not. Cool. So let's add another one. Aluminium. Alright. Yeah, that was a pretty good haul. Pretty good haul. I got all this other stuff, too, that I'm just uh, throwing the ore processing system. And I got all this stuff, too. Uh, bra black granite cobblestone, I think, can be pulverized uh, but with a chance to get thorium dust. So, yeah, black granite cobblestone will also be put into the system for a purpose. Um, put it with everything else that gets ground up, like wheat. Oh, does wheat get sent in? Oh, wheat does get sent in for dough, because uh, I have that set up for Christina. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. Awesome. Hey, hey, buddy. Hey, how you doing? Come over here. Hey, thank you. Thank you for that. Really appreciate it. So that in there, and that and that. Let's throw the Raven's Fever, that, 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 this, that, and the other thing. Uh, live roots. The wheat. Uh, what can I do with these books? Because I don't want them. Can I crush it? Scan it? Arc furnace? <laughs> just burn it! Honestly, I'd better off just arc furnacing these things. That's what I'm... <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna throw them in the furnace. I don't need these books. Furnace! Yeah! I don't need no furnaces. Oh, I forgot to put the oxygen back downstairs. I should do that. There we go. Uh, so this actually... Yeah, I need to configure that. Whoops. Go back down here. Go into here. Come over here. Up we go. So this, instead of being inserted, will be, will extract that signal. This is filling up with oxygen. Then I gotta go over here and configure this again. Ah, uh, yep. Whoops. There we go. And this should be inserting. Insert. There we go. That's all configured properly now. And now I've got all this ash, too. Any progress being made over here? Anything stuck? Good, nothing stuck. Every once in a while, these packagers over here would get stuck with just gunk and stuff, and so I had to figure out a way... Somehow I did. I have managed to figure out a way to not get them all gunked and stucked. So cool. That's filled with the garnierite, as well as the nickel... Oh, I've never, never actually scanned those. Have I scanned garnierite? I have not. Cool. What else have we got over here? Black granite has been scanned. Petlandite has not been scanned. Really? Cobaltite has not been? But I collected these a little while ago. Weird. Oh, but in the meantime, okay, so I will see where on this map there is cobalt. If there's cobalt on this map in the overworld, then there is definitely arsenic as well. Unless I did indeed go to the Twilight Forest for that the first time, but I don't remember doing that. Glauconite, Magnezite, Sapphire, Pyre, Copper, Bauxite, Redstone, Cinnabar, Lepidolite, Spudamine, all this stuff, Molybdenite, that's pretty much dead ore vein. That's right, so like Calcite, I don't. Pitch blend, Uranium. Uh, soap, talc, patlandite, and glauconite, but not garnierite and everything else. 
and Cobaltite. Tetrahedra. Oh, God, there's so many of these. Pretty much every single time I find an ore vein, I make a, uh, I make a waypoint for it, just in case I need to go back to it later. Quartz, magnetite, arrow, oil sands, quartz, coal, more quartz, 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 quartz. Dragon fruit, <laughs> nice. Rich, sweet mahogany, a volcano. Bauxite and magnetite. No, okay. So maybe there's just another one in the Twilight Forest. Pitch blend uranium, or mine. Yep, look at that. There was another one. Oh, that one was our. What was that? Oh my God, that was the um. Tch. I forget. This is one of the. This is one of the songs. That kills the chicken. Yeah. No. No thanks. Oh wait, that was it. Yeah. Go to wet hands. <laughs> scared me too. I keep scaring myself with all the stuff that I set up. The alerts scare the shit out of me. The music scaring the shit out of me. The game is scaring the shit out of me. I'm setting myself up for failure, or perhaps quite the opposite. Scary. Let's do an its thing. Is that taking a while to? Yeah, that takes a really long time to mess up that cobblestone. Alas, though. All right, so that's going. Hopefully, Iridium comes out the other side. Now, my question is, do I have Iridium already? I have two pieces of Iridium Ore and Iridium Dust, which... Is that recent? I don't think it was. Iridium Dust can be... It needs to be blast. Blasted in the blast furnace. Okay. So, actually, okay. If that uh, if that works out on average, um, I need uh, five. Five things of Iridium Dust. And then that should be able to create the advanced alloy. So, cool. And how do you make the advanced alloy again? That's the Iridium Reinforced Plates. Oh, from the Iridium Alloy Ingot. And that requires four Iridium Plates, specifically an Industrial Diamond, um, and Advanced Alloys. So I need to make... I'll prepare myself with four Advanced Alloy, which is Mixed Metal Ingot into that. You can make them with... Iron, bronze, and tin. Let's get eight of those. Iron. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoops. Seriously? There we go. And then eight bronze. Bronze. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or I keep counting. Tin. Nope, that was interesting. Uh, tin. There we go. There we go. That probably works better. That's for the advanced alloy, which is a part of this and that. I also need industrial diamond to create the industrial diamond. I need coal chunk, compressed coal balls. Uh, that's coal and flint. Uh, yeah. Eight pieces of that. You need coal balls for those. So I need 16 pieces of flint. Flint. Pieces of flint. I need some obsidian. I don't exactly know how much. I need coal. As much coal dust as I have, as well as as much coal that I have. I think I need two full stacks of coal dust in order to create one industrial diamond. So I will, in the meantime, throw this coal in there to be done with quicker than anything else. So that will go into there as planned. I still need more coal, though. Do I have any coal on me? I may have some coal upstairs. We'll see about that. Coal is convenient. Coal's useful. Coal, bleh, eh. coal is useful for a variety of things. Oh, yep, there's some coal over here. And I just need two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, yeah. We'll do that. And there we go. Put that back down here. Has it finished with the coal yet? It has. It has. Let's switch it out again. Got more important things for you to do, system. There you go. A lot of dust coming through. It's all black granite dust. Black granite dust, I think... What can that be used for? Granite. Plenty of things. That's a source of fluorine, is it not? 
I can centrifuge it into silicon dioxide and biotite. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And then biotite can be used for a variety of things. Look at that. Including, but not limited to, fluorine, oxygen, which I need more of, silicon, potassium, magnesium, and aluminum. Aluminium. There is an aluminum ore in this mod. And it is not aluminium. It is different, oddly enough. Also, I forgot that I made myself more tea. Lemon ginger. Gotta remember to hydrate, jeez. Gotta keep my, gotta keep my water levels up. That's what I gotta do. That's what I gots to do. I gots to do it. I gots to keep my water levels up. I gotta keep my cells fed and plump. So that's going. There should be more stuff. Indeed, I am still streaming. Welcome back, Dakota. Indeed. Actually, this was one of the reasons I wanted to start streaming. So, this game in particular, this mod pack in particular, I've spent hours playing. Like, I'm, I'm telling hours and hours playing this game. Because I really, really enjoy the mod pack. And I was like, you know what? You know what might be useful? I spend a ton of time anyway with this in the background doing stuff and i wonder if i can entertain anybody by it so i go along with it this is not the first time I i've literally played this game for entire days like back when my ba last year when i had probably the most stressful terms of my life uh because i started grad courses at the same time as undergrad courses um i would spend entire weekends just be in my room eat some sandwiches I just play this game because I needed to de-stress. Yeah. Your voices. Ah. Not just voices. Just me. And and whatever else the people of Philadelphia are doing on this beautiful, beautiful day outside. Which, uh... I will definitely go and experience. I definitely want to. Yeah, one of the reasons I'm still going is like, I still have... Th there's always things that I can find myself to do in this game, in this particular mod pack. I'm always finding new goals for myself. It's cool. And of course, when I'm playing with other people too, there's also goals there as well, but there's nobody else here. It makes me sad, but it's okay. Get my coal balls. I'm going to compress these coal balls into whatever they need to be. Uh, compressor, compressor, extractor, uh, bending machine, lathe, canning machine, <gasps> compressor. There's no compressor. Okay. The compressor's over here. Compressor, chemical bath, packager. Oh, that's a packager? I need an unpackager. Centrifuge, wire mill. I know I have a compressor. Hello, compressor? I know I have a compressor. Where's the compressor? Extractor. Solidifier, extractor, polarizer, bending machine, lathe, canning machine, extruder. Huh. Do I actually not have a compressor built? There's no way. Maybe it's, oh, maybe it's still in the steam tower. I set up like a small ore processing system inside of the steam tower over here. Just, just as a way to get things going while I set everything else up. And I think some of my machines are still over here. Let's check that. Is there a compressor over here? Uh, ore washing plants. Furnace. Forge hammer. No. Compressor. Or maybe there's more machines over here. Wait, do I have machines down here? No, I don't have a... Wow. I don't have a compressor. How do I not have a compressor? I like... I refuse to believe this, that I don't have a compressor somewhere. I need to double check. Triple check. I need to triple check that. I know. I've used compressors before. There's no way. Did I did I leave it? Maybe I left it on the other side. I left it in my first home area. Oh, I wish I had my minecart. Oh well, I guess I'm running. Hover mode. I guess I... So, this is actually the second location that me and Christina moved to. The previous area is way over there. It's, it's lame. Origin Island is lame. It's, it's a particular biome in Biomes of Plenty, the mod, that 
it generates like origin grass which doesn't work with regular crops and stuff like it doesn't function as grass so anything that you would need grass for you can't use this grass for like uh, especially for like animals so like the sheep and the cows eat the grass well they can't eat this grass so you need regular grass and we were like you know what it's it's time to move it's, it's time to get the heck out of here so we moved across the way across the pond to a place where i've named draconia because the map on the map it actually kind of in my opinion kind of looks like a dragon i'll show you because like it kind of looks like dragon's face with an eye and a tail coming down and like i don't know a hammer in its hand oh it kind of it's dragon like come down here and see if i've go and i might as well see what else i've got down here every so often i come back over here to take things over uh no okay there is not a single machine left over i apparently took it all incredible oh that's useful gold wire i gutted this place completely oh, there's a bunch of this stuff too that could be useful i i have use for that oh no hey i didn't tell you to play more music i didn't tell you to do that stop that go back to here go back to minecraft minecraft music volume alpha minecraft soundtrack playlist was that what i was just doing let's do that let's shuffle play that one there we go there we go okay throw that in here um some black granite dust because i was checking it out let's see some of this stuff some of this stuff and throw it on in here Alrighty then oh and i forgot i have these things well okay so i don't have a compressor but i do have this thing and i came back for it so i'm gonna take that because i really don't want to build another compressor right now i'm just take this one <laughs> i'm gonna gut it again is there any other stuff that i have over here clay all these molds are probably useful these pistons are good i don't know if i'd need wood planks or anything Anything up here? Um, probably a bunch of... Nope, no ingots. Uh, some nuggets. Oh, plenty of nuggets. Look at that. Oh, including iridium shards. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> yeah. Can that be... That can be compressed in a compressor. Look at that. To iridium ore. <gasps> I love this. Alright, time to go back. Oh, wait. Where's my... There's supposed to be minecarts on this track. Where's the minecart? Did I miss it? I specifically built this bridge so that we can minecart our way across because it was took a long time to run across the ocean. And then somewhere along the line, we got Ventoraptors. And I got a jetpack. So there was really no point for the rails anymore. We actually moved faster than the rails ever possibly could. So, you know. All depends. Whatever your definition of fast is. What's your definition of speed? I don't know. Do I have any space in my inventory? I don't. Otherwise, I'd go down there and pop some cactuses. Well, I thought I had a minecart on here somewhere. Turns out I don't. Whatever. Gonna head down here. Uh, now I have this high-pressure compressor. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is it down here? Oh, come on, please. Please. Is it the one machine that's down here? <gasps> hey, it's a compressor. Look at that. Well, now I get a bigger one. I knew there was a compressor somewhere. Well, now I've got more. Here. You take... There we go. You take these ones, and then you take these ones. Yeah! Double compressing action! I knew I had a compressor somewhere! I knew it! I knew that I did! Yeah! Oh, I didn't mean to... S chirp. There we go. There we go. I actually switched the song. Oh, is my hunger going out of control it's not i just actually need to eat some pizza now oh goodness gracious this is good 
is good. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna put this fine gold wire back over here. Clay, stuff like that. Oh, and apparently the, I forgot, the iridium can actually be compressed as well in groups of nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Almost there. Iridium shards can be found throughout like dungeon chests and stuff and apparently can be compressed. Look at that. Uh, are these still, still going? They are. Still going on doing their thing. Yeah, it's about double the speed. Just about. Actually, what I'll actually do is I'll take these coal balls, put these over here, put these ones over here, so I can do some iridium compressing too. These these steam machines are not efficient at all, but they work, and it was a nice way of getting things done. There we go. In the meantime, I should I should throw these uh, plates into the the bending machine. The big bender! Uh, no. Tin's gonna go the slowest. Bra's that and the other thing. They will get compressed into alloy plates. Which is good. Pop back on over here. Eventually, I will change this. I don't intend to... Actually, no. You know what? I'm keeping these steam machines down here. In case I ever need them. There may be a need for them eventually. Yay, iridium ore! And rid this type of iridium ore can be actually, like, smelted into that iridium ingot. So that's pretty convenient. This is the better iridium to get access to, because I don't have to blast furnace it. Which just adds an extra step and a little more energy. It's really not a problem. Hmm. Speaking of which, speaking of the blast furnace, it was uh, processing aluminum when I left. So it's probably finished with 16 of them. Of course. Yep. 16's not a really big issue. Um, we still full up on power over here? We are. So let's do 16 more. And in the meantime, this aluminum is going to become aluminum foil mixed with the polyethylene to make more capacitors for the circuit. For the circuits. Because I need those. Uh, let's throw them in. Uh, but that first. Cool, cool, cool. And I thought I ate pizza. Is my hunger going crazy again? I thought it was. No, I guess I just didn't eat the pizza. <laughs> Le whoops. Just checking my phone real quick as my pizza attempts to eat pizza. Eat pizza. Please eat pizza. Pizza? Pizza. What if I change the direction of my mouse? Pizza? Pizza? Sometimes it works. Sometimes it does not. Pizza. Pizza. Pizza? Eat the pizza. Yes. Slowly, slowly, carefully. Carefully eat the pizza. My character has an eating problem. They can't eat. Please? I don't know why this occurs like that. I have to be, like, staring at a wall or something for it to actually work. <laughs> Weird. Alright, pizza has been made. Pizza has been eaten. <laughs> Took me long enough. Okay, back down here. Everything should be completed. I can smelt that into iridium. Um, and I have these shards as well, which I can throw into the ore processing system. Find my way inside over here. There we go. I think I already have this iridium ore set up such that if it ever shows up, it's going in here. Um, arsenic. I apparently don't. Alright. Alrighty then. Well, it should, so. Boop. There we go. And everything else will continue. All these tiny piles of tiny piles of stuff. There's some pistons in there. I've got my compressed coal balls, which I can mix with some obsidian to create the coal chunk. Put the obsidian back in the system, compress those. Get industrial diamonds. And as well as put all this other mining stuff in there. Plenty of other dust and whatever. Go up here. Uh, I will compress these. It's compressible. 
That's one, and that's two. Plenty of steam for that? Uh, no, actually. Uh, that might actually not actually work anymore, come to think of it. Here, actually, let's do, let's do this. Let's do that for a moment. There we go. Only while this thing produces the diamonds. There we go. And that's almost there. And I'll reconnect it. The, uh, the blast furnace upstairs is also powered by steam. Pretty much everything is powered by steam. Because it's really easy to produce. In a relatively high quantity. Alright, so I've got the... No. Uh, there we go. And I get the other industrial diamond. Which apparently I need. So I will, naturally, go and do that. I will provide. And back over here. Everything's done. I've got these. I want to put the aluminum in there for more aluminum foil. And craft these things together i believe it's iron then bronze then tin for mixed metal ingots mixed metal ingots can be compressed into advanced alloys i believe compressed yep that's indeed true so i'll throw that in there too throw that in there yeah there we go a little bit of time again i'm gonna do that so it actually makes progress Check the messages from the fiance real quick. Nah, that's good. It's good. She's doing well. She's doing well, and I'm doing well. Happy, happy. And now back to the Spotify-ness. So I can control what music is playing. Currently, Equinox. Let's see. So when I do go outside today, what will I do? I do want to enjoy the evening. Uh, I want to. So I got continuing with this until I feel like stopping. And then afterwards, I'll probably head outside for a bit. Maybe do a little bit of shopping. I've been meaning to do some shopping. We have a couple of things I need to pick up. We have a soap dispenser in the bathroom. But the soap that's inside of it is foaming soap. But the dispenser isn't a foaming soap dispenser. So it just comes out as water. And it's annoying. So I have to fix that, so to speak. And I will, and I will purchase something like that. That, and I also need ham. I need cold cuts. I don't have any cold cuts for my sandwiches. It's unfortunate. I need those cold cuts. I rely on those cold cuts to survive. That's filling up, I guess. Oh, uh, yes, and the compressor down here. You still going? Still going. Two more left. You got it. You got this. Keep on going, Compressor. You got it. And one more. And the advanced alloys, can they scan? They cannot. They cannot scan. They are things that cannot scan. That's okay. And then I've got the last one of that. And then I have the industrial diamonds. All I need are the iridium alloys. Or the uh, iridium plates. Uh, I know you're connected now. There we go. Yeah, there we go. That works better. Doop. There we go. Got the diamond. The iridium has gone through the system. How much iridium do I have now? Iridium, uh, the iridium shards. I have five iridium ingots. I need three more, and I don't think the ore processing system has gotten to that yet. It seems that this is over here. It's got benzene in it, 960 mega buckets of it. Perfect. And uh, I will. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I need more. Oh, wait. I need empty cells. So I want eight of that. I want eight of that. So let me just take some empty cells and remove that. Also, I have more aluminum. So cool. I'll take a break from the aluminum for now. Take some empty cells. Get the benzene out of there. Clear the tank. Uh, yes. And then set it up for, um, uh, I need, I need ethylene. Cool. Benzene. And I have one extra of those. Cool. And then there's 600 millibuckets left of it. It's, it's fine. Can I just right click on this and configure it? No, okay, I gotta. What is the IO on this anyway? It's pull from there and then do nothing. Cool. Do that. 
put it back. Oh, I forgot to, no, I gotta clear it first. There we go, I gotta, boop, boop. Alrighty then, it's been cleared. I pull, and now I need ethylene, and I need 24, oh, seven more oil sins ore. Uh, in order for that to become ethylene. Oh, uh, and I need to... Right, I need to switch this out. That's program 4. That's for benzene. That's program 7. That's for everything else. There should be no... No sulfuric naphtha. No nothing in there. Yep, there's nothing in there. Cool. That actually worked pretty... Pretty freaking well. Awesome. Uh, and I need more oil sands. So I have some of it. I'm just gonna go back real quick. Get some more of that. And then I'll... Yeah, we'll do that. I also have this aluminum. Uh, let me put the aluminum away. Yeah, that's fine. And this program circuit, that's better off as an electronic circuit. Or back to this, and I'll just put it wherever I need it. I'll keep it over here in the circuit's chest. It's more or less where I keep all the other circuits, so that's what I'll do with it. Is there anything else that needed my attention over here? No. Oh, the aluminum foil and polyethylene. So, capacitor. Capacitor. It doesn't make a lot of capacitors, which is why eventually I need to make a whole new material. Uh, I think it's polyvinyl carbonate or something similar to that to get them better. It's that to that plastic sheets here, polyethylene. So, I need half a stack of poly. Put that back inside. Cool. And take the rest of it out. And just combine them together for capacitors. Uh, put that over here. Poly and aluminum. And they go. And they go. Cool. Make capacitors for me, please. Thank you. There's a creeper at my door. Get out of here. Get out of here. Creeper head. Cool. Head on over back to the oil sands and pick up seven more ore. With seven more exactly, I will have just enough to create 24,000 buckets of sulfuric naphtha. Have the sulfur ripped out of it, turned into hydrogen sulfide. The naphtha turned into ethylene, and then the ethylene has to be distilled into propene. And then I need the propene in addition to the benzene to create some epoxy sheets. The epoxy sheets I will use for a wafer thing or whatever. I don't know. And I've lost my my mark on the ground. It's over here somewhere. And uh, yeah, that's so I can go to space. Because I want to go to space. Christina and I will take to the stars. Where is it? There you are. There you are. Down we go. Am I on low focus mode? Whoa, where did you guys come from? All right, it's fine. We'll fight. We'll fight then. Come over here. Yeah, all right. Easy. That was interesting. Oh, I'm poisoned. Ha, look at that. Not poisoned anymore. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's do this one. Did I collect seven more? Uh, how do I... Let's see, 120 minus... 120 minus 64 is 56. I need 56 in that last pile. I have 55, so... One more. Oh, did I not grab it? Go. Yeah. Oh, there you are. 56. Cool. 120, that's all I need. Back up I go. And block it up behind me so that I don't... <laughs> I don't let somebody fall in. And by somebody, I mean Christina. Who may fall in. Little, little haphazard, but that's okay. The only other person on this world with me. Aside from myself. I'm definitely on most of the time, though. It's got all my technology and stuff. I can proceed at my own pace, and I like that. Sometimes it's nice, it's nice to work together. We built the farm last time together. And I helped her build that farm. And every so often we got adventuring, that's always good. That was a little itchy. Sorry about that. Yeah, and so now I've got that. The oil sands will go in. It will create ethylene, and then ethylene will be distilled. No, 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 no. Maybe it's the other way around. It's chemically reacted with a certain 
thing. Not like this. So I will actually remove from there later on. But propene must come from chemically react. Yeah, from ethylene. But I need ethylene first. Um, program configuration three, which I don't really want to. Yeah, I'll figure that out. I'll put it into a different chemical reactor. But must make it from ethylene. Ethylene made with the distillery. Program circuit seven. And this is seven, correct? This is seven. All right, time to repopulate this with more oil sands. Yay! There was 120, and now it's decreasing. Cool, and that's for the propene. Um, I came over here. There were capacitors being made. This is... Oh, that's all out of power. Yeah, that, that'll happen. That'll happen. Back over here. I think I have capacitors now. I do. I do, I do, I do. And I have a lot of gold wire, too, so cool. Capacitor, maybe some Electrum. Nope, just gold. Really? Was that all? Oh, no, I have Electrum, too. There you go. Um, that means two. Um, how many integrated, integrated processors? I think I need 24. So I can start work on that. Yeah, 24. Uh, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4. 24 that's close close and the integrated processor requires that it also requires uh, fine red alloy wire it also requires the capacitor the transistor and the resistor um, it looks like I'll need more transistors too that's no problem that there and that was that all I needed no there was something else um, Oh, and CPU chips. That's what else. There we go. And that should produce 24 of those. Uh, hopefully. Yeah, I think that's enough for 24. Uh, it uses two of the transistors each round. So yes, I think that'll work. Awesome. I don't need the capacitor thing anymore. Uh, I don't need benzene anymore. I can keep propene on there, though. Mainframe, uh, four times three is 12 times... 2 is 24, yeah, integrated processor. And then I need new coils, more fine red alley wire, RAM chips, capacitors. So I need even more capacitors, but that's no problem. Um, in the meantime, how many coils do I have? Do I have a lot of coils? I really don't have a lot of coils. How to make more coils. That's not the recipe for coil. Coil. Uh, no. Nickel zinc ferrite bolt. Uh, steel bolt. Nickel zinc ferrite, steel bolt. I'd rather just do steel bolts. And a fine, what was that fine annealed copper wire? Does it need to be annealed? Fine annealed. Oh, yeah. Oh, and fine copper wire as well. Fine copper, fine copper. So I can use fine copper wire. Cool. Let's get a bunch of, I don't know, let's make a bunch of coil things. So let's take some steel. Steel. Let's do. However much 16 will get me. I think that'll get me 64. 64 bolts, I mean. We'll see about that. I think so. 11. Um, anywhere iridium? I, I don't really know. I don't exactly know how far it is in the process, so uh, let me check on it downstairs. There's probably no power, so I'm sure things are struggling. You're still churning away at black granites. You haven't even gotten to the ore yet, but you're almost done with the black granite. That's good. Um, you are now finally working on the nickel. So you're processing and chugging through that. That's lovely. What else do we got? Then other things are happening over here. This is probably still backed up. Is this on? No, actually, there's not a lot of... Oh, that's keeping up just fine. Really? Really? Is it stuff in the chemical bath? Where is everything? Well, I guess it hasn't been... Okay, so it hasn't been working on ore, and nickel only has nickel dust or platinum ore as a byproduct, so... That actually makes a lot of sense of why I don't see anything there. That's pretty cool. Worked out in my favor. That's still going good. Uh, oh, the lathe was going. Let's take a look at the lathe. 
Are you done? Nah, yeah, you're still going. That's fine. Um, circuit. Circuit, circuit, circuit. I'll take what materials I do have and uh, try to make you know, the circuits. I think I need more capacitors, too. Oh, actually, I have quite a bit in there. Um, did I run out? What did I run out of? Oh, I ran out of transistors. All right, I need more transistors. I don't think those are too difficult. Transistor. Transistor is fine tin wire, silicon plate, and polyethylene. So let's just do this. Let's make a bunch of transistors. Silicon plates times 64. Just make 64 of them. 64 times 6 is that. I can get fine tin wire from a wire mill from that. Divide that by 4. 96. 96 pieces of tin. Gotcha. It's fine. Or 96 tin wire. Uh, I think 96 minus 64 is correct, right? That gives 32. Yeah, I just need 32 more tin wire, which means I need 16 tin ingots. T, letter T. T, 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 in. Where's the tin? That's manganese. Where's my tin at? Come on. There we go. There we go. That's better. Make a bit of that. Make some more tin. Put it in there. And the tin was for the fine tin wire. We put that back in and we get silicon. I also need silicon plates, which means I need to go grab some silicon and put it into the metal vendor. Silicon. 64 of them to be exact. Oh, actually, this... Oh, that's actually not running out of energy. I'm very proud of it. I feel like this is going to run out of power because there's no energy over here. But somehow it's still working. Incredible. That's still going. All right, cool. Steel rod. Uh, small piles of steel dust. I'm going to cut up these steel rods into steel bolts. And I think that's what I need. Go ahead in there. The bus is going by rum that shouldn't take too long and for the small coils it's nope it's copper wire and bolts not screws bolts perfect and make some bolts and uh and as much copper fine copper wire as i can muster so readjust my sitting position straighten my back up a bit watch my posture I don't have my posture check. I'm not there yet. Cool, cool, cool. That's still gone. That's doing its thing. And I think with... If I have 64 steel bolts... Put that into the assembler. 64 steel bolts. I'll need 8 stacks of fine copper wire. Do I have that? I do not. So I will use only four stacks. And I'll save the other bolts for later. But I do need transistors, and that's why I was doing the silicon plates and the tin wire. So there's that. And so let's put the rest of it in there. Fine tin wire. Fine. Put that in there, as well as 32 bolts. There we go. 32 volts. That should be... Is that enough? I think this is enough. Yeah, go for it. Do your thing. Do your thing. Make some coils. If I just keep on clicking this button, that should be fine. Making those bolts. Making those coils. I think the coil on this is supposed to be an inductor. It's definitely an inductor. Resistors, capacitors, inductors. You know. Electrics. It's electric, boogie woogie woogie. And now I have plenty of small coils. Not a lot, but this is my coil. Oh, did I not? Oh, here. There we go. I'm gonna take the stack out. I'm gonna need that. Needs those coils. Boop. Uh, more capacitors are 
Oh, I need more capacitors, too. Meaning I need more aluminum foil. So I will work on that, too. As well. You're still going... You're not making too much progress. Probably because, right, you're... Oh, you're still chugging away at these ones. Cool. Making sulfuric naphtha? Where did the naphtha at? There we go. Good, good, good. Oh, I need aluminum. And of course, all of my... Everything I had just went towards aluminum. 64 silicon plates, though. And now I'm going to make as many transistors as I possibly can. Oh, but I also need polyethylene, don't I? Uh, right. Uh, assembler. Fine tin and that, as well as a thing of polyethylene. So I actually need a stack of polyethylene for what I'm doing. I'm gonna need to get more plastic soon. For all this stuff. Always more materials needed. Always, always more. Yep, go and go and do that. Throw as much stuff as I can in there. Make it go! Make it go! More electric! That's a nice vibe right now. In here, you've got the Minecraft music in the background. Wonderful sounds of the outside. Nice and pleasant in here. Got my tea. This is one of the things that, again, last year was really, really stressful for me. Um, it started off with, so I think in my junior year, my pre-junior or junior year, I honestly can't even remember anymore. But I think it was my third or fourth year of college. I start, I think it's the fourth year. I started taking graduate courses because I'm doing a an accelerated degree here at Drexel. And so graduate courses at the same time as the undergrad courses, as well as at the time I was working a part-time job as well. Um, like actually going into the office and coming back was extremely stressful for me. And it completely changed my mind around, which is why like, dude, mental illness, that's that's a serious thing. And it's definitely no laughing matter, people who get, like, stressed out. And like, stress is going to kill you. So, started spending some more time, like, reading books and whatnot, doing things that I like to do that just to relax, play some video games every once in a while. Um, just, just stuff of that sort. Anything to take my mind off of the work that I'd be doing most of the day anyway. And it was really relaxing. And one of the things that I found to appreciate was the ability just to get yourself a hot beverage, hot cocoa, tea, a coffee, or even mix myself a cocktail to relax, and just to sit there and just do something. Maybe paint a picture, draw something, read a book. Uh, I actually took a survey the other day. There's this company called Bright Sellers, I think, who does like, they do like, the, it's the whole like machine learning algorithm, like, oh, answer these questions, we'll send you the perfect wine for you. Like, there's one for coffee, you like that, there's one for tea, like this, that, and the other thing. I decided to take the survey anyway, and one of the questions was how would you enjoy like the wine that you would be drinking and one of the options was like oh sit me down in front of a nice book and I'm like yeah i like to drink wine while reading books and doing other things like i totally i totally vibed with that i was like yeah this is exactly what i would be doing with this wine like you're totally right and so i'm not sure how that like for example it's to try to give you a wine to enjoy and the wine experience is on the tongue and the sensory like i don't I, I don't know do wines that are good for book reading taste different than wines that are not for book reading i <laughs> i don't know i suppose i'm not yet experienced enough to be able to know for myself looks like i need red alley wire too so much wire oh the aluminum is probably done Oh my goodness. And technically, you know, I mentioned this a, a little while ago, but there's a book that I read called Serendipity, and it was about, it was about tea. And tea is wonderful. Tea is in, like, the tea leaf and everything surrounding, like, the culture of tea and whatnot, and I bought a teapot from them. It was good. Nice teapot. And one of the things that they make a distinction of is, technically speaking, technically, 
tea are only bever is only a beverage that's actually brewed from some subspecies or species of the tea plants. Everything else is a tisane or tisane. T i s a n e. And like I'm not obviously I'm not gonna be the person who goes like oh you're wrong about that like it's not technically a tea like the more you know actually like yeah I'm not gonna do that. I don't even call them Thai sands. This is ginger and lemon tea to me. Why? Because that's what it's labeled on as the box. Don't blame me. Blame the corporation. And capacitor is... Do I need poly for that as well? I don't. It's just... Oh, no. I do. I do. And I need the rest of my polyethylene. Mm, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that just yet. Not just yet. I'm not ready for that. Am I drinking my ginger tea every single day? To be honest, I have nothing. No. But you know, speaking of the ginger, I actually saw uh, one of the cocktail videos that I watched the other day featured a ginger syrup. And the, the guy who made the cocktail, Greg, I've mentioned it before, he is like, when you make your ginger syrup, you want to make it as, like, spicy as possible. And you know, Anna, being that you're here, the one time you made, like, uh, ginger tea in the pot, it was super spicy. Like, incredibly ginger-forward. And I want to... I want that. I think if you take that... I'm so sad that we actually, like, emptied out the teapot. Because I bet if I would have just taken that and then... Just, like, taken that and just mixed it with sugar, it would have made an amazing ginger syrup. And now I gotta try it again. Because, like, for example, one of the drinks that I really like making that features a uh, uh, ginger in general is the Moscow Mule. And it uses lime juice, vodka, um, and ginger beer. But you can get, like, a different experience with it if instead of using ginger beer, you use ginger syrup instead. It's sweeter. And uh, it just offers a different experience. And I'm like, that's pretty cool. Oh, yo, look at all these transistors. Yo, all these transistors. Oh, do I have steel bolts over here? Why are there steel bolts over here? Weird. Are my music stopped? No, nah, it's still going. Nice. Best bitter ginger tea is when you just leave it in the water longer and then heat it up later. Yeah, it's pretty good. I agree with that. It's very good. Come on, get in the pot. There we go. Eight stacks of transistors. Yes! Yes, Aruni. Yes, Aruni Positoni. We're going to the story box. I wonder if anybody remembers that show. I don't remember what it was called. I just know that they were in the box. Okay, so I have that now. I needed more transistors. That's exactly why I did that, because I needed more transistors. Come on. There we go. My music stopped for some reason. What are you doing? Let me check my Spotify. Oh, no. It's still gone. There we go. I know what that did. There we go. Now I've got the rest of the integrated processors. I put back in there. What does the integrated processor go into? It becomes a processor assembly. Processor assembly. And it takes integrated processors, capacitors, RAM, fine, all right, alloy wire, and small coils. So I need the coil RAM, plastic, capacitor, uh, not these, but I need the RAM. So I put the RAM in there. I don't need the resistors, I need the coils. Uh, fine red alloy wire, that's fine. And I need the actual boards. So let's get those boards. A little while ago, I made a ton of plastic circuit boards, which I'm very happy with, because I needed them. Lo and behold, I needed more circuit boards. And that's a wonderful, beautiful thing. In case you're still lurking around there, dear, how's your day been? Did you go to work today? How was work? I hope it was good. I've been taking care of the apartment. I did laundry. I'm probably going to fold it during D&D &D tonight. And, uh, yeah, other things. Do the dishes and stuff. I'm probably going to get some fresh air, too. You'll be proud of that. Uh, I needed more capacitors. Yeah, I definitely need more capacitors, so. Give me the resistors down here. 
yep, I, I definitely need more capacitors. So, using the rest of the poly. Gotta do it. Gotta do it, gotta do it. Gotta use the rest of the poly. There it is. This hasn't been moving, probably because there's not enough... Yeah, there's not enough steam over here. Yeah, it's gotta charge up first. So that one will take a hot minute. But that's okay. There we go. Throw that in there. And the polyethylene. Hopefully that's... Those are... That's enough electronic components. For things to get accomplished. I hope. Otherwise, it'll be a little while till I actually make that mainframe because I'll need more polyethylene and that'll take some time. I'll probably do that over the course of the week when things are just idling, idling by. Any more iridium yet? Iridium? Any more? Ah, I gained another one. Yes. Cool. So now we're at seven. I just need one more. I just need one more. Yes. Cool. Awesome. Oh, I think I have, do I have torches in here? I need torches. Torches? Torches. Yeah, give me, like, give me some of those. Yeah. Give me some of those torches. I need some of those. Oh, and I should also deposit my experience over here. I moved my enchantment table over here. Stuff's good. Stuff's real good. It seems to be getting a little rainy outside again. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. Making more capacity. Oh, it's out of power. Look at that. I need to go down and provide some energy. Wow, I can't believe it. I actually made it run out of power. Incredible. I mean, I think that's from this one. Nope, not that one. It's this one. So if I just... Bzzz, now it's charged. Let's do the same thing over here. Bzzz, there we go. Let's do it again. How much do I... Yeah, go for it. It's great. My bodysuit can charge batteries. It's great. All right. That should be continuing. Yes, it is. Uh, eventually. All right. Are you going to do your... Do your thing. Do the assemble. Or maybe not. Oh. Huh. Not sure exactly what's going on, but I'll... Throw this over here. You're not doing your thing anymore. Oh, okay. It just needed to be reset or something. That was pretty weird. I don't know what that was all about. Just had to replace the items. And a red and a red alloy wire. I need more of that. It's a good thing I just made a shit ton of uh, red alloy. It's red alloy, right? Not redstone? Yeah, red alloy. Good thing I just made a shit ton of that. Red alloy. Eh, just take all that. Turn it into fine red alloy wire. It's necessary. There we go. This wire mill will be suffering from the same problem as the assembler, that there just isn't enough power to go around. I've been using it a lot, though, so I'm not actually surprised. Got plenty of processor assemblies, though. Did I make too many? Wait, mainframe requires workstation. Workstations require three. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, that's, this is good. This is good. I need more fine electrum wire, which I have a ton of. Diodes, RAM. That is not the difficult part. That's not difficult at all. And then the actual mainframe itself needs an aluminum frame box. I need more aluminum. And more capacitors. I don't know if I have enough capacitors for that. Hmm. Well then. That's what happens. Find red ally wire. Put that up at the top. At the tippy tippy top. Yeah. Uh, is this all charged? No. So let's. I need more aluminum. So going with more aluminum. I require more. I need more aluminum. More aluminium. And then we'll see if the iridium is all. Another iridium? I'm being I'm being too zealous. I'm excited. I want to get my iridium. The plan worked. Yes. Iridium through the power of nickel. Here we go.
Let's go and get some red alloy wire. Throw that in here as much as you need. I need quite a bit more of that. There you go. And I think this takes 12 each or 16? 12 each. Okay, and I'll need 12 more. Which should be coming in just a moment. There we go. Awesome, awesome. Uh, oh, I need more, apparently. Oh, yes, there's a little bit more. There we go. Get that in there. One last time. And the capacitors, I don't think I need any more for the workstations. Do I? I don't. Cool. So I will have enough capacitors for the mainframe. That's pretty cool. Um, for the workstations, I do need RAM. I have RAM in there. Electrum. I need the Electrum wire as well. And the plastic circuit boards. I got those. The RAM. This thing put it in here, the electrum wire, and I was missing something else as well, and I forgot what it was. Uh, workstation, uh, diodes, I need diodes, yep, I got diodes, plenty of diodes. Cool, do that, send it on through, I need more soldering alloy too, look at that, here's a bunch of soldering alloy. So let's disconnect it from over here, push it over here, and uh, yeah, more soldering alloy. For the thing that needs it, that's four workstations, an extreme circuit. Did I ever scan that? Ooh. That, and what else is needed for the mainframe? The mainframe also needs four small coils. Four. Four small coils. I need... 24 capacitors. Cool. Actually, I have enough. Awesome. I also need 12 annealed copper wire, um, which I'll go grab in a little bit. But I also need 16 RAM chips, which I have... I only ever made one batch of RAM chips, and I have yet to run out. They're not used super often. Or rather, they're, they are used often, but I guess I don't use them often enough that in there. I don't think I need anything else over here. No more capacitors. Or maybe it's my mouse that has the problem with the right click. That might actually be the mouse because I can't see the right click on these barrels either with ease. Maybe it's time for a new mouse. Very well might be. My whole my whole collection is falling, up, falling apart. Everything I know and love is just dying. My controller is falling apart. My mouse is falling apart. It's unfortunate. Yeah. Truly unfortunate. Okay, there was stuff in there. And I also need the annealed copper wire and the aluminum box frame, which I think the, I just need eight aluminum rods and a wrench in the middle. And luckily, this thing is still going. There should be at least eight aluminum in here. Yep. Perfect. I can go, uh, lathe those up. Cool. Throw that in there. Is this suffering? It's not. So it actually did output properly. <laughs> Wonderful. Make those. That'll go rather fast. I'll try to eat this pizza. And I've eaten it successfully this time. Very wonderful. Um... Any more iridium yet? I incessantly check. Nope. It's okay. It's okay, Rocky. Take your time. And I wait for the aluminum and... Oh, annealed copper cable. That's fine. Copper wire. Um, basically, I can take copper dust and turn it into annealed copper uh, by throwing it into the blast furnace. So I need six copper... six cool take that downstairs get some dust out of it don't do that just grind it up turn continue that back this is still going with the nickel wonderful that'll take a while but honestly i don't think that alone is going to be enough to prevent this from 
building up. It just needs to charge everything. And that's a that's a task. It'll it'll happen eventually. I dare not check on my charcoal buffers and see how much stuff is actually in there. Copper, and it will become a kneeled copper ingot. Which I will then be able to turn into a kneeled copper wire by just, well, putting it through the wire mill. There we go. And I believe the aluminum should probably be done by now. And then the mainframe will be complete. Now, one of the hardest parts of the NASA workbench will still remain to be the fact that I need to make an even higher level circuit. Um, and it has to be quantum technology, I think. Because there's no other way for me to, to, to accomplish it. I'll, I'll go through it in a moment. Because I, I think I remember. Oh, please. There we go. And the wrench. The aluminum thing. That's fine. Put one of those over here. Just because. And throw that in here. As well as collect these. You know, copper cable. And that should be it. And that's the creation of the mainframe. Another mainframe. Oh, it's out of power. Crabs. Uh, I can take care of that. I should take care of that. It's a good thing I've got plenty of charge in my suit. Oh, it's over here. Ah, uh, I see. Uh, I don't have enough power in my suit, but I've got some of it. That'll probably drain me. Oh, it almost drained me completely. Yes, it worked. Actually, how much is it to make the mainframe? A lot of power. Damn. Okay. Well, I just filled that battery up to completion. So it should be enough to complete it. Because it takes almost an entire battery to do that. Right? 100 or 800,000? Do these hold? They do. It should take... I think it said 700,000? A lot of power. A lot of power to create the mainframes. What? Oh. Alright. Did I power the wrong thing? I don't think I did. Just not going up fast enough? Oh, because the conversion factor. Uh, because I need to be... That's unfortunate. You know what I'm, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take these away. I'm gonna swap them out with something that I know has power. Like a machine down here that hasn't been used yet. So I gotta get over here. Like, uh, yeah. You. You don't need these batteries. You don't need these batteries. Take these. You don't need these batteries. I need these batteries. Something more important than you requires these batteries. There we go. Hopefully that'll be enough for the job. Are you processing? Yes, it is doing something. I think that'll be enough. And it will take more energy because this is an extreme voltage machine, so it actually takes twice as much energy as it would with a regular advanced. Because this is the advanced circuit assembly machine three. It is an extreme voltage machine. And it's chugging away like a champ. But I will get my mainframe. And I will scan it. I will ready my scanner. I already scanned it before. An elite circuit. Which can be used for a variety of things. Like this. Indeed, there are still the iridium force plates to do, as well as the advanced wafer, which I need from the epoxy circuit board, which I am working on. And I have... I think I have diamond plates somewhere. Ender eye plate. Ender eye plate. Do I have diamond plates somewhere? I feel like I do. If not, then whatever. Diamond. No. So let's just do that. Check on iridium. Iridium? Nope. That's fine. Incessantly check. If I check more often, is it more likely to be there? There's no steam over here. So let's pop that open real quick. Fill that up with steam so that I can compress these diamonds. No problem, no problem. Compress it into what it must be, a diamond block, to cut it up into diamond plates.
There we go. Uh, reconnect this. Yep. This still has power, right? Oh, yeah, that's fine. Oh, I've never scanned a diamond block. Huh. It's not... Nothing can be learned? Nothing can be learned from a diamond block? Really? It's vanilla! Interesting. I'm actually quite shocked about that. Molten soda ring. Yeah, cool. Got my mainframe. Awesome. Making really good progress over here. But so... This other one over here needs quantum technology. A master quantum computer, which is the only thing that I have access to right now to be able to construct this thing. The only thing that I'm not at a level yet to actually do very well is this fiber reinforced circuit board, which requires the epoxy that I'm creating now, as well as carbon fiber, and then yeah, you make it green, I guess. But I can't do that just yet. I need an actual system for creating um, uh, epoxy, because I will need a lot of it in the future. So I think I have a system right now to create um, polyethylene. So I think what I'll do is I will kind of expand upon that system to be able to produce epoxy as well. Uh, but not right now, obviously. Mm, what is processing? Oh, this diamond block over here is processing. And it's completed. And it... Nope. Oh, it's still going. Okay, no problem. You, you can take your time then. Um, It was the wafer, right? It was this wafer. Advanced wafer. And the epoxy circuit boards, yeah. So that'll... That will process over here. This is not ready. Yet. Yeah, that's that's still gonna take quite a while and that's okay that that will take quite a while it's pulling from there right and not pushing over there correct very good then yeah anything else that i can work on i have the iridium but that's just a waiting game at this point everything's in a state of a waiting game so i'll just let that process honestly and that seems like a pretty good place to end things for the day I was gonna hang around here until things process completely. Well then, that was entertaining. <laughs> that was an entertaining almost seven hours of playing Minecraft, which is not the first time I've done that. It certainly won't be the last. I very much enjoy this mod pack. Thanks to everybody so much for hanging around. It's been a joy. Again, my name's Cameron. If you joined the party today, special thanks to Mothmans and Johnny Plays for joining the party. My hats are off to you um probably be back on monday i think I, I streamed a lot this week for my spring break and i think i'll take a break this weekend but it's i've been known to surprise even myself so we shall see we shall see indeed let's see um i can see oh sweet i can see killer chair is online playing monster hunter rise which i actually might stick around for because i'm really interested in seeing how that game goes in celebration. I'm surprised. I thought somebody else was streaming that today, too. But I think that's what we'll do. So we hope we give a big parrot welcome to Killer Chair as we go in and watch as they play Monster Hunter Rise on the Switch, the next installment in the Monster Hunter series. Again, I appreciate everybody who came along today. It's been a joy. It's been an absolute blast. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. If it's your night, I hope you have a wonderful rest of that. Um, and whatever the rest of the time of the day. Hope you see you next time. Come back to the party when you're ready again. Onward to the raiders. Best of luck out there. And the raid doth beginneth. And to all those people following along at home again. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.